I don't want a lot for Christmas. There is just one thing I need. I don't care about the presents underneath the Christmas tree. I just want you for my own, more than you could ever know. Make my wish come great, baby. All I want to play is Alan Wake. <laughs> no, in big capital letters. No. <laughs> um, it's the 1st of November, which means it's, you, can, you can celebrate Alan Wake. Um, welcome in, everybody. My name is Garlips. I live inside the big box in front of you. Sometimes I murder songs as well. Um, I'm feeling so much better now. Um, I, uh, it's <laughs> I understand some people are going to be saying that, like, Garlips, oh, you feel better. And then when, when something is released in the future, they'll go, oh, that's why he felt better. But no, genuinely, I just I feel like I had not like a, a revelation or a an epiphany i'm not going to say it's it's that kind of level but like um i had a really like the last two weeks have just been a mess of being tired not feeling well having a million things to do and um yesterday i was in the depths of despair about it i was so uh stressed and worried and what i did was i sat there and i made a big fucking list of everything that i need to do that needs to be done that that could happen soon, everything that needs to be done. And I started working on the fucking list. And I cannot tell you how better I feel. Um, I'm one of these people that when they are feeling overwhelmed and upset, they procrastinate like fuck. <laughs> and they don't get anything done. And that just makes everything worse. It becomes, it's like a compound fracture. It just gets worse and worse and worse. Um, yeah, I feel so much better. <laughs> I feel and and not get don't get me wrong all of my problems are not over yet um I'm not like walking on easy street but just putting them into words and working them out and knocking some of them off has really really helped um I mean a part of it is is stuff that I can't control like stuff that's happening in the world I mean we, every day is a new uh, list of tragedies um and it's 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 overwhelming it's getting to the point where it's like without belittling it without you know like making fun of of torture it's like being waterboarded it's like every day there's new horrible things happening in the world and um it can get a bit much but today i feel like i'm starting to get on top of my own personal shit and that is a good feeling so yeah i thought why not start by singing <laughs> And I'm so glad because Adrian's Revenge is getting a computer so that Adrian's Revenge can play the wheel so that they can beat me there as well as on low res. And I'm 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 hyped for it. I I, I want to see. I want ads on the wheel yesterday. So um, I, good news all round, right? Not for everyone in the world, as I just said. But you know, it, it, we'll take some little victories where we can, right? Fuck it. It's it's Tuesday. <laughs> we need this. Is it Tuesday? No, it's fucking Wednesday. <laughs> it's fucking Wednesday. We need this. Mm. Yeah, I momentarily forgot that yesterday happened. Yesterday, of course, was Halloween. Um, and I didn't do anything for Halloween. We were even going to sit down and watch a movie, and then we didn't. We did absolutely nothing for Halloween. And that's kind of weird to me because um, Halloween is actually the anniversary of when I asked my wife to marry me. So <clears throat> I asked her on Halloween, <laughs> like, will you take this, this shambling corpse, this monster, to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. Um, and what's really funny is it's, um, so it's 2023. So I asked her in 2011. So it's 12 years since I asked my wife to marry me yesterday. And um, I found a picture of me that night. I was dressed up as a pirate. And funny, funny story. Literally two nights ago, I dressed up as a pirate for the latest recording of Low Res, um, which was really so. It was like I just had a kind of a full circle moment. Let me see if I can find you a picture of um, 
2011 gallops as a pirate. I was a lot thinner. I th- I I thought I was fat. I still was technically fat, but I was nowhere near the fat that I am now. So, <laughs> um, where do we go on Facebook for your photos? It's always hard to find them. Where can I go to profile pictures? Where's profile pictures? Uh, photos of you, albums. Here we go. Albums, profile pictures. Dooby doob dooby. There is um twenty twenty eleven gallops as a as a a pirate. I didn't use half as much eyeshadow or makeup um as last on, on Monday. There's that, that pumpkin. We carved that pumpkin as well. I can't even remember that pumpkin's name. We gave it a name. And then we watched it die. <laughs> like <laughs> over the course of two weeks, just like break down into nothing. Um oh, good times. Could have recreated the moment. Well, yeah, so I did a treasure map. Like we were staying at a, a, a like a like a very fancy cottage thing that we'd hired and we were we were there for a few days. And um I hid the wedding ring or the you know the engagement ring and then I did like a I'd I'd prepared for this at home. I'd stained a bunch of water uh paper with coffee um so that it looked like old parchment. And then I wrote like a treasure hunt around this this cottage. Like I was like, oh, go out. Because there was a little well outside in the garden for some reason. Little well. So I was like, go to the well. You'll find a clue. Da, 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 da. I love you, etc. You know, all that. All that shite. <laughs> I think I've got a picture, actually. Um. Well, again, it's it's all on Facebook. And I can't tell where the fuck I have to go on Facebook to find it. And the problem was it came up yesterday as one of my like... Uh, memories, but it won't be there in my today's memories, which is really annoying because now I can't go and grab it. Um, let's look at uploads, and then let's just like scroll way back, like ten million years ago. Right. Okay. Yeah. There it is. Um. Yeah. There it is. So I had like a little note in in the cat's mouth. That's not going to focus, is it? There it is, like a little map of the house and a little note and everything. Yeah, I tried. I tried to look, I had to trick Mrs. Gollops into marrying me somehow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so romantic. It's Halloween. Anyway, uh, point being, so Halloween's a really important thing to us because we, we love celebrating it. Thank you, Dave. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Yeah, I killed. I killed marrying. Yeah, I fucking ten out of ten, bro. Three hundred and sixty no scoped my wife into to marrying me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we usually do something on Halloween, but we didn't last night at all. We just sat and we just chilled, and that was really nice because we just had a day. I was really stressed through the day, trying to get stuff done, worrying about stuff. Um, and so. We just chilled, and it was really nice to just chill. But next year, I want to do something big next year, because our house is currently a mess, right? Ne- this time next year, I do not want to be in a messy house. I want to be in a super clean, super tidy, super organized house, and I want to put the fire on, because we've got a fucking fire, right? I want to put- The fire hasn't been on in over a year. I want a log fire. I want a scary movie on the TV. I want, you know, decorations. Fuck it. I'm- so next year, I'm going to go big. But this year, it was nice to just chill. And I hope you had a good Halloween too. I hope it was everything you wanted it to be. Um, blows your engagement out of the water. Aww. <laughs> yeah, well, th- the problem is I've been so lazy recently because I've been so tired and I've been so stressed. Um, but doing things, getting the things that need to be done done really helps. Um, but in the depths of despair, you're just like, this stuff is overwhelming. How do I... Where do I begin? What do I do? I, I have no motivation. The hardest step is just fucking doing something about it. I'm going to do something about my health as well. I've had enough. I need to lose weight drastically. So I'm going to start doing something about that too. I'm going to make a list. One thing at a time. Eventually we'll get to where we want to go. But enough of that. Let's talk about video games. Because that's what we're all here to do. Yeah, GG's to proper planning. Shout outs. 360 no scope. Um, uh, we'd gone to Harlech in Wales. Is Harlech? Is that as pronounced? Anyway, ooh, Wales is nice. 
Went to the top of the castle, romantic meal, strolled along the beach. Did he do it at any of those? No. We were due to check out the hotel and he just sort of handed me the ring in the room. Uh, but I could kind of, look, he wanted you to have the, the whole lovely holiday, nice experience. And then at the end of it, go, what a wonderful time we've had together. Will you marry me? I'm sure that's probably what the thought was. But yeah, if, if you've got a fucking castle and you've got a fucking meal at the top of the castle, fucking do it then, mate. <laughs> oh, bless him. I, I think I can see the logic, but also I can see your logic as well. <laughs> it's like, a, what do I do with these? <laughs> but um, yeah. Oh, it, but still, you know, you're married. It's good. Marriage is great, isn't it? Um, sometimes it's bad, but mostly it's good. And um, I'm a big fan. <laughs> Aww. See? Yeah. You... Procrastination. You know, here's this thing. I'm nervous about it. I'm just going to put it off. <laughs> I can, I, that's my whole life. So I can totally relate to that. Right. Um, let me tell you about this week before we continue. So today I'm going to be playing Alan Wake 2. Tomorrow I'm going to be playing Alan Wake 2. One o'clock in the afternoon till late. Uh, both days, probably. Uh, well, today, probably. I'll definitely finish by the time Mr. Matt is streaming. So I might even raid Mr. Matt if I'm still going at that point. That would be nice. And then um, Friday, I'm not streaming because uh, me, my brother, and my wife are going to go and see Five Nights at Freddy's. I've never played any of the games, but my brother wants to go see the film. And we were like, yeah, that sounds like a f fucking <laughs> funny time. So we'll go see that. And then I'm going to stream on Saturday. Saturday afternoon from 12 till 5. I'm going to be doing my Super Monkey Ball 2 uh, submission for the Wheel of Struggle. Okay, so that's the schedule for this week. You can find the schedule on Twitter. I'm not going to call it X. It's Twitter. Um, yeah. Jobs are good. And oh, I got into that. Uh, you remember the other day I had to pause the stream for a little bit because I had to go and submit for a marathon. Well, I submitted for that marathon and I got in. So I'm going to be doing Wacky Races, and I'm going to be doing Eat Lead at the next InstaSim event. Uh, but we're not sure if it's going to be a race. Uh, me and Mr. Matt Internet have said to the uh, the the host, uh, the runner of the um, whole event, um, look, we both run this. We could do a race. Would you like a race? Um, so we're waiting to hear back if that is something that can technically happen, because I don't know what their technical setup is. But um, yeah, hopefully another Eat Lead race. So that I can put the second nail in the coffin of that dodgery, cantankerous old fool, Mister Matt, in in with the big ears and the and the weird suits. I I, I can put him in his place again. <laughs> At the very least, it will force him to play Eat Lead again. <laughs> How many times in this stream have we gone like, oh yeah? Even his even his bot goes, hmm, Eat Lead. That's a great game. When are you going to play that again, Mister Matt? So um, let's literally force him to play it again. That's that. That's the plan now. He'll have to practice, and he'll at the very least he'll have to play it on the day of the race. <laughs> so yeah, I've got enough points to make him play a game twice, and I'm 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 edging towards the third. Like, is it is it ten grand or five grand? It must be five grand because I'm edging towards fifteen k. So I was thinking of doing that as a joke. Just like making, like redeeming it and saying eat lead. Um, <laughs> but I also want my points in case he comes up with something else and I can just spend my points and annoy him in some other way. Um, this way, he has to play it for the race. So, you know, it works out. Save my points. Nice. Anyway, we are now returning to Alan Wake 2. For anyone who doesn't know, I'm enjoying this greatly. It's a wonderful game. It's my game of the year so far, unless it does something to shit the bed. It's probably going to be my game of the year easy. Um, I was not expecting this level of polish, finesse, and I love Remedy, but I was not expecting it to be such a triple-A experience. You're a mod, you can force him and then give your points back. Yeah, I might, I, I might do that. I might do a comedy one and then say, oh, it was comedy, and get my refund. Um, where are we in Max Payne, uh, Max Payne 2? Alan Wake 2. Um, in Alan Wake 2, um, we have the option now to play as either Alan or Saga. And so I've been playing as Saga, and we went to Watery, the neighboring town to Bright Falls. And we've been um, investigating there, and we found out all kinds of things about the cult, the cult of the tree. 
Um, and it looks like we're bound for some kind of revelation any second now because we've uh, just found a secret basement underneath the um the 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 Carevala uh, motorcycle club. I think the Carevala or something, something like that. Anyway. So yeah, I'm, I'm expecting shit to happen the second I go down this uh, ladder here. So I think I remember most of the controls. Honestly, this game is beautiful and it's so well presented. I I was thinking about it yesterday. A creepy basement. It's just so good. Oh, I have noticed that's kind of... The game looks kind of loud compared to my voice, so I've just taken it down a little bit. Let me know if you can um, about the sound levels. Oh, Shit. we're going to have to... These guys are probably possessed, right? These policemen who are now missing. They're taken. I'm probably going to have to fight them. In which case, let's just make sure everything's fully loaded. I think it is. Yeah. All right. Hey! Freeze! Mm, this looks dodgy. Don't like it. Don't like it. Goodies? No goodies. Where did they go? No! They took it! Oh shit. They're playing with me. I was so close. Right. Okay, get the clicker from Thornton and Mulligan. Let's do some profiling. Mulligan and Thornton are members of the cult. Who's the leader? Brains leaking out like you. The thrill of domination. Not one tree. A forest. The word. A secret like this doesn't die. There is more than one leader. Oh. I don't know why the radio comes up as yellow every time. Like, I've definitely listened to these before. Not not sat here at the radio. But I've definitely, like, scrolled through them. I wish it would remember that I've done that. But it doesn't. Right, let's see. We must have more information for our cases. Cultist room hidden beneath Ilmo's motorcycle club. Um... Cult symbols, cult psychology. Who's involved? Imo and Yako Koskela are involved. It, it it does almost have that like when you try when I try to speak in a Finnish accent, Ilmo and Yako Koskela. It does almost sound like Scottish. Koskela, aye we we have a wee can of Koskela. Where are chips and deep fried Mars bars? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I've just managed to piss off two countries on the international stage there. Um. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Okay, the new Hootsman Montruses and, and so on and so forth. Um, Clicker was taken from the altar. <clears throat> Clicker at the garage. Oh, right, here we go. Yep, it was taken away. The clicker was there the whole time. Clicker Lucky was in the secret Mulligan cult room under the garage. Mulligan and Thornton beat me to it. I'm guessing this is where this goes as well. Yep. Fully investigated. How to get the clicker back. Um, chase those cops, I guess. Was there another case I have to fill in? Story. That's for later. Okay. We found some lunch boxes in Coffee World, which is the watery area. Ugh. We're probably missing a lunch box, I would imagine. Still, that's it for cases. Right. They took the clicker into the overlap. 
How do I get it back? Yeah, there's probably some kind of ritual we've got to do to get back into the overlap again, right? There was More another rituals. overlap here in Watery. The parade float was the key. Mulligan and Thornton had gone there, taken the clicker, left this monster here to stop her. Uh oh. There's an overlap here, like there was at Cauldron Lake. And there's a monster. Like Nightingale. Inside, waiting. And a parade float is the key. A taken is upstairs. This was a trap. Right. Might be time to do one of them old quick saves then. Oh, did I read these? Yeah, I definitely read those. Come on then. Do your worst, you shits. I'll take you on. As the Scottish themselves say, square go like. Yeah, I'm, I'll square go like. Let's square go. Rawr! Oh, it's a big lad. Die. Okay. Now, where's that <laughs> Thank you. Float? Right, let's get all this reloaded. That crossbow is is heckin' strong. I do I do like the crossbow. I also love me me shotgun. Very nice. Are there any goodies back here where he was waiting for me? No. I like goodies. The game should consider giving me more goodies. Oh, hello. Oh, it's just like old times. Right, the parade float is the key. Where's the parade float? I thought that was like in there. Oh, they mean this one. Is this the parade float the page mentioned? Yeah. The overlap formed around Watery's dark past. The ritual to enter was tied to crafting the float. Art was the key. It had the power to let Saga in. At Cauldron Lake, giving the poem and the heart to the witch sign, opened the overlap. Oh, right, here, so we've got to put in float. the stuff here. But it's incomplete. Yep, we're missing a mask. We're missing a knife. This is one disturbing parade. Not sure what Puko means, but... Puko means like knife, knife right? Or... How come one of them is wearing a mask and the other isn't? Yeah, we need a mask, we need a knife. Are we missing anything else? I don't hear any haunting Ah, we need laughter. a tape for the tape player as well. Interesting. And... Oh, right, same knife, Stabbing I guess. Stabbing again and again. That must mean the arm's supposed to move. Oh, I see. Um, wait. Why does it say X on it still? Oh, okay, that's fine. I've got, I've got the hint. I've got the hint. Right. Okay. Let's have a little wee look then. Right. Uh, which case? Trail of the cult. I already took care of all this. Right. The parade float needs. Characters should be moving. There should be audio. Character needs a mask. You need a knife. Okay. Good stuff. Mulligan and Thornton were fine earlier. How did this happen? A terrible mistake. Shadows crept over Mulligan and Thornton. Shadows on their faces, filling the shape of them. 
Bright Falls fucking finest. <laughs> Shitty pastrami sandwich. Mulligan and Thornton became like Nightingale. I I'm just in awe of this game. What's missing from the parade float? That, that none of the I systems like you would expect that 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 board system where you put shit on the board, you would expect that to be old by now. It's not. It's still good. It's still enjoyable and good. The only thing I think will annoy me is if I speed run this game, the amount of stuff you'll have to remember to do on that board. Do you know what I mean? Cuz like stuff won't happen in the game until you've done stuff on the board. So that's going to be a lot to remember. Like, oh, this goes here, this goes here, and doing it efficiently is going to be quite tricky. Um, but uh, casually, it's it's incredible. It's phenomenal. Right, so I guess this stuff is going to be around the, the amusement park. Oh, yeah, I've got Alan's side to do as well, haven't I? That's great. I keep forgetting. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to... We're on the chapter called Local Girl, right? I think I'm probably going to do a chapter here, a chapter there. So we'll finish Local Girl, and then we'll switch over to Alan. Then we'll do a chapter there, then we'll move back. I think that's probably how I'm going to handle it this first time through. But also, wouldn't it be incredible for the speedrun if it's like, well, you can do them in any order? So, like... It, it will probably make sense from the speedrun perspective to, like, clear out one person's stuff first and then do the others. But are there going to be things that are dependent on either, like, scenario? Like, will Sagas reach a, a point in the road where you can't play it anymore until you've done some of Alan's? Or vice versa? I have no idea. That's that's the beautiful thing. It's, it's, it's all just undiscovery. It's, like, it's new to us. Oh, it's so good. Right, so the question is, where the fuck is the stuff am i looking for an arm like a moving arm a knife oh there was something about plastic knives wasn't there were they in the gift shop um let's go to the gift shop cuz i remember something about plastic knives like who sells plastic knives to children it's like well I need a plastic knife. I don't see one in here, though. Ah, here we go. I guess a toy knife will do. Well remembered, Gollops. You're not just a pretty face. Um, what else was it we needed? We need a tape of crying or or people in the well like dying. I'm sure I heard someone crying or dying like on a tape somewhere else. Was it by the well? Maybe we could take the one from the well and put it on the float. I felt sure there was like some crying or something coming from the well. Maybe not. At the very least, I can put my pop, pop my knife onto the uh, the float there. Um. I guess it's not letting me put it on yet. Unless I have to look. Yeah. I think it wants them in an order. So I need a mask. I wonder if there was a mask in the shop as well. I didn't see one. Whoa! Hi! <laughs> I heard it before I saw it. so confused oh bless him he got really confused though he just stood there for a while i felt bad can i get that arrow i shot because it missed dang it it's not i 
That's the other thing I'm a really big fan of in this game is that there are less enemies, but they're stronger. There it is! I found it! <laughs> I'm not sure why it was up here, but um, hooray, I found it. Right, I don't think there was an animal mask in here. I doubt they would have two items you need in the same place. Just from a game perspective. That wouldn't make much sense. Right, let's try going to the uh to the various rides. Let's see what's what's about. How do I get up there again? It must be past the shop. It is. Ooh. Oh, no, that's just the sign on the toilet. What about that ride that was running that we had to stop with uh, that had the screwdriver on it? I think it's that yellow one. Yeah, how do I get there? Oh, round the corner. Alright. I swear I saw a mask on, like, one of these stalls, maybe. Have a beautiful day. Maybe not. There we go. <laughs> We've got a moving arm as well, but I guess we can't take that one. It's not the right kind of arm. Maybe there was like a motor we could take or something to make the arm move. Guess not. God, this game is beautiful. It's just insane. It's just insane how beautiful it is. Can't get over it. Yeah, I, I really want a collector's edition. I really want a physical game disc. That would... I wish that... I, I'm hoping that they'll decide to do a short run of something like that. Then the only problem will be managing to get one before the pre-sale immediately sells out from scalpers. Which is like the usual fun thing to try and do in t today's modern age. It's like, oh, you want this thing? Well, they're only 2,000 and... Um, oh, shit, they're already all gone. Sorry. Um... And I would love, I would love a statue, maybe of Saga and um, Alan, like back to back, or or even just Alan. I'll take just Alan at this point. It would be so good, Remedy. Remedy, if you're listening right now, through the uh, the game's recording function that's spying on us all, um, 
that I saw somewhere in that huge disclaimer we had to sign. Um, Remedy, if you're listening to this. Merchandise. Fucking hell. Merch, please. Thank you. I think I can hear another wolf. Probably not, but it sounded like it. Wait a minute. Weren't there deer masks in that place? Wasn't there a deer mask in the um the the workshop, the biker workshop? Hmm. I think we're coming up on the biker workshop anyway, so I'll have another look in there. Oh shit. That was a mistake. I should have torched him first. Nice. Uh, yeah, I definitely wanted to look at that sign. Um, can I get the other arrow back, please? Maybe. Please, maybe, please. No. That one went wide. Hey! Wait. Adrienne gave me a shout out. You gave me a shout out 18 hours ago. Thank you for that. I hadn't even noticed that. And I'm glad that you got a shout out back. But who did that? Was that you or Mr. Man? <laughs> who fucking knows? By the way, I was going to say, Adrian, um, you're in my chat a lot and I trust you implicitly. Would you like to be a mod? I understand if you don't want to be, but it, I, I, I would be happy to make you a mod. Oh no, it's oh, no. Mr. Matt! Oh no, oh no, oh no! 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 Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh no! Welcome in, Mr. Matt. How are you? Hope you're well. I knew that Adrian wouldn't shout out themselves. <laughs> Aww, thank you. Would you like to be a mod? I mean, I don't expect literally anything of you. It just means when you're in chat, it gives you the power to fuck with people who are being dicks. Yeah, how do I do that? Um, maybe Mr. Matt can do it. Hang on, how do I make a mod? I'm so good at Twitch. I'm just I'm just so good at it. Um manage suspicious user. Mm. Very suspicious. <laughs> Mr. Matt, can you can you make Adriana mod? <laughs> Ban Adrian. Yes and yes. I cannot. I, I cannot in good conscience vote for that. Um, you can't do that. All right. All right. Let me. Let me see. How do I do that? How do I make a mod? Chat settings. Um, I must have done it before to make you a mod. Um, hang on. Let me pause my game. I click on your face. A thing comes up. It's not under the dot dot dots. That is block or report. Um, permit user. No timeouts. No, I don't want timeouts. Um, should be under community. Community. Care in the community. Shield mode. Highlight settings. Chat settings. You know what? I'm just yeah. I'm just gonna go to Twitch settings. Well, well fuck that. I'm just gonna search Twitch. Make mod. Um, in the streaming chat box, enter the command slash mod and username. Okay, all right. I'm just going to copy the username. Slash mod space, username. Boom. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's your, 
<laughs> That's your dashboard. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, it, it turns out you could do slash mod and then the name. Cool. Yep. Yeah, and again, I expect nothing of you. There are no, like, you don't. I'm not like saying you must turn up between hours and hours. You must be here. You must do that. No, no, no. It's just, it's just so if there's a dick in chat, you can just go ping. That's all. Um, I'm especially cognizant of it or mindful of it because um, since Monday's stream, um, I've had to ban a regular. Um, I'm not even going to speak their name because I don't think that they're worth the time or the effort. Uh, but it is sad and it is weird. Um, there are some very, very hateful people out there, and um, uh, he's banned. Goodbye. See you later. But um, I'm I'm aware of the fact that maybe um, potentially people might make new uh, accounts just to maybe fuck with us. So if that does happen, you've now got privileges. You can now go ping, 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 or or raise your sword or your hammer or whatever it is that you wanna you wanna think of it as. Yeah, it's yeah. I don't, hopefully. That, that person will just continue to live their sad little life by themselves. Um, but if they decide they want to fuck with me for whatever reason, it always helps to have more guns. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, between you, Mr. Matt, I think Matt, because Finch is a mod as well. Um, but maybe even Jace is one of my mods. I don't even know how to look at my mods anymore. But honestly, anyone that I, I work with enough that I trust sh should probably be a mod because it's just easier. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm pretty sure there was like a mask in here, right? I thought we saw a mask and we were like, huh, that's how the biker gang are related to us, uh, to the other people. Um, so I'm gonna, wait. Remedy! Remedy! Fix, fix bug remedy. Hang on. Oh, it's a shame you can't see yourself from the front. I really want to see myself from the front. Hey! Look who I've come for is Halloween for Halloween. Disembodied head. Anyway. Fix this remedy. And also make some Alan Wake merchandise. Thank you. Thank you, please. Ah, uh, yeah, come on. Look! Masks! Why won't you let me pick up the mask? Are you f what? Okay, welcome to video games where you've got to pick up the right mask, not one of the hundreds of other masks. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. There's another one! Bollocks. Let me see if I can put my tape player into the, the float. Nope. I need the mask still. Uh, I already read that. Did I? Did I already read that? So this is the Coscula Brothers. Right. Brothers okay. So Looks it like turns out. Four pieces are missing. The mask it, is the only one without a location listed. It turns out there was a fucking list of places to go for all this shit that I completely missed. And I can't even see where the mask is, which is the one I can't find. Great. So the Espresso Express has got the, uh, Express. the circuit got board. Um, the knife is in the shop. Easy. I already know that. The cassette Fair tape, I've got that. Down. And the mask. I can't make out what it says. Let's... Can we zoom? Yeah, I can't make out what it says either. That's annoying. Right. Moose skull mask. Right, so. He needs a mask. The float killer isn't wearing a mask. Maybe he needs one. Is missing a soundtrack? Little knife. The killer used a knife. Art imitating life. Ah, I figured out what the float is missing. 
Right, so where is the mask? And to do that, we need to do some profiling. So I can get a little clue. The materials listed for the parade float mention a mask. Where is it? Poor Mocha Moose. He never failed to amuse me. No, we know, Ilmo. There is such a thing as too much coffee. Mocha will live on in a place of honor. He lost his head. Mulligan and Thornton had one job. Mulligan and Thornton must know where the Moose Skull Mask is. The mask is missing. Where is it? The dead brought back to life. The crown of the Grand They did kill Mocha. I personally will be taking Coffee World to uh, Tribunal. There's going to be an inquiry. What happened with this, uh, with this moose, huh? Not happy. Poor moose. Welcome in, I Craig Yeller. Um, there's a bunch of moose skull mask in that room, though. I know. Where is the mask? <laughs> and there's there's like one right behind me as well, in in my mind palace. It's frustrating. We need the very specific one. The moose mask is at the Huatari Well, in Coffee World. No, it ain't, because I just walked fucking past there. Oh, except we made it appear because because reasons, because magic. Anyway, let's go. Something. Like I did in Cauldron Lake. The well here in Coffee World. I know the Moose Skull will be there. Welcome in, Blackbird Twitch. Give Garlic some clothes and- Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can! Me? I can? Oh, boy. Give Garlic some clothes and he'll be clothed for a day. Teach Garlic to weave and he'll be naked for a very long time. It's true. That scared you. <laughs> Motivation often is quite scary. Right, we've now got I the need skull to bring mask. The mask the float. Yeah, but I also need the um the thing from the espresso expressway, which is over here. Excuse me. Oh, you've got to bring the mask first. Wow. Okay. Right, here's the mask. The moose skull goes here, obviously. There's your knife. Some creepy laughing for atmosphere. Now let's go get that one other thing. Right, this is probably at the back again in the panel, I'm guessing. Wait, where's the pa Here we go. No. Oh, it's going to be down the side, isn't it? Underneath. In the gubbins, as we call it. The fuse is missing. Can't operate the ride without it. I've got one. Why do I need to operate the ride, though? There we go. Now I just need to stop it in a position that will let me get to that circuit board down there. Hey! That probably happens that way every time. But I'm going to just claim it and say that, yep, I timed it very well. <laughs> right. This is very spooky. Down here underneath everything. Yoink. Oh god. Shit. Good thing no one was riding that. I don't like these things moving while I'm in them. Now what do we do?
Have you ever tried the Mr. Blobby lemonade? Blobby! No! Blobby! You're next. Um, first of all, I didn't know that Mr. Blobby made a lemonade. I'm sure that's delightful and doesn't taste weird at all. Second, Mr. Blobby makes a lemonade. I dread to think what's in that. I dread to think. Right, so how the fuck am I getting out of here then? This looks dangerous. Maybe there's another way out? There's another way out. I was shocked to find Mr. Blobby as UK's Hello Kitty figure. Well, I wouldn't go that far. Like, Sanrio's Hello Kitty is like worldwide, super well-known mascot character. But yeah, close enough. Cl I'll give you that. Close enough. Um, he has a, he has had a more recent resurgence. I would say certainly in the last couple of years, he's come back in a big way. Uh, but he was dormant for quite a while there before that. Jesus Christ. Die. Okay, we handled ourselves. Could have been better, but we, we handled ourselves. God knows where that arrow went. <laughs> Drop anything for, for old garlips? No. How about the other one? Where did the other one die? Over here somewhere, wasn't it? Where is he? Is he gone already? Have I opened that before? Another cult box. Ah. What hides behind the smile? Oh. Depression. <laughs> Hey, welcome in, Break Alec. Good news, everyone. I have a thermos. Well done, sir. Well done. I'm very jealous. I wish I had one, too. Oh, my God. There is a game with Blobby. Yes, there is, Blackbird Twitch. I don't have the box to hand, but it's around. It's in the other room. Um, I have Mr. Blobby for PC. Um... It is a DOS game from the early 90s, and I have played it on stream before. I have played it on stream before. Um, I'm just wondering if I would be able to lay my hands on the Twitch VOD. Well, the YouTube it's on YouTube now, but it's it will have been a Twitch VOD um, of when I played it. I think I played it for my birthday, actually. So have I uploaded my birthday streams yet? I think I have. That would have been July. Um, yep. It would have been the second video. Hang on. Do, to do, to do, to do. Right, yep, definitely this stream. Now let's look for Mr. Blobby. I think it was one of the last things I played on my birthday. Yep, here it is. 
um, share with the time code. Boom. If you ever feel like checking out the very first time that I played Mr. Blobby, that's the link you need. Um, I will play Mr. Blobby again, and I will start the speedrun page for it. Um, it's set in stone. It's it's decreed by the fates and the destinies. They're all written. I have to play this game. I have to speedrun this game. I just I haven't done it yet <laughs> because the game is not good. You thought Mr. Blobby was just something I made. Oh, my sweet summer child. <laughs> I'll take the credit, though. Yeah, I'll take the credit. Um, Two Finnish friends meet after 10 years at the bar. One of them says cheers. The other says, what the hell are we here to talk or drink? I'm not Finnish. But I can say a puko. Puko, puko, puko. I I forgot the pronunciation already. Welcome in Hobby Tan. It's it's Alan Wake two again today. I'm so sorry. You may want to duck out, and I appreciate it if so. That you still came by and said hi. Um. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much, though. I appreciate it. Cool. Um, I promise soon we're going to be moving on to the main thing for November. The main thing for November is speedrun every game that I've ever speedrun and try and get a PB in it. So that'll be happening real soon. And literally the second I'm done with Alan Wake 2, that's what I'll be doing. So that's the majority of November. <laughs> you take that nap. It's Wednesday. Why the fuck not? Um... Pretty sure everyone in Funland has depression. That's why we make stuff like Alan Wake. Um, yeah, well, I mean, I, a lot of great art comes from Finland. I, I just, I believe that in my bones. I, I absolutely adore Vili Valo. Um, or Villa, I should say, not Vili. Villa Valo. Um, I absolutely adore... Um, I love the Rasmus as well. You guys gave us the Rasmus. Um, I've been a Rasmus fan since, like, 2000 and... Uh, I want to say three. When did when did In the Shadows come out? I think that was like Dead Letters. That album came out about not Dead Lettuce, by the way. Dead Letters, um, which incidentally is a is a part of the game in um, Control. So there you go. But um, welcome in, Smarmy Two. Where am I going now? What am I doing? Oh, there was something behind the smile. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go do that first. Um, something behind the smile. Where was that guy's thing? It was around this way. Yeah, great album. Guilty, whoa. Guilty, I feel so empty, yeah. Classic. Um, so is this the smiling thing? What's behind it? Um, yeah, I'm like there are no plot things happening at the moment. So, oh, is this it? This is it. Well, hey, um, if if plot stuff happens, then um, then you might want to look away for a bit. But honest, and I'm also right in the middle of the game as well, so it's not like it's going to be like major revelations. I would think. I'm quite lucky in that I'll forget the vast majority of shit. So, I, I still stayed away from spoilers for this game because I care about it that much. But um. In general, when someone says, like, oh, when you play this game, you'll know this bit. I'm like, I will have fuck, fucking forgotten by then. Right, I've got a key. Oh, no. <laughs> to be fair, I walked around for ages looking for all those other items, though, when there was a fucking list that told me where they were. <laughs> so there is that. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Oh, we've got some arrows. We've got some bullets. Noise, noise, noise. The one thing I will say is I'm usually running low on ammunition, but I'm not really needing to heal too much, am I? I'm, I'm dodging the enemies enough. The problem is I just waste a lot of the ammunition. There was a letter on the box. 
Oh, you mean this one? Yeah, that was the one telling telling me. Oh, oh, I didn't read the inside. You're absolutely right. I didn't read the inside. Me and T were supposed to be on patrol last night, but didn't show. If anyone hears anything from them, let me know. Thank you, Craigula. You're right. I missed that. Um. Okay. Let's put the extra stuff on the board. The mask was at the well. The moose mask appeared on the well. That's solved. Um, cult of the tree. Oh, yeah, cult of the tree. Note found in cultist stash mentioning M and T. Um, M and T. Mulligan and Thornton. Their names begin with M and T. Confirmed cult members. Um, oh, I think we've got another case. Um, yeah, cult stashes. Here we go. Uh, coffee world. I have loads of work to do, but I've cancelled tonight's stream so I can have a rest day, and I plan to play a lot of RuneScape. Nice. Um, I'm probably going to pause my stream momentarily to watch the wheel spin for the Wheel of Struggle this week. And then I'm going to keep on playing, and hopefully until I think Mr. Matt will start streaming. Then I'm going to raid Mr. Matt. A little something to get those arms moving. Here we go, I've done the ritual. Okay, Saga. Funny video of Mr. Blobby at YouTube. They had to add a fence around him since he accidentally trampled some kids. Yeah, Mr. Blobby is chaotic neutral. M Mr. Blobby breaks in through a wall, knocks over a, a kid from his wheelchair, um, then bestows gifts upon some other children and then fucks off. Like, he, he could help anyone, he could hurt anyone. Uh, he's just a force of nature. Or perhaps super nature, as it were. So I think we're gonna have to go down the well. Which is never a good idea in a horror game. No! Mr. Allen, stop scaring me, Mr. Allen. Thank you. Boo. Boo. What the hell? I've got a torch. Put it on. Come Where on. Where am I? Um, we're under Coffee World. In the in the vast. Tunnels. Oh no! The tunnel. Oh no! The tunnels and the catacombs that riddle the ground underneath Coffee World. That's where we are right now. It's fucking dangerous down here. I brought myself a shotgun. Oh, actually, we're not underground. Where are we now? We're in Magic Land. You went for a while. What have you missed, Mr. Man Internet? You've missed the entire game. I'm on New Game Plus now. That's not true. Um, there's an axe. There doesn't tend to be many files or things I can pick up or look at in the in the overlap. So I'm not too worried about missing stuff. But still, I will just like it's it's human nature for me to just poke around and look at everything before I do stuff. Oh, the music's really loud over here. You know what? I just realised I've been racking up points on this channel and I haven't spent any ever. Well, I went and found out, Hobby Tan that um, there is a bunch of songs that Joko sells on his website that are karaoke versions of his songs that don't have any vocals on top. Um, and I may have purchased about 16 of these tracks. Um, and um, I'm working on a redemption. Joko karaoke. Um, and there will be a list of songs to choose from. In fact, I can tell you what I bought. Because uh, they were only like a dollar each. So I was like, yeah, all right then. I'll have all my favorites. Um, uh, I've got Baby Got Back, uh, Bozo's Lament, Chiron Beta Prime, Code Monkey, First of May, I Crush Everything, Ikea, Nemesis, Over There, Are Your Brains, Shop Vac, Skull Crusher Mountain, Still Alive, The Future Soon, Want You Gone, and When You Go. There were more. But I had to kind of like limit myself, and so I went for my my favorites, my absolute favorites, because uh, Baby Got Back 
is amazing. Nemesis. We, we've already talked before about Nemesis. Yep. I, I want to get it in place so that by Christmas I can be singing Chiron Beta Prime. Um, I need to do some work on my redemptions in general. It's me long-haired lover. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Pumpkin Blades. It's Mrs. Garlips, everybody. Yeah, the hair is back. I've had it, like, tied back for a while while I've been streaming. I, I, di I did miss it. This feels this feels right. Merry Christmas from Chiron Beta Prime, where we're working in a mine for our robot overlords. Did I say overlords? <laughs> what is he doing? Inconceivable! To believe. Why won't you die? Well, Mr. Matt interrupted that little snatch you got for free. You're going to have to spend your points to hear the rest. <laughs> oh, Mr. Matt. You have to ruin everything, don't you? <laughs> oh, let me... I've got a notification on Discord. I wonder if it's about the, the race. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Oh no 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 no. Oh no 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 no. Oh 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 no. Right, back to work, but first, I've always wanted to do that. It was you, Hobby Tan! It was you! Yeah, back to work. Back to the mines. <laughs> On every corner, there's a giant metal Santa Claus who watches over us with glowing red eyes. They carry weapons, and they know if you've been bad or good. Not everybody's good, but everyone tries. Um, since it was Hobby's first redemption of it, the points are back! Hey, Mr. Matt refunded you! You never get to spend your points! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, so basically, um, let me show you. For when I drive in the car, I've got a Joko playlist. I've got a Joko playlist that is literally just every album. Every single... Is that going to focus? Go on, focus. You can do it. There it is. Every Joko album, like, chained together. And sometimes I stick it on random. Sometimes I just... Sometimes I just listen to it in order. It's the greatest thing ever. Yeah. Incidentally, um, every time I think of the word of the song Nemesis now, I think of Mr. Matt Internet. I think Nemesis was written about me and Mr. Matt Internet. I'm I'm confident about this now. I picture him every time I sing the song now. It's an amazing smile. Even the suit has teeth. Everything flash and guile. Nothing underneath. <laughs> Which, pretty much on low res the other night. It looked like he had nothing on underneath. His vest was was significantly skin coloured. I'm your Tom Hardy to your Patrick Stewart. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty pretty much. I think we bring out the best in each other. Due to our kind of like friendship slash rivalry. And that's that's great for everyone. Everyone gets cool content on the internet from it. Oh, yeah, you're talking about Skullcrusher Mountain. <laughs> I made this half pony, half monkey monster to please you. But I get the feeling that you don't like it. What's with all the screaming? You like monkeys, you like ponies. Maybe you don't like monsters so much. 
Maybe I use too many monkeys. Anyway, time for the sauna. We are basically the hail and pace of the 2020s. Fuck yeah, mate. Not even like A grade comedians, like B or C grade comedians. <laughs> Love it. So good. We, we could have been, we could have been the fucking, the, the, the Enfield and White House of the, of the 2020s. We could have been the, I don't know, the fucking <laughs> Mitchell and Webb. The fucking Laurie and Fry of the 2020s. No, hail and pace, mate. Hail and pace. And I know which one I am as well. I'm the one with the fucking. I'm. I'm. Well, they were both a bit chubby, but I'm. I'm the chubbier one. With the. Uh, did he have like a mullet at one point? Could have sworn he had a mullet at one point. The big bushy mustache. Um. Wait. So what the fuck am I supposed to be doing here? I got wrapped up in Joko then, and and Hale and Pace. Yeah, I thought we had a mullet at one point. I guess there's nothing in here. We just need to keep going. It was it was what we call in the uh, in the industry a fake out. There was a big swell of music. We opened the door, and then there was nothing there. Fake out. Uh oh. <laughs> I just, yeah, but you made me realize the other day, Hobby Tan, that most of that, like, quite a lot of his songs are about, like, weird, strange, incel, creepy scientists. <laughs> and I was like, oh no. Stuck up FBI, bitch. Gonna be the future soon, and I won't always be this way. <laughs> Um, the creepy people are making scary noises, and I'm not feeling safe or confident. Logan, Logan, I'm here. Logan. The story is trying to take Logan. Yep. I can still stop this. I need the clicker. Anderson, the trick. He has it now. Wake? I saw him this way in the other overlap. It's a loop. Just like before. Oh. I see. It is. What do we do to break the loop, then? <laughs> yeah. I wish he'd do something new. I think that like um he did that some guys album of covers i don't think he's put out anything since then has he unless i've missed it which is a shame because that was like 20 i want to say like 2018 or 2019 or something yeah I feel like that that meme where it's like they're poking them and going come on do something <laughs> But you can't rush art. Um, nothing that you've seen or heard. Yeah. Uh oh, spooky. I um, what am I looking forward to coming out? Music wise, I know that Green Day are teasing a new album. I don't think it's going to be like super mind blowing amazing. But it's uh, the two tracks I've heard have been okay so far. 
Joker, why are you sleeping? Yeah, look, that he hasn't put out anything since before the um uh before the pandemic. So I'm like, everyone in the pandemic, loads of musicians were putting out loads of extra music because they had fuck all to do. Joko, why why didn't you write something? Why didn't you put out anything, Joko? I know he did his cruise and stuff, but I don't think he's even done one of those recently. Anyway, when I bought the new when I bought those karaoke versions off his website, um, I signed up for the mailing list again. So if there is something coming, I, I should hopefully get notice of it at least. I thought I was on his list. This is a nightmare. I thought I was on his list before. I, can't get that. I need to look for another way through. Delightful. Danny Elfman put out his first ever album, like, not soundtrack, and Boingo Boingo, because that's what he did during the pandemic. Yeah, 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 lots, lots of bands. Um, or, or, specifically, not always bands. Like, more like maybe one musician from the band just did, like, a bunch of side shit or something. Um, I, well, we can't go this way. Oh god. Should I follow the the red stuff? Oh, I've got to go this way. Wait, yeah. This way. That's okay. I I love the nerdy knowledge, um especially when it comes to music. Like, I actually know more about, like, um, bands and release dates and albums and stuff than I probably do about games. <laughs> okay, interesting. So, yeah. S tell me where I should start with Oingo Boingo. Um, welcome in Raiders, by the way. I've never listened to an Oingo Boingo song, album, anything. So, tell me where to start, and I'll I'll start. Um, thank you, Nosfazatu, for raiding me. I choose you! Platinum Zatu Raid sending all the luck and love to a lovely streamer. Thank you so much. Thank you for trusting me with your uh, with your viewers. Welcome on in. And um, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, what were you playing? How was your stream? I hope it went well. Uh, we're playing Alan Wake 2 here today. And uh, it's great, except for the fact that the well started bleeding. And now all I can hear is Finnish music being sung. But apart from that, everything's hunky-dory. <laughs> I have. I have heard Oingo Boingo. Really? Have you ever seen Weird Science? Nope. That's on my list. Casper Spirited Beginning. Is that the one with Christina Ritchie in it? Otherwise, nope. Um, I've never seen Pee Wee's Big Adventure. I know. I'm, I'm really slacking. Weird Science is on my to-do watch list because um, I, there's a rapper called Weird Science, but with two E's instead of E-I. Um, and he is the drummer for Coheed, uh, Josh Eppard. So, um, but I've never actually seen the movie. I know the premise. I know that two kids like create a woman or something and hilarity ensues because it was the eighties. Um, you love weird science. I fucking love weird science. I love Coheed. I love Weird Science. I love um, uh, Josh's brother Joey as well. Is in a band called Three. They're fantastic. Joey is is an insanely good musician as well, just in general. Um, Oingo Boingo turn up in a lot of '80s and '90s movie soundtracks. Interesting. So I probably must have heard a snatch of them somewhere. Just oh oh, here we go. Something's happening. Oh, well, it was. Oh, it's starting again. Yeah, I'm sure I must have heard something somewhere. But where should I start in terms of uh, listenership? Where would you recommend? Did I just do a loop or something? Ah, we need to go this way. No worries, Zatu. Thank you for your raid. Hope your stream was good. 
Oh, you were on the final Walking Dead Telltale game. It is emotions. Yeah. I complete... Um, I think it was maybe last year or something. I didn't do it on stream. I completed the, uh, the final season. Yeah. I mean, overall, it's really... I, I like the way they ended it. Um, I'm not sure if you're at the end yet, so I'm not going to say anything about it. But yeah, um, good luck on the school run. And um, thank you for, for the raid and for wishing me the best. I wish the best to you. Their most famous track, barring weird science, is Dead Man's Party, which is also in DDR. Okay. Well, we've got the premier DDR um, font of knowledge in the chat. His name is Mr. My Internet. Uh, the geek music winds up being mostly Thundercat and Gmo Ski. Interesting. So, Artie is the one singing on that track, which is fun. Artie from Control. I'm an odd Boing fan, so I would say start with nothing to fear. Alright, I'm just going to make a quick note of that, because if I don't, I'll forget. Um, also, I am I am one of those um, assholes, um, general pond scum, that um, love React content. So I'll probably try and do it as one of my first React content uh, videos on YouTube. Oingo Boingo, nothing to fear. So you'll be able to see my actual reaction if you give a shit about that, because I get it. Not everyone likes React content. Um, I do. <laughs> um, I read that as booing first and went to write a B.O. Earns joke. Is it boo or boo earns? Um, Dead Man's Party. I'll put that on the list too. Put that on the list too. Why not? Why not? But uh, as for weird science, I find myself quoting weird science lyrics all the time. I've got a famous one, actually, like um, whenever I'm talking with Mrs. Garlips, if we're talking about like something really stupid, like someone's done something horrendously stupid. Um, uh, there's one song he's got called um, The Zodiac Killer or, or something like that from Sick Kids. And he goes, um, stupid is a stupid... Uh, stupid is a stupid does. Now stupid's fucked it. <laughs> and so I, I quote that on the reg. Stupid is as stupid does. Now stupid's fucked it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's so nice to meet another weird science fan. Well, I, I already knew that Hobby Town was like keeping it 100 um, on all of the other awesome stuff you like that I also like. So it's very cool. It is just apt. And well, hello, Jason Vader. Welcome in, friend. We're playing Alan Wake 2. Currently, we're having a very, very rainy, bad time in the woods. Someone's yelling at me. I don't like it. We're gonna reload this thing. I love this crossbow. It's incredible. So strong. There you are. <laughs> Did you see his? <laughs> he had like a little pipe. It just went straight up in the air. That was incredible. 
Um, right, okay. People, please stop attacking me in the woods then. I need to listen to more MC Lars. I know about weird science because of Coheed. When, when I got into Coheed, I fell big in love with the band. And then I sort of checked out everyone's side projects. And that's how I found Weird Science, Davenport Cabinet, um, Fire Deuce, um, and of course now um, LS Dunes. I only found out about LS Dunes because of um, Travis being in that. Um, not because, um, what's his face, from uh, Frank from MCR is in it. Um, although then I found out that Frank was in it. And I was like, oh, cool. Um, if Britain leaves the EU, how much space will be freed up? One gigabyte? <laughs> One one GB, one Great Britain. Oh, I get it. That's a good joke, Blackbird. You get the laugh today. Well, I can't hear it, but I think you guys can. Yeah, the bar the bar's moved. So, Garlips, guess who got accepted as a volunteer for AGDQ? Whoa, for real. That's awesome. Badass. That's awesome, dude. I wish I was going. I wish I was going. Is it... Wh where are they holding it? Is it, like, close to you? You're going to be on camera. Or not on camera, but, like, you know, operating camera. Awesome. Yeah, I want to go to GDQ someday. Some someday, someday I will. Oh, we still can't go down the fucking well. Maybe now we can go to the watery place. No, we need to follow the music, don't we? Oh hell yeah, I drive six or seven hours to go to GDQ. Is that one of the policemen? That's Artie. That's Artie. Artie, why are you grinning at me like a maniac? You're supposed to be the good one. <laughs> well, it's not just the planes, is it? It's also the fucking accommodation. Um, etc, etc. But yeah, I'd love to go someday. The only way I could probably justify going is if I am as a as a runner. Okay, this is getting just a little bit spooky now. Oh yeah, I'll I'll be going to the pit in uh, in December. December is of course okay. Christmas in the Wasteland month, where I going play down. Fallout 3 game of the year and Fallout New Vegas game of the year. New Vegas, by the way, I've only played a few hours of before, so it'll be largely a blind playthrough. While um, I've played the entirety of Fallout 3 and all its DLC before. One day we'll both run at GDQ. Exactly. Yes. That that is. Sometimes you just like. A, a, perhaps the rapper said it best. Sometimes you just gotta believe. Did it. Did it. Did it. Um. And the rest will fall into place. How? Just just believe and work towards that belief, what and maybe someday mean? you'll make it happen. That's how I feel about it. I was on a hotfix at one point. Yes, that's the closest I... Well, no. I've actually been at GDQ as a commentator. But the problem was... That was... Um, Schmumbler's run of cryostasis in January. And that was... That, was, that entire event was remote. That's the only reason that I managed to get onto it. So I have, I have been a commentator at GDQ. Which is insane. And I had actually kind of forgot about that until you mentioned it. But yeah, I've also been on a hotfix. I was on the hotfix with um, with Wacky Races 
I think. Yeah, yeah, what, yeah. It was Wacky Races. Conception was the guy who held that particular episode of Hotfix. Um, in, in part of his silly games thing. Yeah, and Mr. Matt was uh, was great at comms on that on that uh, episode of Hotfix as well. It's been an eventful year. It's been it's kind of hard to remember because it's been such a long year as well. But yeah. You should absolutely do that, Chase, because you're going to be there, you know? Thank God we turned that off. Cock Tower, Cock Tower represent. Exactly. you got to do the Cock Tower representation. It's, imp it's very important. Uh, yeah, I actually, I saw a Twitter post, I think yesterday or the day before, and it was about the bias against PS1, or PlayStation games in general at GDQ. And it was very interesting. This person had done the numbers. They'd crunched the numbers. They'd made all kinds of graphs. And they proved that there was a bias specifically towards Nintendo. Um, they picked the same old shit. So I am hoping that eventually GDQ, they'll start picking more different stuff. I mean, at the very least, we know that at the next GDQ, there's going to be that dog one. The dog speed running. What is it? it? The dog speed runs? I forget. It's one of those NES games. It's something like that. So they are doing weird stuff. It's just the problem is the majority of the stuff they pick is very samey. It's, it's Nintendo. It's Mario shit. Like, not to belittle people who run Mario games. It's just that they get a lot of representation. Do you know what I mean? Maybe it's time to kind of throw a bit more representation in the way of uh, things that don't get to be on the main stage that much. All I know is that Juho is definitely not bitter about the Togo. <laughs> um, yeah. People think I'm salty. Juho gets... Juho is very capable of salt. And sass. He's, he's very sassy with it as well. Oh, yeah, split a room. That would help with the uh, thing. <laughs> Salted horns. Horse. Yeah. He's a salt horse. Of course, everyone knows. He's a salt horse. Of course, that's how it goes. That's another Joko reference. Because we didn't have too many already. Um, I am trapped in a nightmare right now. I think I'm gearing up towards a boss, though. These these police dudes. Goodies. What? Where am I getting attacked from? Fucking hell. Yeah, I think that would be an, a cool idea for a weird thon. Is um, games that involve menial tasks, and I'll run bully. I'll I'll do grass cutting in bully. Um, I fucking love bully. Bully's a great game. I'll do grass mowing percent. Did I get that in him? Start, 
Oh, crap. It's so hard to avoid those shots, man. Do it. Jesus Christ. Whew. Yep, all the warehouse job in Shenmue, but I mean. That might take a while, um, unless it's just to do like one shift. Um, but yeah, there are lots of ideas for this. I think it'd be a fun event. And uh, this time we'll record it. <laughs> Love you, Mr. Matt. Sorry, Mr. Matt. Um, by the way, I'm still Zumbini's undefeated champion, but so is so is Hobby Tan because no video evidence exists. Um, for this boss, it's clear that I have to shine my torch on those things, but they keep shooting me. Do it! Jesus Christ! Can I have the things, please? Can I have the things? Thanks, that would be great. Okay, so now they can't respawn. Oh, we checkpointed. Right, excellent. So, quick, let's just spam some pills.
One down. We did it. Basically, the trick is when you hear them cocking the gun to fire, that's when you dodge with L1. What do you mean, escape? You're already out. So is Scratch. making progress. I wrote to be the story's hero. Save her family. Save us all. Save her family? Are you talking about my family? Yes. yes. You know it's working. You just need to keep... Alan's going. using you. Did you put my family in the horror story? <laughs> yeah, he did. Because Alan's a fucking hack. I keep seeing him... He can't house. make shit up by himself. He's like, oh, her family were in danger. Thanks for that, Alan. <laughs> Good job, Alan! Pull it surprise on its way. What a cunt. <laughs> and he's like, mm, yes, the dark presence wouldn't let me write this story unless it rang true. It rings true that your family are now in danger. <laughs> it's like, cheers, Alan. Interesting. He is the next Garth Marenghi. Uh, it is dark place after all. It is the dark place and the dark presence. Okay, we completed Local Girl. The music is really good in Alan Wake 2, by the way, as well. And apparently they said it's not copyright strikeable. So... I always try to listen to a little bit of it, because... Someone took time and effort to make this, and it's it's all really good. Tears at night, as I hear the storm howling Losing my child, taken by the tide Nowhere to hide, I don't know Broken bonds, broken souls Baby, you know how it goes Blood stains on the phone Baby, calling home But to no one home If I'm a superhero It feels like it's building to a drop. I don't think it's going to drop. It's not a dance song. Now we're getting the drum build. It feels like we're about to have a drop. I'm sad and I'm dancing. Ah. Oh. No, I wanted a drop. <laughs> End the song. Wake said he could use the clicker to undo the horror story. I need to get back to Bright Falls, to Casey and Wake. I should check in with Casey. Go on then, are you not gonna call Casey? Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch over to Alan and do Alan's next chapter now. You're sad and you're dancing, but you are dancing. With tears in my eyes. Yes, I am. Is that... Is that a ha? Dancing. Tears in my eyes. Maybe it's a ha. Maybe Come it's on, not. Casey. Questioning myself. No now. answer. David. It's Ultravox. Right ear of wrong man. Cup. Hey, this is David. Leave a message. David. Yep, there you Can go. Call me back, please. It's urgent. Please. I always forget that I know more answer? than one Ultravox song. Is Logan all right? Because everyone knows Vienna. How does this all work. Has a this horror story already gone? This means nothing her? to me. Ah, oh, Vienna. It's his favorite ice cream, don't you know? Uh, don't forget to use the janitor's bucket. No, don't worry. I haven't forgotten. 
Can we go this way back now? Do you reckon the bridge has been fixed? It's not flooded. If they make me traipse all the way through Coffee World. Yeah, there we go. See where the water was hiding. Oh, right. That's it. The flooding goes down. So I could probably have a look around and see what's... There's probably more stuff to find. Plus, there's also... There's that box in the other place. Um, Cauldron Lake. That's got a screwdriver that I can open with a screwdriver. Anyway, what was flooded around here? It was that lagoon, right? Let's have a look, see. Very good live. Fair enough. I would like to see more 80s bands live while they're still touring, you know? Um, I have seen... I was going to see Aha, and then we couldn't make it. So I had to give the tickets to my mum and my dad, which I'm happy about because they got to go see Aha. Um, and they saw um, Aha, and I think it was OMD, uh, Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark, was support. Uh, but I have seen, I've seen Go West. I've seen Tapau. I've seen Counting, uh, Cutting Crew. And there are bands that everyone only knows one song from, but really should know more of, because... Uh, that whole album is fantastic. You saw the Human League! Nice! With Majeu from Ultravox. Uh, Die Toten Hosen. Um, are they the ones that do Here Compt Alex? Again, thanks to Rock Band for that. Here Compt Alex! That was Die Toten Hosen, right? Yeah. See? I told you. My music knowledge is even better than my video game knowledge. I should go on actual Buzzcocks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're going to see Depeche Mode. Nice. Nice. Another one of those rhymes. Oh, we've got another ritual here. It got removed after Rock Band 1. Yeah, I think in general that, that talking of German bands, because I, I believe Tietotenhosen were German band, obviously. Um, there was a song called uh, Monsoon by Tokyo Hotel. That was on Rock Band 1 um, in the UK, but in the US was a DLC song, I believe. Or maybe it was the other way around. I think, uh, no, I think it was on our disc. But the problem is, when you did the Rock Band export, it didn't export that song. Because, yeah, so it didn't export Monsoon because that wasn't on the Rock Band export, because the Rock Band export was like the US track list. And then you couldn't buy Monsoon. Because it wasn't DLC over here, because it wasn't, because it was on the disc, and I like that song Monsoon. It's not bad, and I was like, guess I never get to play that again. Some of them did, some of them didn't. I'm pretty sure Monsoon was one that didn't, but I could be wrong on that. Um, even the tracks that did export sometimes would fuck up. Like, um, uh, I Welcome Home on my install was just like cursed. Like, it just would not load in Rock Band 3 half the time. For no reason. But um, I would like to do some Rock Band streams at some point. I've got my Xbox 360 Elite up there. It's got all of my Rock Band content from Rock Band 1, 2, 3 installed on it. And even probably still some network songs. Welcome Home appearing as if it was in the year 6649101. Is, is, is this a comment on Welcome Home? I mean, like, Welcome Home was definitely overplayed. I'm a Coheed fan. I will tell you that for free. But, um, I was very shocked when I saw them in October last year, and they didn't play Welcome Home. <laughs> hey, PC has been dispatched. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, it was a weird bug where the tag didn't read. Well, there you go, because I was a sufferer of a weird bug with Welcome Home where it just wouldn't fucking play. So there we go. A devil with a prize lured the animals to, to his boat all shiny and new. Who would float and who would sink, asked the devil with a wink. The moose went splash, the deer sailed on, but which one of them was therefore gone? So, hang on. The moose went splash, the deer sailed on. So the deer's in the boat. The boat, uh, the, the moose went splash. And I'm guessing the trickster. The devil with a prize... Lord, do I got a devil? The trickster? That's it. Bingo. 
I am so smart. SMRT. Hey, we're just doing random shoutouts now. Excellent. Why do all the cool bands have to be so expensive? I mean, it's, yeah, it's it's awful, isn't it? Oh, damn. I, I, I really want to see Alkaline Trio the next time they come over to the UK. I really hope that they do more than just, like, a festival. Like, I know that they, they I, I think they've done Slam Dunk at least once. I want them to do their actual, I want to do their actual thing. Because the new song, I love the new song. Yoink. Oh, I got a new charm. Oh, whoops. You can't see that. I got a new charm. News for Garlip. Silent Hill 2 pre-orders have opened. Have, are you pulling my fucking leg? Hang on a second. I have to check this. Um, I don't see anything about it. Help, help, help. Release date, 31st of December. Is that correct? You saw them during the Crimson tour. Now I'm fucking jealous. Crimson's a great album. I mean, it, they're all great. I, I've loved everything our client have ever put out. It's just one website, apparently. Which website? Is it hit.co.uk? They've got a date of 31st December. But there's no official Konami. Is there official Konami thing? 2023, it says. 31st December 2023. I, I don't know if that's accurate. But yeah, I would be holding on to see if Konami did something like a, a special statue or something. I don't see anything. But yeah, keep an eye on it because, um, you know, when, when they release that, they, they will go super quick. So I need to get in there. I appreciate the heads up, but it looks like it's a bit of a false alarm at this point. Mr. Drippy Charm increases damage dealt when low on health. That sounds fantastic. Um, I think we'll switch that for this one. Um, I saw them during Crimson also, and again for This Thing Is Cursed. Oh, it's a great album. Is this thing cursed? This goddamn thing's the worst. You've heard the new song, right, Jace? What do you think of the new song? I love the new song. The new song is... Mwah, I love it. It's perfect. Yes, yeah, so good. <laughs> Literally after the second or third play, I was like singing it. Sleep like the undead, like the undead. The end of the day. Din, din, din. Um, I bet the Silent Hill 2 Limited Edition comes with the layers of fear digital code. Well, I won't use it. Uh, <laughs> layers of fear is on the disc, and Pyramid Head is actually a framed painting. Well, he is in Silent Hill 2. Uh, Misty Day's Remains of Judgment, or whatever it's called. Um, uh, GameStop? Question mark. A GameStop talking about Silent Hill 2 remake? Well, GameStop won't even cover us anyway. It's a U US thing. But any news is interesting news. Apparently GameStop have Silent Hill 2 listed, but it says coming soon. Currently unavailable. I'm just... I, I If there's a special edition, I want the special edition. It, unless it's crazy stupid money. Which it, it could very well be, by the way. All right, I'm going to get back to the game, but uh, interesting, interesting developments. And yeah, I, I definitely want to see Alkaline Trio if they're doing a, a headlining tour in the U uh, UK on this album cycle. Because uh, me and Mrs. Gollops, we, we, uh, what was it? Like we listened an awful lot to, um, is it My Shame is True? My Shame is my shame is true. Your shame, is... whichever one it is, it's the one with um. I lied to the FBI as the opener, and then um. I want to be a Warhol. Yeah, Bayside. 
Bass, so Bayside is interesting because they're a band I'd never really listened to before. And then a couple of tracks came up on my Spotify or something this year. And I was like, oh, I like Bayside, apparently. So, um, yeah, because Bayside did a split. Apparently, Bayside did a split with Say Anything. And I love Say Anything, despite the many problems that um, uh, problematic stuff that's come out of Say Anything recently. Um, I still say anything or a huge band for me like they were pivotal in my in my development so um and they did a split with bayside so that's interesting um hard times headline i just read all of matt skeeper's new alkaline trio songs are about aliens and masturbation for some reason <laughs> it's time in blink 182 rubbed off on him um oh nice okay yeah i need to listen to more bayside what was the bayside song i heard recently that i really liked I think it was like, oh, hang on. Let me just look at recent Bayside songs. And I'll be able to tell you which one it was. Bayside discography. And then we'll go fairly recent. Have we got singles? Um, no, it's not on singles. Maybe it's on Interrobang. Let's have a look. No. Uh. Oh, it might have been the blue EP. Bayside blue EP. Because I remember the art being blue. It was like literally their logo on a blue on a blue thing. I think it was Go to Hell. Yeah, it might be Go to Hell. I liked that one quite a lot. Welcome in, 16-bit Hyper Turbo. You all right, mate? How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I am uh, playing Alan Wake 2 today, but I will be watching the wheel spin. So please, as always, if uh, chat could be super helpful and let me know when the wheel spin goes live, I will pause momentarily for the, uh, the wheel spin. Blink-182 rubbed off on him. Uh, Devotion and Desire is the one most people stumble on, but that's an oldie. Yeah, I need to I need to get back into... I need to go to Bayside and start listening to, like, the early tracks. Um, because I do... I, I think I like them based on some songs I've heard, so... I need to get in there, don't I? Get in there. <laughs> wheel spin, eh? Yeah, wheel spin. Looking forward to it. Maybe. I don't know what... I'm still feeling Tomb Raider. I, I think Tomb Raider is going to come up soon. I think we'll also, we're also overdue for one of our Return of the Legends. Oh, I see a dude. Hang on. We better deal with the dude. Is there a way to like walk slowly or quietly? The oldest house? That's a control reference, my friend. Yeah, we got it. Fucking hell, mate. Diplers. It's gonna be suck, mate. Well, maybe it is. I'm excited either way. Uh, is it gonna be Petsy Man? Petsyman. That's what my brother said to me, is that it sounds like pet semen. And now ever since he said that, I can't unhear it. So thanks for that, escape route. Petsyman. I'm here for a wheel spin. Now that Halloween is over, I can maybe dedicate a day to it now. Heck fucking yes, Jace. Um, you've got time to get... Well, today is the last day for Worms Armageddon submissions. But you've still got a week to do Super Monkey Ball 2. And whatever spin comes today, you've got two two weeks for that one as well. So, yep. Thanks, ERB. <laughs> he's, um, he is a character, but he's my brother. I love him. Uh, their style did change a bit after they lost their drummer. Fatal accident on the way back from a show. Fuck. It hit the whole band really hard. Yeah, I would imagine it would. Wow. Um, look into more on how to play these games. Um, 
best place to go, mate, is um, wheelofstruggle.com, uh, which I can't spell because I'm fucking smooth-brained right now. Um, and go to the Discord. Um, I can give you an invite to the Discord if you like. Um, let me invite you to the Discord. I can do that. That's within my powers. Invite Jason Vader. I thought, are you already in? Are you already in the server? You're already in the server. I was going to invite you. You're already there. <laughs> um, yeah, there will also be some forgotten rounds. So um, I think there are two this season. Uh, in the forgotten rounds, you'll be able to play any of the games that you didn't previously submit for. So for regular people who've been playing the whole season, they won't be able to do anything on those um, things. By the way, if anyone needs help acquiring Super Monkey Ball 2, um, I can help you acquire Super Monkey Ball 2. Uh, but it's it's fairly straightforward. Help me! Help me. Help me. <laughs> Fucking... I always miss him. I always miss him. Acquire, yes. Acquire. I can help you acquire Super Monkey Ball 2. I booted it up just to check that it works and all the emulation works and everything on the menu. Oh my god. Um, GameCube em emulation is super slick smooth and why the fuck haven't I been emulating GameCube? And oh my god, all of the games that I'm going to start speedrunning from the GameCube uh, library. I can't wait. I can't wait. So yeah, that's pretty cool. It is good! <laughs> yeah, it's great! I've got it blown up to like four times uh, resolution. I've got it running on uh, it, it. The software render is my uh, graphics card, my my twenty seventy super. Um, uh, super Monkey Ball looked buttery smooth. I can't wait to throw some other stuff at it, and even some stuff for GameCube I've never played before, like Piano Three, and um, well, I've played a little bit of Eternal Darkness before, but I've not really completed Eternal Eternal Darkness before. So definitely going to be playing Eternal Darkness on there as well. Simpsons Hit and Run is Abandonware now. Is it? In which case, well, hey, feel free to download it. It is also Wii Emulator. Yeah, Dolphin is the standard. I've, I've heard many people talk about Dolphin before in terms of emulating Wii and, and GameCube. But I never really got into it or, or decided to take a look at it. So I'm, I'm really happy that the wheel has kind of like forced my hand. Um, I'm even toying with the idea of making my SSX Tricky submission for Season 6 the GameCube version. I'm not sure about that yet 100%, but maybe. Because the only manual I could find online was the Xbox uh, One, the, the Xbox original version and the GameCube. Oh, nice. Yeah. Fantasy Star Online. Right. Was there anywhere else that was flooded around here? The entrance, right? The entrance to the park had a lot of flooding. Flooding. Yeah, I love SSX Tricky. Currently, my two submissions for Season 6 are going to be, and I'm not going to submit loads of games for Season 6 because I really want them to get in. So I'm only submitting, like, a couple. I'm submitting SSX Tricky. I'm submitting... Diddy Kong Racing. Um, and I may be, maybe a third submission, but that's going to be it. I'm going to draw the line there. There should be a Tony Hawk's. The reason why I haven't submitted a Tony Hawk's is, first of all, music. So it would be quite annoying. Second, if you're going to do Tony Hawk's, the only thing you can really do is a score-based a score -based challenge. And that will just lead to everyone like just manualing a hundred times while keeping the bar in the middle and like pressing different combinations for like square 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 x etc while you're manualing just to like get like a combo of like 15,000 million points i'm not sure what you would actually what the challenge on a tony hawks would be unless it would be as many goals as possible like in every level so like um you'd only maybe you'd only get points for a level if you complete all of the challenges in it or or maybe we would just count challenges as individual points across the whole levels. I mean, it could work. It could work.
But that's that. Those two reasons are part of the reason why I've never submitted a Tony Hawk's because I love Tony Hawk. So, just uh, as a person, <laughs> but also the games. Yeah, maybe a high score challenge on one level in particular, or or maybe it will be the case that you know you've got to. Um... But the problem is, I've got a lot of inbuilt like ability with Tony Hawk. Like, I'm gonna dominate. I I, <laughs> I don't want to sound like a dickhead, but I I've, I've been playing Tony Hawk since it came out. Um, I will dominate. <laughs> I don't doubt you will dominate either, friend. But like someone who's never played Tony Hawk before, they're gonna have a like a struggly time, which is kind of what you want, I guess. It is the wheel of struggle, blah blah blah. But you know, you'll fuck. Me. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You'll fuck me up. Interesting, sir. Interesting, sir. I. I was under the impression that it was me who was going to fuck you up. That's what that that was the impression I was under. That's the impression that I get, as it were. Um, <laughs> duel. <laughs> That's one word. Duel. It's time to duel. Ha! Huh. Sixteen-bit hyper turbo. You've played Tony Hawk in attack position. You fool! You have fallen for my trap. I play Bob Burnquist in defense position. All the time Bob Burnquist is in the skate park, I gain plus 10 on my stats. You fool, 16-bit. <laughs> Tony Hawk's why I'm a fan of Goldfinger. Tony Hawk is why I'm a fan of, like, 20... Inconceivable! <laughs> Inconceivable. 20 to 30 bands, at least. Yeah, it, it, it helps shape my... my... Like, I already knew the Offspring, Green Day, things like that, but um, uh, uh, Tony Hawk opened my eyes to so many bands. Rodney Mullen? Yeah, Rodney Mullen's great with the manual chain. Well, yeah, if we're talking, like, anything from Tony Hawk's 3 onward, you can do reverts um, and you can do manual tricks, which just, like, increase your combo to insane levels. Yeah, Millen Colin, of course. Millen Colin, Goldfinger. Um, who else is on those soundtracks? Like, there are quite a few very, very notable ones on those soundtracks. Like, for a lot of people, that's where they heard Rage Against the Machine for the first time. Um, I think, I think Papa Roach is on one of those as well. I think they've got a song on it. Um, I would go through the whole soundtrack, but honestly, there are, there are a shit ton of stuff on there. Bad Religion as well. It's a place where everyone can be happy. It's the most beautiful place in the whole wide fucking world. Made of red, red canes, red, 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 choo choo trains, and the meanest little boys, most innocent little girls. And you know, I wish that I could go there. It's a lot that I have not found. Wish you the best of luck, dear. Dep, 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 dep. Don't know all the words, cause there's no time for fussing and fighting, my friend. Baby, I'm amazed at the hate that you could send at you. Invaded my entire... No, painted my entire world. This bridge got fixed quick. This bridge did get fixed quick. Gorilla Radio, yep. In THPS 2. Very, very iconic. Like, dropping into the hangar. With, like... Yeah, very iconic. I just realized I've played two hours of this game. And uh, probably only played about an hour's worth of actual gameplay. But it's been lovely to talk to you. As 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 it always is. I think everything's okay in Coffee World. Have you noticed? I'm getting this like off feeling every night after work. What? Are you having nightmares again? Like when you were a kid? Do you need your security blanket? You need Blanky Blankerson? <sighs> you keep Blanky out of this. I want to see a band called the Nine Hundred Band. Last year, and they cover all the songs used on Tony Hawk's games. That's a great fucking idea for a fucking tribute band. First of all, it's named after the 900, which is like Tony Hawk's like insane move that he managed to pull off like maybe a few times in his entire life. And then they play all of the fucking hits from all those games that you love. That's That sounds like a fucking good night out. And of course, Staple Tape Worms on My Penis, which I recently heard for the first time in September. I had half a mind to come down and start dancing. Oh, why didn't you? Yeah, of course. We're going to Akuga's house to drink some brewskis. 
Are oh, you we've got an advert. No, you're the mole. I'm very busy wearing a turtleneck and drinking wine like an asshole. <laughs> oh, dear, I know what Yaku needs. I'm coming to the rescue. <laughs> I love these guys. They're the best. Wow, this is the best party ever. Thanks, Alma Beer. Alma Beer is a traditional Finnish lager, and we drink it the Finnish way. At the bar, while actively avoiding small talk with strangers. <laughs> Getting blackout drunk on a boat during midsummer and trying not to drown. <laughs> In the sauna. In the sauna. To hide your big belly from wandering eyes. <laughs> Taking in the Finnish tradition of Kalsarikan myth, drinking at home alone in your underwear with no intentions of going out. It's not sad if it's intentional. <laughs> Alma beer, your Finnish drinking adventure starts here. Hey, how's it going? They are so good. They are so good. Uh, this hasn't... No, this was the stuff I read before. Um, Garlips, I've sent you a link to a wrapper I think you will appreciate in Discord. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm always up for... By the way, I'm always up for, like, new recommendations for music, TV, films, anything. If you watch something, listen to something you think Garlips would like that, please let me know. Um, this advert is the best. It's my favorite of all... Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty good. Pretty good. What was that, Mr. Matt? Utopia? Yeah, I need to watch that at some point, don't I? Mr. Matt has mentioned that a few That's times. A good deer. Nice. Right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quick save. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna transfer. I have heard of the band Slaughter to Prevail. I've not really heard any of their music. So please do give me what you think is like a good entry point. Um, and um, bonus points if you send it to me in, in Discord because then I can put it on my list. I was back. I wasn't able to escape. A dark presence had stopped me. It's an open invitation. Whatever you got for me, I'll give it a go. Dark presence, you mean gallops? Of course. Well, no, it's Halloween. It was Halloween yesterday, right? Halloween, we all get underneath the black tree, right? And and we see what dark presents have been left for us. I want all of the dark presents. We sing. I knew how this worked now. I could take control. No more surprises. What demons he wrestles with in the dark hours of the night. Together with our house band, the divine old gods of Asgard, we have created something very special. The song is called Herald of Darkness, but I like to call this next segment the story of the journey of Alan Wake, the musical. Alan Wake, the musical. What is he doing? But instead of talking, He's doing the dance from Twin Peaks. Sing it. What is going on? <laughs> From 
what I gathered. You grew up nice and sheltered with mama's pretty stories, and you're all made up pure. And mama gave me a magic clicker. Well, yes, I think it's true and fair to say. You are joking. No way. <laughs> We're in a musical right now. Oh my God, there they are. <laughs> it's so good oh my god you've been keeping this to yourself how how could you contain this holy shit i love how it continues the song until you get to where you the next bit of the song is so you were drawn to stories early Yeah, but with the clicker, I chase those frights away. Ooh, you, so true. So Oh my god! This is insane! <laughs> Oh my god, they have to release this in full somewhere afterwards. We need we need this on YouTube. After after the dust has settled. I don't want it to end. Sorry, pumpkin blades. I, I There's not a world where I cannot make a noise at this. <laughs> yeah, the dance routine's in incredible. It's be it, a remedy. <laughs> yeah, a remedy, you knocked out of the park. I don't want it to end. That was tremendous. That alone is, is 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Oh my god, it's not over. Chilling thrillers of hard-boiled killers became bestsellers. It was all too much. I had to get away. I'll make the musical. It's beautiful. It writes itself. And 
and the way it's synced up the way it's synced up so well to your movements like the music the backing music keeps playing uninterrupted until you get to the next part and then it like seamlessly plays the next part that's the most impressive part technically of this whole thing is that like i could just stand here and, and listen to this forever until i trigger the next part It's just so good. I wish I understood it. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, well, all you need to know is that Remedy are just killing it right now. Is that the Get a Wife Club? Oh, Get Away Club. light bulb symbol. Oh, okay. It's just telling you where to go. Uh, the band are called Poets of the Fall, but here's, here's the kicker, 16-bit. The band in real life are called Poets of the Fall, but th there is a band, a fictional band in the Alan Wake universe called the Old Gods of Asgard, which is also Poets of the Fall. <laughs> Remedy of the developers, yeah. They made uh, Max Payne 1, 2, um, Alan Wake, Control, Quantum Break, and this. Oh my god, look at him in his sunglasses! Alan is so cool. This whole thing is is tremendous. now though I'm getting like a vibration Still not sure where to go, but I'm just I'm enjoying being here. Ah, here we go. No.
Is there more darkness for me to banish? I'm gonna look like a joke who doesn't know anything about sunglasses or video games. I doubt that, mate. Honestly, just... What you need to do, right, is you need to Google sunglasses in video games. Because I guarantee that is exactly what Mr. <laughs> Mr. Matt will do to write your questions, okay? So, go to Google sunglasses in video games. <laughs> Jobs are good. I, I'm personally very excited to see how Mr. Matt Internet treats the fairness of some people picking one game for their entire specialist subject and other people picking entire series of games for their their specialist subjects. Because I feel like the questions can't be as deep. Like, so there's got to be something that makes them harder for the game, just singular game, right? That's how I feel about it anyway. But we'll see, we'll see how it shakes out. I'm confident in my ability to answer questions about the Resident Evil series. So that's what I will be doing. I've got the icon here to use to use the thing, but I can't use the thing, see? No charges. Right, no charges. I need a charge. Uh, yeah, all I will know is, um, until I watch the final thing with everyone else, all I will know is, um, how my questions were, and also who makes it into the, uh, into the, uh, the, what, what are we calling it? The, uh, the elimination, the eliminations, or the semi-finals, whatever you want to call it. I've got to be able to get a charge from somewhere. But I don't know where I'm supposed to be getting the charge from. I don't know. It didn't restart there, did it? But maybe it depends on how long you've been paused. No, I think it's just... I think it's remembering where you are. Sound-wise. Which is also impressive. So I need a charge, but I haven't got one. So I need to find one. Ah, here we go. Extremely cool, by the way. Extremely cool. <sighs> now it's the events of Alan Wake 1. Gotta be. Oh yeah, Narita Boy is a, is a good choice. What is it on PS right now? I think I bought it on PS, but I'm not sure. I've got it on PC. If 
$5.99 for non-PS Plus and $4.99 for PS Plus. Ah, okay. Yeah, I might pick it up at some point. I do want to get the, uh, the platinum for it. Or trophy. I don't even know if it has a platinum. 100% whatever you call it. Narrative Boy's great. Yeah, I've already played it once on PC. I got the flare gun! Whoa, look at him go! <laughs> this is so fucking rad. Whoa! Not expecting enemies. <laughs> I wish I wasn't so incredibly injured while all of this awesomeness was happening. There he goes. Oh, excellent. Thank you, Hobbyton. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Man. Might need to pick that up. Welcome in, Bim Hoe. Bimohe? Bimohe? You wondering what's the band? Oh, no, I know what the band is. It's Old Gods of Asgard. AKA Poets of the Fall. Incredible band. Love it working with Remedy since uh, Max Paint 2. And this is incredible. This is just tremendous. Right, now I know I'm going to be attacked, at least. Oh my god, the sound is so good. You should be proud to be a Finn. I, I, I feel like an honorary one. This is such a good game. It's easily, easy my game of the year, easily. Not even a contest, really. Is it 20 quid on the Steam at the moment? Oh, that is, that seems a bit steep. It's worth 20 quid, it's a great game, but it's a bit steep. Wait for solo. <laughs> Wait for solo. Oh my god. This is so cool.
Alan's fire team elite. <laughs> Solo, so good. Enemies. They knew how well the section in control went down. And they were like, hold, hold my Alma beer. <laughs> Fucking remedy, man. They are they are just class act. I wonder if the secret. Oh, I can't go that way. Oh wow, we're at the lodge, Diver's Isle. Oh, I should have been using my ordinary pistol all this time. Shit. Well, that's good to know. G. everything. I didn't realize I was supposed to be using my pistol as well. pick this I can't take this charge now okay this chapter is just tremendous oh nice you got it I didn't know that you kicked I'm, well, actually, you probably told me before that you kickstarted it, but that's awesome. That was interesting. That was amazing. That was incredible. Vision. Oh, we need to echo. There we go. It is Nova. Such a 
dark place am I trapped in here? Is this real? I cannot remember. There was a manuscript that held a key. A vicious cycle I must not surrender to. Echo seems to seek out again and again until I figure it out to bring this song to its end. <laughs> it's just so surreal. Yeah, I remember you telling me about that. Oh my god. Here we go. It's the end of the song. Oh my god. <laughs> yep. This is just... They went and filmed this. Can you imagine the fun it must be to work at Remedy? Jesus Christ. <laughs> so good. Incredible. Incredible. Honestly, just wow. I think my new favorite thing will be to watch people streaming this game and hope that they haven't got to this part yet. <laughs> like, I, I want to see what Magus Finch makes of this. <laughs> I need to, I need, yeah, and I think he started like last night or the night before, so... He's, he's not got to this bit yet. I'm going to have to make sure I watch it. <laughs> I want to see what happens. Oh. You did do so well to not spill the beans. Thank you, Ads. I appreciate it. I think it was made for all of us. I think we can all cherish that. Artie's singing it. Where's Artie? Janet's office. Where's Artie? I want to say hello to Artie. I can barely hear. Oh, there he is. There he is. Champion of flight. Catchy, right? Herald of darkness. Lost in the So good. My <laughs> <laughs> Swedish brothers, Bergel. I the little uncle. I Laita pojat jenkka koneet soimaa. Atana. Champion of flight. It's a good song. It's a good song. <laughs> that was um. That was wow. Speechless. That was incredible. I 
think we can afford to do another Alan, um, another Alan chapter because that one was pretty much just kind of like a, like a showpiece. Let's let's do another one, and then we'll switch back. So my flare gun's gone. It was all about me. This performance the Dark Place was putting on. But I had no control over it. I knew how utterly lost I was. Phone call. The payphone was ringing again. The mystery caller was back at it. I had to find out more. Could I? Whoa! There's that famous temper. Lucky thing I'm not a paparazzi. You keep jerking me around, refusing to tell me who you are. You remember? You... Oh, fuck me. Alan, 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 listen, listen. Uh, tell me, how much do you remember? Did you visit Parliament Tower? Did you find anything there? Yeah. Alice? is in danger. Scratch is reaching out to her and there, there's another manuscript. Not initiation, return. I saw the title page. I, I don't remember writing it. Return? Oh man, this is what we're after. The Scratch can't have it. Our, our survival, the survival of the fucking cosmic everything depends on this. Come to me. Ocean View Hotel. I left my room key for you. It's right there on the payphone. Remember, the dark place works in lobes and rituals. If the waves keep pushing you away, you just need to find another way in. We go with the flow of this ocean. Catch you soon, brother. Interesting. The Ocean View Hotel. A suspicious invitation to a shady meeting. Right on the money for the hard No worries, thank you, Hobby, as always, for being here, and uh, thank you for continuing to look. Hope your meeting goes well. Um, right, let's check the old map Um, Ocean View Hotel. Oh, it's right there. It's right there. The Ocean View Hotel. Warrior of Light. Yeah, it's fucking catchy. It's in my head now. Oh, again, I'm getting Evil Within 2 vibes. delivered me back to the street <laughs> what did the mystery caller said if the waves keep pushing you away you just need to find another way in interesting what about if I close the doors that's not right right okay got to be a different way around Oh, I do have a flare gun.
Yeah, yeah, Alan Wake 1 was notorious for that. Kind of makes it fun, uh, good, though, for speedrunners, because you know you're going to get, like, a guaranteed setup of kit at the start of a level, but it also sucks that you can't take weapons with you. Eat Lead is the same, actually. Eat Lead, the return of Mount Hazard, gives you a loadout at the start of each... In fact, I think every level starts you with just a pistol. That's it. <clears throat> That's all you need. The cult. A forbidden play brought to life. A forgettable, unforgettable immersive theatre experience. See it live at the Ocean View Mute Hotel. This, this hotel. But there's got to be a secret way in because I can't go in through the front door. Unless I do something special. Whoa! Oh, that's as far as I can go. Help. Okay. We made it out. Um, means, yeah, we must be at the edge of the area. I was looking for, like, another little box or something. Need money to buy books. Hey, you've got books. Yeah, well, maybe we want to do that at some point, Mr. Matt, the um, the separate levels. I mean, it could be a great way of me having more, more crowns, more e led crowns. But yeah, it would, it would mean that we could, we could have like fastest levels and stuff. I've just seen a picture of Ozzy Osbourne and Sharon dressing up as Kanye and his wife Bianca for Halloween. Oh God. Oh, thank you for stopping by 16-bit. It's been great as always. Hope you have a wonderful evening. You take care. fragile constantly under attack there was no time to waste the no you take care <laughs> step behind me oh no did i do this whole section before yeah so how are we getting into the station oh maybe they want me to do Plot board, no. The plot board was empty again. I needed a new draft back at the beginning, but closer to my goal. Okay, yeah, there's nothing to do back there. Hmm. I don't think it would be that far from the hotel what I need to find 
So let's have another cursory glance around the front of the hotel then. Oh, I forgot I had a safe room over here. So let's go touch the safe room. And do a quick manual save. Right. There's clearly something I'm missing here. Let's have a look. Um, Nightbot, are you feeling okay? What if I move through backwards? Oh, the door's shut. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't be that simple. This shop is lit up. It keeps drawing my eye. I don't think there's anything to do over here, but... I don't need more enemy fights right now. Oh, I wonder. Maybe if I turn all Room of the... Room for one more. Ooh. Thank you for the follow. Killer Striker 2345. Welcome in. I'm just wondering, maybe if I go and put all my charges where all of the other charges go. Hello, welcome in. We're playing Alan Wake 2 today. It's great. Where is... Yeah, so if I go to where the charges are supposed to go. I've got one in here and it is charged. Um, there was some... There's one over here that isn't charged right now that could be charged. Um, there was one over here that could be charged and one over here. I've got three and there are three. I don't think that's a mistake. So, I think maybe if I go put these charges where they're supposed to go, maybe that will help. You're still playing Alan Wake 1 and Alan Wake's American Nightmare. Good for you. They're great games. Um, you may run into spoilers here. Um, not big ones, but I'm just giving you the heads up. Um, but yeah, they're great games. Are you, are you playing them because you might then play Alan Wake 2 eventually? Um, I can highly recommend it. Oh yeah, something's happening. Oh, Alan. I was dead tired. I just wanted it to be over. It was all my fault. I'd had this dark place in my head for so long. Sometimes I'd forget the pain was there. Like it was the way you were supposed to feel. I was not in a dark place. I was the dark place. The source of it all. 
the vessels. Me and the writer, we were the same. Nolly. The kept pushing me under, getting into my head, poisoning me with darkness. I had to find a way to escape before it was too late. Too late again. Room 665. Initiation chapter 5. Let's head to the bar, shall we? Alice, try my best. This is where I would hide a word of power, personally. Oh, just a box, but still. I'm rewarded. I really hope that Poets of the Fall have a uh, a video, um, a music video for um, whatever it's called, Herald of Darkness. And I really hope that it is just the Alan Wake talk show dancing like it was in the, in the game. That would be fantastic. dudes. Shadow dudes everywhere. Wait, what happened? Let's go. Closed Casey. This is a weapon. I remember in the old Alan Wake, you always hold a flashlight with a pistol. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he does here too, but I can choose to have the pistol like on or off, and it actually. Having it off means that you get attacked less by the shadows. Yep, I thought there might be a box here. Maybe a word of power would be somewhere. Right, okay, he's he's real, I think. I think that means he's real. No. Shadows can push you. Just shadows.
That is locked. It would be great to get some bolt cutters soon. As a saga, of course. Um, oh, goodies. Thank you very much. Um, my inventory is almost full. So maybe... Maybe we can drop off two heels. I think. Anything else? No, that'll do for now. Gonna say is that gonna unlock that door? Yeah, exactly. That makes perfect sense. Let's just check up here first. a word of gun. Lovely, lovely. Um, increase the flare gun projectiles area. Increase the knockback of the shotgun. I still don't have the shotgun. Or provide 5% chance to not consume ammo. I think I'm going to go flare gun. probably missed a couple of words of power just by not having my torch out to catch the yellow arrows which sucks I probably missed a few but I was never going to get everything first time do you know what I mean ah see I can see one over there sure how I get up there. Hey, oh, it's this dude. Tim Breaker. In case you don't remember again. I know, Tim. I'm remembering more now. It's good to hear, man. How's your search for Mr. Door going? It's not great. This dream we're in. Putting a lot of roadblocks in my way. The sketch you have does look like the door I know. The talk show host. All I know is the door has something to do with what's happening to me. And he knows that I know. He's like some sadistic mastermind torturing me. So you think this is a dream? I'm not ruling it out. You know, my dreams have always been incredibly vivid. They feel real until the second I wake up. In dreams, I'm often someone else. A different person with a different name living a different life in, in a different world. <laughs> it's 
alternate realities, maybe. Yeah, you live in quantum break, my friend. <laughs> but certain things don't change. Like door. You put some more stuff on my map for me. Thank you very much. Uh, it looks like this red stuff's new. What is this place? A dream? Feels like it. Not real. No place, every place, all places. Any place. Now New York, not NYC. Away to another place. A nexus. Is door the gatekeeper or trying to get somewhere? Everywhere. Door, gate, portal, port, opening, access, window. Indeed. I like how he's completely optional as well. I could have missed him completely. If I'd not taken the time to uh, check and see if I could come back down this way. to get over there in a minute? Possibly. That's where I went back downstairs. Okay. I could see the Ocean View Hotel. I was getting close. Words of lamp. Um. Yeah. Running out of charges is the problem because there are so many enemies. So it's really helpful. Mm, I have missed some stuff. bring me to the same place now or a different place the lights affected where the door led to yeah they had I think this is yeah I've already got this one so what is it about being on this side that's different charge now. How do 
we get down there? Oh, now there are stairs down from the other door. So now I can put the light here. And it will take me to the yellow door. Right, gotcha. Light puzzles. They're the best. Now I've got stairs. Champion. obviously me to that one. What happened to the other one though? The one that was on the other side. There it is. Right, this is the other way into the hotel. Ocean View Cocktail 2550. Reckon that's the trick. There's a code involved. 2550. Is there a safe in here? Yes, please. Oops. Can I take this back? Try taking it back while we're inside. Uh, holy shit. Yeah, can I, I can use it. Um, shit, I need to make space for it. Oh, fuck. Whoops. Got excited there. Um, I think probably. It's going to make room. If I use this. Then I use these. It won't let me use it when I haven't got health lost. Shit. Um, what have we got here? Shotgun ammo. Flashbangs are very important. Let's use up two flares. Fuck it. Now I should be able to pick it up. Wait, how many how many squares do we think it takes? No way, it takes three squares. You are having a laugh. Well, okay then. What? Four slots? Never heard of such rubbish. Um. Great. Right. 
So now I can do what I probably should have done the first fucking time, and that is go to a box and drop shit off. Great. Right, um, probably need to drop these off then. God, this game is much longer than I thought it was going to be. But I'm not, it, that's not a problem at all. Because I'm enjoying myself every second. It's just, it's longer than I thought it was going to be. I thought the campaign would be five to ten hours. Yeah. Tell me I don't got room now, huh? Wait, what? Why didn't it fit before then? Oh. Okay. Anyway, let's put it on the, um, on the old thing. Um, I think it's gotta go there. dead. Wow, that was quick. Still can't get over how graphic that is. That's far more graphic than it needs to be. <laughs> Okie dokie. Well, it was nice enough to checkpoint me at least.
I think I did it. No, the other guy's still here. Do a big heal. Very nice. For anyone wondering how I got the code for that, very, very obvious video gaming puzzle to have the name of the hotel in one of the cocktails, and then the price of that cocktail is the, the code to open the door. I make it look effortless. But some thought went into it. So, we're finally inside the Ocean View Hotel. Oh my god, is if we now turn into a Resident Evil style location. Very cool. Here we are. Room six six five. The room was empty except for the projector. More games. Was the film a message waiting to be played? I will tell you what, Alan Wake's actor has got that confused look down. It just looks like perpetually confused. this is that, is, is that Alan who's that it's just the guy on the phone in this temple of shadow and mist Thomas a Zane. window in the floor and a door in the ceiling there's no knowing am I standing still or running or kneeling Pretty sure that's also played by the guy who plays Alan Wake. That might be his actual voice. Indeed. I'm Tom Zane. Welcome to the House of Zane. The poet. The diver. You look like me. How the hell? Or maybe you look like me, you handsome devil. The diver was a beloved character I played in one of my films. I'm a filmmaker, a celebrated auteur. I need answers. Why is Return so important? What, Al? You, you always get worked up like this. Come on, I'll fix you a drink. You and me, Al. We're in this together. Two artists collaborating, remember? Crafting the keys to our escape. Your magnum opus, Return, and it's 
It's called Let's get smashed. <laughs> yeah. That way, we'll definitely get to the bottom of all of what's going on and the answers that we need. Minds. Just gotta get a little crunk. Dreaming up our transcendental work of art. Here, in this room. In this room. What's awesome is I'm pretty sure, because obviously the guy who plays out Wing, physically. Now it's a party. Wait, that's on a psycho. I'm pretty sure that's his real voice, which is really fun. Enough of this bullshit. Alice is in danger. I need another murder site to go further. Back to Parliament Tower. Scratch is... Your wife is safe back in the real New York. But Scratch is reaching for her through an overlap. Return is the key to escaping the dark place. You need to get it before that freak does. If there's a murder site, you're in the hotel. Let the waves of your riding carry you there. Hello? Jesse Faden and Darling, I saw them both. If anyone asks, you were never here. This is so rad how it's just all coming together. Thomas Zane had ended our talk in what felt like a paranoid fit. I had what I needed from him. There was another murder site in the hotel to guide me further toward my escape. I had to write my way to it. An idea nagged at me. I could almost reach it. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Phallic finger must rise. Welcome in, everybody. Hello. It's visceral, vo visceral vocabulary. Plot, plot twist. Bet you didn't see us coming. I did not, but good to see you. How are you? Welcome in. Thank you for the raid. I hope you had a good stream. What were you playing? Um, my name is Garlips. Hi. I'm a horror streamer. I also play loads of other stuff, varieties, games. Um, I'm a speedrunner. You know, <laughs> I'm not selling myself awfully well. But uh, I promise if you stick around, uh, you'll see that maybe there is a reason to watch. Hopefully. Uh, we're playing Alan Wake 2 today, and it's very good. It's very, 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 very good. I'm enjoying myself. Um, having said that, I've got to work out how to activate this echo. Oh, it's probably around here, right? Yep, yeah, there it is. Whispers from the police radio kept me awake at night. The word through the ether. A murder in the backdrop of a play featuring a murder cult. <laughs> How meta can you get? He said, looking knowingly at the camera. I could sense the cult of the word in this, and their leader, Mr. Scratch. Rumored to be Alan Wake, the writer who'd gone missing years before. The hotel was a perfect setting for a Casey story. I was on the right path. Um... You were writing a short story. Awesome. That's a really fun stream idea. Um, I'm enjoying Alan Wake start tremendously. At the entrance lobby. Um, and also, some of those things that Mr. My Internet said are true. I'm not just a speedrunner. I'm a dancer, asterisk, singer, double asterisk, and famous rap superstar, triple asterisk. Um, citation needed. On all of those. Although I have, the I, have I did make a rap trap once. That is something I in. literally did. The victim, the murderer, the detective. An idea, clear as a vision, waited for me here. Wake. Have we got a... Oh my goodness, we've got some... Whoa, hello! Story. 
And I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, good call. From rider to rider. Um, I have examples of almost all of them, so no risks from asterisks. Fair enough. But yeah, there's there's good old Mr. Allen writing his story. He's a little bit of a hack. Bless him. There was another murder site in the hotel to guide me further toward my escape. I had to write my way to it. An idea nagged at me. I could almost reach it. Whispers from the police radio kept me awake at night. The word through the ether. A murder in the backdrop of a play featuring a murder cult. You have to wait for these. That's Come interesting back, because yes. He said, in speedruns, eventually we speedrun this. The cult I'm imagining someone will speedrun it and, and probably follow. Mr. Scratch. That means kind of wait, to having to wait for wait stuff to finish talking to you. Missing years before. The hotel was a perfect setting for a Casey story. I was on the right path. I would start at the entrance lobby. Right, there are enemies in here, Gollops, so be careful this time, friend. The entrance hall set the mood where everyone had come in. The victim, the murderer, the detective. An idea, clear as a vision, waited for me here. Wait. Whoa, okay. Fuck off. Wow, they still killed me. Enemies or new friends? It's a good it's a good point, Valdasai. Um, welcome in. You came in on the raid, didn't you? Yes, you did. I'm already following you. I am so efficient. <laughs> oh, now I've got to sit through this thing again. Oh, no. Thomas Zane had ended our talk in what felt like a paranoid fit. I had what I needed for I need him. to stop dying. There was don't another I? murder site in the hotel to guide me further there are toward quite a lot of those dudes I had that to appear at once. To the problem is you can only An use your... nagged at me. I could almost reach it. You can only use your powers to, to break one at a time in terms of the torch. A murder in the backdrop of a play featuring a murder cult. How meta can you get? He said, looking knowingly at the camera. I could sense the cult of the word in this and their leader. I'm going to try and get like the two or three by themselves with the flag on. gone missing years before. The hotel was a perfect setting for a Casey story. I was on the right path. I would start at the entrance lobby. Oh, just... Does anyone know in the Wheel of Struggle Discord if uh, fish is still expected at a certain time? If we indeed know that time? Let me just take a quick look at the Discord. In 38 minutes. Right, so half past five is the ideal... Uh, is, is the spin time that everyone is su supposed to see the spinner. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, um, especially people who just came in, I'm a member of a group called The Wheel of Struggle. We're a really rad, cool bunch of people, and we play games kind of like together as like a... It's almost like a video game book club. It's... I've played stuff that I would have never played before based on the wheel. So, yeah, probably about six. If it's slated for half five, it'll probably be six, right? Um, basically, it's called The Wheel of Struggle, and uh, everyone plays a certain game every week, and uh, everyone tries their best put in usually about five hours and whoever gets the furthest progress um or scores the most points based on whatever scoring system we're using for that particular game gets points that's awarded at uh you know the end of the two week submission period and then uh whoever wins at the end wins the season and um i joined halfway through season four which was the last season and we've just started season five 
So now's a real cool time to get involved. If, if it interests you, just let me know. Uh, but what we will be doing in about half an hour, excuse me, is that um, Fish, the one of the members of the council that run the Wheel of Struggle, uh, will be doing his weekly wheel spin to decide what the next game is. We know roughly what all the games in the season are. They were announced at the start of Season 5. Um, there are a couple of rounds we don't know any details about that may include special special things. But yeah, so that spin will happen at half past five. So I will momentarily pause what I'm doing on the game. We'll go watch the wheel spin, and then we'll come back. Then I'll do a bit more Alan Wake, because um, I think I'm going to try and go until Mr. Matt Internet's on. Yeah, so I think I'm going to try and raid Mr. Matt Internet today if I can. So... The entrance hall set the mood where everyone had come in. The victim, the murderer, the detective. An idea, clear as a vision, waited for me here. So, you were the director of this play? Yeah, that's me. Our performance <laughs> of the cult was cursed. Um, I will need to alive. check the times, Chotty. Is an immersive theatrical but, um, experience. <laughs> uh, you're gonna have to walk me through. I will have a look at the schedule in a second. Immersive theater, a play where the audience can participate, spread across this hotel. Oh, that's the guy the Booker. Is a legend. The only written copy of the manuscript lost. The play is passed on as oral tradition between theater companies. Each company only performs it once. The play was said to have special power they were like kids playing with a ouija board and when you call for the devil he will come the pre-show ritual that's it set it up start from the beginning okay right let me just take a quick brief look at the um Chotu is talking about InstaSim's latest uh, marathon, which is in just under two weeks. Um, well, it's more like a week and a half, I think. Um, let me take a look at the schedule. I can do those times. I mean, I've never played any of those games, but I'm I'm down. Um, I can watch the runs and uh beforehand and see what they look like uh circuit superstars ball 3d and jumping jack <laughs> interesting um yeah because that's uh, i'm i'm running not long after your runs actually on the first day anyway wacky races um yeah go on then if if if, if you'll have me if you want me i i i don't mind yeah i will watch uh, car game, yellow butter dude game, football with Roombas game. <laughs> no worries. Yeah, okay. Um, I will watch those between now and um, the event, and I'll um, I'll hook up with you closer to the time. Also, feel free. Mr. Man Internet is also free that weekend. If you want, like, multiple people on your couch. Oh, Garlips, will you be offensive? Will you try and do one with a Welsh accent? No, <laughs> I'm not going to do a Welsh accent. Um, I almost did one then and stopped myself. Jesus Christ! You can triple combo me! I'm pushing it with the Aussies already. No, I have blanket permission from, from my Australian friend. My my token Australian friend who's like, Yeah, mate, Bonza! Go mad! Do whatever you like, fella! And I'm like, Jesus Christ, exactly. Hopefully, I checkpointed after I got that second echo. 
was saying it ended our talk Jesus and what Christ. felt like a paranoid fit. I had what I needed from him. There was another murder site in the hotel to guide me further toward my escape. I had to write my way to it. An idea nagged at me. Let me see if I can I find a save rigid. point. Because I keep getting owned by these dudes. Shadowy dudes. The word through the ether. A murder in the backdrop of a play featuring a murder cult. <laughs> How meta can you get? He said. My um, my dad can do a convincing Welsh accent because um, my gran was his mum and, and my gran was Mr. Welsh. Scratch. Um, Rumored to be Alan Wake, the writer who'd gone missing years before. The, the words she taught me were kutch and akavi. Akavi means the right uh, rubbish, disgusting yuck. At the entrance lobby. I know you'll pop when you see what Ben's posted in the low res server. Oh, really? Whoa, are you talking about the, um, the makeup? The makeup effects, those are pretty cool. Or do you mean this video called Fighting Trousers <laughs> Professor Elemental? It would help if you explain what you're talking about. You've just said yup. Which one? <laughs> the, the makeup VFX artist. Yeah, they're pretty crazy. The entrance hall set the mood where everyone had come in. The victim, the murderer, the detective. An idea. Professor Some Elemental is cool. Oh, I need, to, I need to check that out as well then. Oh, we got a map. So you were the director of this play? Yeah, that's me. Our performance of the cult was cursed from the pre-show ritual on. The cult is an immersive theatrical experience. Uh-huh. You're gonna have to walk me through what that means. Immersive theater. A play where the audience can participate, spread across this hotel. Imagine a Victorian professor rapping and you're pretty much there. That sounds, yeah, that sounds great. Uh, let me open that in another tab. Fighting trousers. Right, I've, put, I've uh, loaded that in another tab for later. You were like kids playing with a Ouija board. And when you call for the devil, he will come. The pre-show ritual. That's it. Set it up. Start from the beginning. Right, I'm gonna go safe. I know that sounds absolutely lame, and it, it probably is, but I'm just gonna go safe. Because I don't want to have to sit through that again when those guys wipe me out. And hopefully now that I've unlocked the way into this hotel, I can just go through the front door again. I'm hoping so. We're about to find out. Yep, I've unlocked it now. Good stuff, good stuff. Elevators, restaurant, rooftop, bar. Ooh. Taking safety saves to ensure enjoyment of content. Lame. I thought I, I thought it was. There was a bone in my body saying, this is incredibly lame and uncool, Garlips. Are you sure this is something you should be doing? And then I was like, surely it's more uncool to not have to sit through the thing fucking five times. And I think that is the voice... There was a safe point right here. There was a safe point right here. Okay, now I look uncool. If I just waltzed on in here, I wouldn't have looked uncool at all. Fucking bullshit. <laughs> Why 
Why you gotta embarrass me in front of my friends, Alan Wake? <laughs> I fucked it. I tr truly have fucked it. Right, I'm taking these flashbangs. Let's see what they say about some fucking flashbangs. Come on in, Tosspots. Where are ya? Where are ya? Hello. Yeah. Fuck off. Bye. Where'd you go, you shitbags? <laughs> Thank you for the clip, Mr. Matt. Oh, I've got no ammo at all. Okay, cool. Wasn't there three? Where's the last guy? Okay. Don't trust you, but okay. Right, here's room one one twelve. I can't open it. Great. <laughs> Come on, Alan. You're making a mockery of this now. Ooh, stuff. Looks like a box of Ritz crackers. It's not, it's shotgun shells, but it does, it sure does look like it. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Right, let's get that shotgun reloaded. I think we can only open doors that are already like half open. The room at the end of the corridor was closed off. It felt significant. Something terrible would happen there. Right, we can do a story thing there. But first, I'll just keep looking everywhere that I can first. Oh, I felt sure that would have stuff in it. I needed to find the key. Right, we need the key for room 104. And the key for room 101. Don't suppose there are any keys back there. No, that would be too easy. Oh, entrance hall is also on my plot board. I was both solving the crime and creating it, as every writer did. Oh, great. Preparations were underway for the play. Layers upon layers. A play about a murder cult? Infiltrated by a real murder cult. Okay. Is this going to take me back up to where I was before or a different place? This is where I was before. Yeah, okay, never mind then.
this game is just per perfect, honestly. I can't think of any faults. Alright, let's see what all this shit being here, like, means for this area. Also, drop a quick save. Because there are two shadowy dudes. Hey, work's over. Fantastic. We're going to have the wheel spin shortly. Isn't that exciting? The scene here had changed. The prop room had been changed from room 104 to room 225. The troop were busy building their own wicker man where they themselves would be sacrificed. Move these props to room 104, 225 for later use in the ballroom play. Alright, let's move the props from room 104. Uh, why can't I use it? Thank you. That's what I was trying to do. F Weird. Oh, check it out. Yoink. Where does that go to? Yeah, come out in a different room. Two two five. I see. We've got some yellow arrows over there. I got a little bit ropey there. But we survived. I won't be able to say that for much longer, I'm sure. Yellow arrow pointed in here, so there's got to be some goodies. Ooh! A special place, a shifting space, existing in a countless number of parallel realities. Sometimes a quaint small town, sometimes a hulking metropolis. Different every time we set upon the road that leads us there. And yet, like a half-remembered echo of a fading dream, always familiar to us. These are the stories that take place there. More inspiring, macabre, terrifying, heartbreaking, nail-biting, absurd, and thrilling. Sometimes all of these things at once. A 
haunting new season of mind bending episodes written by Alan Wake. Yeah. I am your host, Orlin Dor, and I will see you soon in Night Springs. Diddly Lee. Night Springs. Very cool. Alan? Alan, are you feeling okay, Alan? 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 You okay, Alan? Presumably we've got to change a plot beat to get through there. Which I will do in a minute, once I've explored. Uh, these yellow arrows are conflicting. Again, probably a change of scene is required. No bathtub in here. Oh, yeah. Don't mind if I do. Thank you very much. Yes, that was a much-needed influx of supplies there. I'm gonna off have to offload some stuff soon. Or chew through more resources, whatever the game makes me do. Could be either or. I was gonna say, is it gonna let me into more of the corridor? Why it's not creepy in here at all? Oh, we this got a new scene. Gathered before the play. This is where it began. Alrighty then. I never had a doubt. Alan was on top of it. Alan had it. Oh, and we came out on the other side. Oh, there's an echo in there. Wait, but how can I... I can't do it because I changed the room around. So, actually... Where did I access that room from in the first place? It was 219, wasn't it? Was it 219? I think it was. Hmm. Why 
set up a play in a hotel. Now, why this hotel? Because the rent is cheap? No. The ocean view was perfect for this. It's said to be haunted. I can't work out if the bookers are, like, secretly about. evil. Murder. Death. Or if they've just been drawn into Suicide. Alan's web as Supposedly he writes his cult hacky story. Unspeakable ritual to whether at the, they're in the story because Alan needed them, or whether they are just it like bad guys. The same thing, tapped into something horrifying. It, it seemed like it was part of the play, but it wasn't. Does that sound crazy? You don't want to ask me about crazy kid. A haunted hotel, yes. That's a trope for a reason. Ah, so we just got a new... A new poppy. Interesting. Uh, but before we deal with more plot beats... Are you waking, Garlips? Um... Uh, yeah! As in, like, a, a waking a waking nightmare that I can't escape from. Um... <laughs> uh, welcome back. Oh! How did your meeting go? I hope your meeting was good. Um, in that, you know, it was over quickly, and you didn't have to do much. I, I want the meeting to have been whatever you needed the meeting to be. That's that's how I feel about it. Meanwhile, I'm just getting lost. Let's see if there are more doors we can open. Wait, is this where I this is where I came from, right? Yeah, I need to go down the other side of this. Hang on, we need to drop some stuff off. We've got a lot of stuff. Um, let's drop off um, two of these heels. Save them for later. Um, what else do we need to drop off? Flare gun ammo. Nice. Meeting was good, but the security alerting system logged me out while I was in it and deleted the query I'd spent three hours building. No. I've um I've only had very basic um experience with um like jQuery stuff. And um there were people at my company that did uh, you know, my last workplace. Uh that were the JavaScript people. And I was I was not one of the JavaScript people. Um I did use a JavaScript library to build a game, but um, that was kind of different. That was just like me piddling about coding a little game. That's completely different to um, the database shit that they were doing. And um, I saw it once. It was just, it was mind bending. Like, oh, I see. You've done this so that you can gain this specific type of information. Yeah. Oh, it uses a combination of both. Yeah. It is very interesting. Yeah, I I made like some point and click games basically. I was I was all about game logic, you know, like um, oh if you click on this, if this has been activated, then do this, you know, if like if or else statements, things like that. Yeah, well these were. <laughs> I used to work for a speech and language uh, therapy company that um, uh, provided schools with uh, uh, like software. That they could use with kids, you know, to um, uh, first of all ascertain whether they had um, SEN needs, um, and then of course uh, to help them work through those as well or work on them rather. So uh, most of it was phonics stuff. So it was like, you know, what is this sound? What drag this sound to the place in the in the game, and so it was basically just uh, managing a lot of resources and having them like click and drag. And it was very basic stuff. But I guess that technically makes me game dev. Technically. Um, I need to get back into making little games and stuff. Especially now I don't have to make them about speech and language therapy. I can make them about fucking horror and shit. Right, we're going to explore this half of the the hotel now. Right, are you an enemy? You are. Diplers. Are there more? 
There are not more. I also accidentally shot a coffee table or something. I'm, I feel sad. Poor coffee table. It was in the wrong place at the wrong time. What is this? Oh my goodness, this must be where the, the play is happening. Ballroom. Mmm. Alright, we'll do that in a minute. Let's just check the rest of this corridor first. I couldn't get in. I was missing something. Room 209. Oh, we've got an open door here. Is that Casper Darling? It is. Wait, where did he go? Okay, that's pretty much all that was happening in there. It could not be opened on 206 the side. is also locked. This is really silent hilly, by the way. Just being in a hotel, immediately evocative of Silent Hill 2. Uh, um, right, I guess we'll go check out the ballroom. Yeah, why not? The ball ballroom is the scene. Of a key scene in the play. Yeah. It does, doesn't it? Right, let's give it a once over before we change the scene. And then we'll we'll try changing the scene and see what happens. Uh hi. I'm Alan Wake. I'm a writer. Tough crowd. It is much cleaner. <laughs> and it does look more expensive. Oh, I see a yellow arrow. Right. Hey, there we go. Words of stuff. I love words of stuff. Um, tourist map. Marks all nearby resources and points of interest on Wake's map. Magic pocket. Expands Alan's inventory by one row. That's quite a lot of space. Adds one charge to Alan's flashlight. Oh, it's between this one and this one for me. More space would be great, but being able to find all the things would be even better. I'm going to do that. Boom. Right. Let's switch the ballroom over. Let's try pre-show ritual first. The plot changes shape the world around me. Play schedule. Play schedule 2023, Tuesday, October 22nd. Rehearsal in room 219. Move to room 202. Uh, pre show ritual premiere Thursday, October 24th. Remember, hit your marks, keep your masks on, and make it weird. Room 202. We haven't been to room 202 yet, have we? Was that where I got the props from? No. That was somewhere else. Yeah, we need to go to 202. But uh, first, let's have a little looky at the stage. Okay. I don't think there's anything else different in here. Oh, hello. The cult in the play was called the Cult of the Tree. With their deer masks, they were the backwoods echo of the cult of the words urban horror. All right. 
let's try the other plot point. Haunted Hotel. Oh shit. It's getting real, all right. I recognize my writer's room on the stage. Oh yeah. I almost dreaded the idea. Jimmy Boy couldn't afford to leave his sex tape here. You know it. Although, can you imagine we'd fucking turn up and find it playing on a TV? I said you got here. What was the scene in this room? Well, this is what we call the writer's room. In the play, it's where the devil rewrites reality whilst God is asleep. The devil was our star role. I got a big time celebrity to play him, and he was method acting the role to perfection. He never broke character, always wore the coat mask. His name was scratched out on the posters. Mm -hmm. Mr. Scratch. And who was this mystery celebrity? Let me guess. Alan Wake? I wish I could tell you. But turns out there were masks upon masks. Whoever he really was? Shit got weird when he was around. Some of the crew joked that we'd actually hired the devil to play himself. Mm, Mr. Scratch is the devil. He was born to play the role. I had to agree with Casey on that. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Right, I'm just checking to see if uh, Fish has gone live yet. Um, it'll be the Will, Will Struggle channel. I don't see it. I don't see it. I'm actually going to search up the channel so I can just have it open in another tab. Oh, cool. When you search Wheel of Struggle, I come up, 16-bit comes up, and Hextree comes up, because we're live, and I think we're using the tag Wheel of Struggle. That's so cool! Right. I've got it open. Uh, we'll see if it goes live. I'll check it every so often. Okay. Um, I guess we can leave it haunted. There's no... Oh, hello. Can reload the gun, Alan. You are a character in my story. Jesus Christ. Scary times. I'm sorry I had to yell at you there, Alan, but you weren't you weren't listening to what I was telling you to do. Did you know that Gollops is adding a new channel redemption that plays the opening of Man, I Feel Like a Woman? Ba, 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 na, 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 na. Let's go, girls. Do, 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 do. I'm going out tonight. Gonna spin the wheel. Find out what game we're gonna struggle through. Fish is gonna be there with his lovely hair. 
And then he spins the wheel, and we'll find out too. Best thing about being a struggler is you get to fucking play some fucking games. What uh, what oh, gonna be struggling. Wrap me in muslin. <laughs> there aren't many things that rhyme with that. <laughs> what uh, oh. Would kill to have a chin that sharp. It is. It honestly, fish is. He is a. He is a fine-looking man. I'm. I'm not that way persuaded, but um, I can appreciate a good-looking guy when I see one. And and then that fish, he is. He is. Oh fuck off! I'm busy right now. Mr. Allen is writing. I said, Mr. Allen is writing. So I got the key to room 101. That's downstairs. How did I get upstairs? Uh, through room 225, wasn't it? Doing it in style. Whoa. Oh. Shoot him a shotgun. And I'm a pistol. Go through the door. Alan, what for? Whoa. Oh. That is fun to try and put words to. Welcome in, Pogosikyo. Ah, uh, hello. Yes, my good friend. Welcome in. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, it is your prerogative to have a little fun, after all. Fun, fun. Whoa. Ah, uh, here we go. <laughs> Fucking ghosts. Get out of my way, yeah. Oh, it's doing that thing again. Right, okay, there we go. Boom. Key. It is stuck in my head. The, the wheel isn't live yet, is it? No, it's still not live. Oh, is Alan going to do some pole dancing? I wonder what that tag looks like in the Discord now, the one that had the time on it. Six, yeah, it says six minutes ago. <laughs> six minutes ago. Oh, fish. Ooh, chest. Give me the stuff. Give me the stuff. Oh, let's get the rest of this loaded. This one's already loaded. Perfect. Yoink. Oh, my inventory's full now. Ooh. Check me out. Right. I, th I guess we're going this way. Shit. I can pick up the other one. All right, let's do that. Um, what should I get rid of? Hang on. Whoops, wrong button. Um... Oh, I should get the flare gun. Oh, wait, I can't load the flare gun more than one bullet at a time. Um, I did just pass the save point, I think. Let's just go back there and drop some stuff off. Where was that? I don't remember. Do do do. We're on the first floor. Ah, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Good day. Yes, sat with a professional trainer making new standard operating procedures. Pushing, uh, putting existing staff to shame. Loved it. Wow, I'm here with my friends. Wahoo. Welcome in. Uh, I believe the Wheel of Struggle is now live. So give me a moment here. What I'm going to do... 
I'm going to transition to this screen. I'll be with you in just a moment. Right, so studio mode. Force. Get rid of the Elgato. Boom. Um, and then we're going to get the stream up. Where is the stream? There it is. We're going to hope the fish isn't going to be too long here. What is he doing? This is what I'm doing. Right. I'm going to leave the music out for the moment. I'll, I'll mute it once, uh, once fish appears. Do you reckon I've got enough time to nip to the loo? How long do you reckon fish usually waits? I feel like I shouldn't nip to the loo. Um, you've got enough time to squeeze boo out. I'm not sure about that. It's only a number one anyway, but, um, I, um, I, th th at the moment in this room, it's very hard to get out. You've got to open the door and then move forward, then close the door, then open the door again. So, yep, yeah, look, look, you can see him. In fact, if I pop this out for myself. Um, then I can get rid of that and I can just do that. Boom. That's nicer for you all, isn't it? I think it is. All right. Now, where's my chat gone? There it is. Is Mark Man arguing with the acolyte of struggle? The music's gone down. That implies a fish is arriving. Oh yeah, we get the intro, don't we? I always forget about the intro. Way we are streaming a stream inside our own stream. This is uh This is better than Pimp My Ride. Uh just um lot out on a hot house share upgrade, but learned I need to act faster and have deposit ready. Life is actually put peachy joyful even. That's wonderful. Grand to hear. Oh new controller too with magnetic uh pull sticks? So gaming's getting better. Fantastic news, Pogo. And for anyone who's unaware what's happening right now, we are streaming Fish's stream of the Wheel Spin for the Wheel of Struggle. Again, if you want to know what the Wheel of Struggle is, all you got to do is go to wheelofstruggle.com. You can reach out to myself, Mr. Matt, 16-bit, Adrian, like, oh. Thank you. <laughs> um, any of us, we'll, we'll be able to point you in the right direction. Oh, yep, of course. The possibility of suck. Whoa, oh, 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 oh. Good evening, one and all, to week five of season five of the Wheel of Struggle. Lots of people to say hi to. Thank you for the raid hex and hexes uh associates 
Uh, welcome in Markman, Garlips, Mr. Matt, uh, Akbar Shabawar, hardworking bot, uh, Adrian. There he is. I told you, he's a good looking Mr. lad. Good to see you. Mr. Matt in that standard getting caught by the auto moderator. Uh, Fusha, welcome in as well. Uh, Gar did I say Garlips? Yeah, I you did, but you can say it twice. In case I didn't say it last time. Oh, and Dex here. Someone always has to ruin it, don't they? Um, yeah. Hello, everyone. Um, I think Hello, Kylo Fish. Can't make it to the stream, but just so everyone's aware, he's he has called for a return of the legend. Um, so the wheel may may take that into account. We'll see. Um, just just eating butter, no beans or toast involved. Okay. Oh, frictionless analog <laughs> stick technique. I, nice. I feel like I've missed an intro. To that uh, yeah, so this is the wheel of struggle. This is Fish. What is he doing? He's beginning to believe. Tojam and Elk confirm secret game. I don't know what that is. But sure. <laughs> okay, well, Deck's in a mood today. Um, everyone, just, just beware, Deck. Dex, uh, he's feeling spiky today. Um, but yeah. Week 5, Season 5. We, we've made it. We've we've gotten into November. We've got past Halloween. Um think games so far have been surpri surprisingly good um lemmings had a good time with worms i'm enjoying so far yeah the games Hopefully have been great so far i'm, I'm waiting for the, the hard times to happen um, so yeah the council have, have have done yeah. their job in in making sure no one has any actual struggle <laughs> it's just caught up in the heat of the moment mr matt um <laughs> let's hope the excitement of the stream calms them down soon uh maybe Maybe that's how it works. Um, but yeah, uh, what else, what else have we got? We've got uh, FTL from Fusha. Um, Q is doing worms in 15 minutes. Oh, fantastic. Well, if I manage to pad this out long enough, um, then we'll, we can raid into Q if, uh, if he's the only one streaming. If not, we'll, we'll figure that out when we get to it. Um, but yeah, Spelunky, Spelunky. Return of the Legends and Spelunky. Is that what you're going for? Um, that's that's quite a deep cut. Um, but if, if it turns out that you'd be a legend, you'll be known as Psychic Mr. Matt forevermore. So it, it could happen. Um, yeah, some good stuff on there. Um, I don't know what, what I really want to go up at this point. Um, all of it's... Tapping of the Dead, I think, will be chill. Um... Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean all, all of it's got got its own unique challenges, isn't it? That's kind of the idea. Um it wouldn't be bad to use the first place. Uh I'm pretty sure I think you were doing some theory crafting the other day, um, about how you could be first on the league table for a whole week. Um has that come to pass? Uh do you know? Oh yeah, um, Worms is fantastic. Bogo. Octobots um submission. We've just been playing Worms Armageddon for the Garlips wheel. Garlips is no longer the wheel prophet, unfortunately. His his crystal ball was shattered last week by the wheel, um, which was unfortunate. I was looking forward to Garlips reigning supreme as the oracle of the wheel. Um, I got two right in a row. <laughs> Stormy with the phrasing, as always. Um, fantastic. fantastic. Not, I got two right in a row, and the first one <laughs> hope you're, hope you're was, was not even this. mine. was um, my choice. So my choice followed by two time. guesses in a row. Wow. I'm going to take that. Octopus first, is he? That doesn't sound right. Um, <laughs> is he? Seriously? No, he can't. He can't be first. Or oh, you mean on the on the overall league table? Right. Sorry. I, I was like, there's no way Octobot beat. Thanks for um, that, Mister Matt. Uh, what was his name? OC Charlie. Um, the bloody speedrunner who. Destroyed worms, um, but yeah, that that makes more sense. Um, <laughs> Octobot, Steven food. Um, well, I'm hoping to throw something into the mix there um, and mess somebody up. Hopefully, uh, <laughs> we'll see how we go. Um, but uh, yeah, what else have we got? Uh, Q, Q could be Octobot if Q decides to actually use all the tools at his disposal rather than just the bazooka because that's the default weapon. 
and why would they give you the default weapon unless you're supposed to use it all the time um then maybe he'll he'll do well in worms um what was week two you didn't miss it no no we're about we're about to roll roll spin i'm getting mixed up now uh but yeah uh, i don't think we've got any uh oh return of exonia resurrected coming out soon yeah um, exonia is coming back soon that's interesting date should have this immediately to hand uh 10th of november episode one going up on youtube so do keep an eye out for that if you like some D. &D. Um, Octobot three times. I do like my D and D. It's, it's a I do. It's a, it's a curse, an absolute nightmare. Uh, Reach general and worms. It's the last rank he beat. Was highly distinguished. Yeah, I think you you had a double loss, didn't you, Octobot? So he called it. Oh, that's right. Um, it was GTA, was Lemmings, it, Worms, Super Monkey Ball, um, and now this is week five. Oh, this is evil game. Fantastic. I still haven't done my Maybe monkey ball was, yet. We could go back in time Doesn't D and D stand for dads and right dogging? In, uh, I mean, you could play a campaign that's like that Jack if you wanted to. Yeah, I had no chance of guessing <laughs> the um, the tune. You are uh, you bend uh, over. What what did you, what what does the rest of the group want well, to do? Let's, let's see what I can um, do. Fuck him! Fuck him in the ass. The okay, right. The um, roll board. for Shall we spin acrobatics. Um, so we got week five, season five. We all spin about to be underway. Let's go. Oh, here we go. A, um, prediction for this week. We've got about 20 seconds to get it in, I think. Maybe a bit longer. Right, let's see what happens. It's exciting. Oh. No. No, no prediction from Octobot. Suck. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. It's oh, it a... Could be one, one. It's um, suck. It's suck. Suck. Suck! Oh dear God! Now, can I can I show this without uh, immediately like doxing the entire council? <laughs> I, I don't have. It's finally to happened. Because I'm I'm just that prepared. Kylo summoned uh, Return of a Legend, so I had the Return of a Legend rule set up. Um. <laughs> oh dear. Um. Can I just do? <laughs> <laughs> this. this is hype. Um, How does he do that? Yeah, what, the wheel? We'll, we'll do it this way. Uh, you can, there's a website that you can just make your own wheel on. It's super easy. Um, um, window capture. But we don't know what suck means. Ever since suck got added to the wheel, we don't know what suck means. So it's... We're, we're about to find out. So this is, this is a screenshot from Council Chat. <laughs> <laughs> from just before when I went live. And um, <laughs> I, the, the accusations of rigging are completely warranted. Um, but I just I just had a feeling today. <laughs> I genuinely had a feeling. Um, brilliant. Q raid is on. Um, but yeah, uh, the, the worst part is no one pasted the games for me. So <laughs> I still don't have it ready. Um, Let's see if I can very quickly sort this out. Let's um, let's go to just just camera. You can <laughs> watch me awkwardly try and sort things out. Uh, why don't we have chat? Uh, that, this one, the chat box up. There we go. Um. Oh yeah. So the acronym. Um, <laughs> All right, yeah. So while while I hope that somebody in council can collate the games for me, Octobot, um, in the background. So suck is the subwheel of utter chaos nominations. Okay. Uh, nominations is of course spelt with a silent K, because um, it's utter utter chaos. Um, and I think it was Q in Discord um, gave an acronym with exactly like that. And Q gave an acronym with a silent K word. Um, thank you. Oh, I'm not a warlock. I'm oh, um, I'm a rogue. Right as well. Super. Uh, I'm going to. I did. Use... I did call two of the games this uh, this season. Um, no. okay. Oh wait, I did say. Wait, what was That's... my prediction? I said I was feeling it was roll or suck. Sorry, I will be with everyone in a oh, second. I'm I'm back to being a prophet. Octo, can you um? 
send that to me without the stuff in brackets and just as one game per line. So I'll just copy and paste it easily. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, I think you put something in Discord where he um, put a silent K word um, as as the acronym for, for suck. Um, so I, I saw that and I was immediately like, oh, they, they I made it happen. Guess this. Like, it was all me. Gollips. Um, so... <laughs> Mr. Matt in that was also um, predicting suck on the Discord. So yeah, you could be on your way back. Gollips could be on your way back. Um, yeah, I, I will... Which? If I can get this done before... Like on, um, sorry, I've got no heads. So, I love that show. Out, then we'll, we'll be fine. Back when kids' TV was like uh, a thing. Uh, da, da. Gollips' meat space name so, yeah, is actually so Alan Wake. Conceptually... This wheel What's meat space? has two <laughs> types of games on it, and it was a um, oh, so it's a sub wheel. Initiative. So more curation, as it were. However, this was designed right. Okay. <laughs> oh dear. Um, I do have a government name. Could call it. Um, to I have to fear in anyone that's well. I tell people I trust. I, I will tell you, Hobby, Tone, right, but not on stream, it. obviously. Um, so we've got two types of games. We've Everyone knows I'm called one Tom, selection right? So my name's member, Tom, um, including our uh, late council. You can have that half for free. Uh, he's, he's just of course, Alan. Player. Of course, uh, late probably wasn't the right word there, but never mind. Um, I'm Alan Wake. I'm a so writer. Stephen King once said from a previous season, uh, and that was removed from Return of a Legend, so they're not duplicated. Um, so it's interesting that we got Suck before Return of Legend because if anyone was particularly eagle-eyed, they could. I think Flame would have noticed if if we had Return of a Legend, and one of his games wasn't on there. I think he would have immediately been like, "Oh, why has my game been removed?" And that might have revealed something. I um, see. Okay. But yeah, so there's there's one game from previous seasons that's been removed from other subways, and then there is also a new game that each council member has selected specifically for the utter chaos of including it. Um, so shall we go over? Yes, to... here we go. So we get two wheels for the person one today. Wheel. The suck wheel. You love it. Here's the here suck wheel. Oh my god, this Superman 64. Stack foo. The wheel of Kenobi. Sonic two. Wheel of utter... Utter... Wheel of Sonic wheel, but yeah, sub wheel and knuckles. Nominations. Earthworm so Jim. Uh, Earthworm uh, Jim's are great. Levels. What these Earthworm games Jim. don't All suck. Shinobi. Well, some of them do. And what from previous seasons? And then new editions. We've got Action Fifty Two. Uh, Action Fifty Two. Playable. GMN. Uh, Superman Sixty Four. Uh, one of the most. The Cheetah Man. Doctor Morbus's failed experiments. Much account. Kid Chameleon. Uh, I think Deck played that a little bit um, at some stage, and decided to submit that for everyone else's suffering. Back through. I, I can't even begin to imagine some commentary on that. Bart versus the Space Mutants. Friday the thirteenth. Uh all all there to absolutely ruin our lives. Some of these games are good. Uh, so good, absolutely. <laughs> Some of the most tiltable aspects of previous seasons, I think. Yeah, Shinobi doesn't series, suck. Like Earthworm Jim doesn't suck. Um, unless you're kid. Um, I love playing Earthworm Jim. I've never uh, played Kid really Chameleon, did. but I don't think um, Kid Chameleon sucks. Yeah. So we're gonna, we're gonna Sonic Two and Knuckles definitely oh, doesn't oh, suck. Oh, Sonic oh, Two and Knuckles oh. is legend. Uh, we're gonna anyway, right? Well, here one. comes our second wheel of the day. Very exciting times. And then we're gonna spin it. I've played Superman <laughs> yeah, sixty four before, is, by the way. It's an experience. So, uh, so I'm not, I'm not bad at Superman sixty four. I know some of the things about it already. What I'd want to play out of anything on here. Sonic 2 and Knuckles, fuck that. Um, What's wrong with that? But we'll see. We'll see what we get. Oh, he literally We've did got... that last night. It's wow. Time. Why am I being welcome well, to the chat room again? Practicing again, eh, Mr. Matt? Is this stream okay? <laughs> I think it is. Nothing seems to be going on. CPU usage is like 3%, which seems higher than usual, but... Death Egg Walker is oh, different. Fine. Yeah, can't you just jump second. glide, jump cool. glide over and over uh, again and just fucking destroy it in a, in a uh, second? So it melts like butter compared to Sonic. Nominations. I think. I'm not sure. Bidding for the first time, new to season five. What fresh hell is it going to unleash? Here we go, here we go, here we go. 
Oh, oh okay, that's interesting. I, I didn't know that. I, well, so I played it before, but I forgot. Unfortunately not. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Um... Oh, no. Kid Chameleons, no. Sonic, uh, Super Mario, Jim, Earthworm Jim! Earthworm Jim! I love Earthworm Jim. Jim. Earthworm Jim. So there we go. One of the mo more, more sane games on there. Yeah, this is a good game. Yeah, I think there's going to be a few happy people around. The return of Earthworm Jim. Groovy, as Octobot says. Um, so yeah, that is week five's game. Earthworm Jim. This is... I'll admit to you, Earthworm Jim is, is a tolerable, playable game. Um... <laughs> But it was, you know, if, if you're not good at it and you don't know what's going on. Great game, there's, fucking there's horrendous creator. Yeah, yeah, I think I read terrible. that, actually. Like, um, but the, fuck the him, because we're just going to download terrible. it and play on an emulator. Uh, so background, fuck him. Graphics, terrible. Um, let me just uh, remind myself. It, it could have been much worse. Um, but if, if you like the idea of, of the suck. Um, oh, that's concept, right. Uh, let us know. And it may make an appearance again in later. Yeah, season. super transphobic. Um, yeah, fuck that dude. So we'll get some test. We'll play his game and we'll play it for free. Uh, fuck him. Get rid of this trailer. Uh, there we go. Apparently, he wasn't involved in the uh, series. The, uh, disclaimer. Uh, we can allow that. Um, yes, keep suck. <laughs> um, those of you who haven't played it before. No, it it is playable. It you can play it blind, and you'll do okay. Um, oh, this is I test think. spin. I'm getting excited over a test spin. Oh, my stream's gone. There will be a couple of pointers. It'll be worth including as a note addendum to. Ah, oh, Sonic oh, CD. The Sonic CD test spin ass. The wheel hates us all. It really does. Um. Hey, Adrian. Welcome to the wheel. I thought Jim is a good one to come in on, to be fair. Uh, we'll do another test spin. Sonic CD is um, a good game, bruv. Yeah, we, we might. What are you talking the, about? Details Sonic CD is fantastic. Maybe a couple of pointers, but it, it should be largely ready to go. So if you want to have a look at the previous time it came up, uh, I think it was. Was that last season? Season four? Season four or three, I think. Um, of course, you're playing Sonic on. Origins. That's why you were playing Sonic 2 and Knuckles. Uh, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just thought you'd picked it randomly to play. Like, oh, nice shade. It's like, oh, nice choice. Comes up no, of course, you've got you one more just received thing? Origins, didn't you, for your birthday? Um, I wonder if they'll let you play <laughs> that version of Sonic CD and, um, and earn some trophies, achievements, yeah. while you're, while you're so, doing it. Sorry, not sorry, but um, yeah, you're going to have to hold out for that. That sweet 1,000... Uh, I forget what they're actually called. Points. Achievements. Gamer score. Uh, oh, another nightshade. Double nightshades. Yep. Right in the middle. The wheel wants to give us nightshade. Uh, cool. Well, that was it. So yeah. What an exciting wheel spin. Fortnite. We got you two for the price of one. For your worm submissions. Can you believe it? You've got another week left on your Super Monkey Ball Two submissions. Um. So, gamer score, that was it. Gamer score. There's an ad. I love God. It's been so long. I haven't actually used an Xbox in, in years. Um, no, unfor unfortunately not. It's Earthworm Jim. I, I, I don't know who's looking forward to Nightshade. It's going to be interesting. I am not um, looking forward to Nightshade. I watched a, a JonTron time. video on it yeah, way so back in time uh, when JonTron wasn't a cunt. Worms, or what was bodies, a cunt, but was it was more Earth better worm. hidden. Than it was um, when it came out that he was a cunt. So, submission from Jim open from tomorrow. <laughs> I stopped watching John Tron, tonight, but I did see the Nightshade video, um, and that's yeah, all I've that's, seen of that entire game. for this week, guys. Um, thanks, everyone, for dropping in for Wheel Spin. Um, do we have... Who's around? Da, 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 da. I closed my window. Oh, I didn't. It was somewhere else. Uh, that can't be right. <laughs> Thank you, Foosh. Yeah, I did get misrated last time. Is Q not live? Oh, guess it's done. me then. This is most disappointing. Um,
Let's see if Fish does the right thing. Don't forget to clip. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes. Well done, Vic. Uh, vote on your favorite tilt clips um, over in the Discord for uh, Lem Lemmings. Crouching Is John Trotting uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, That's good. Uh, worms. That is very oh, good. Oh, yeah, it's Worms. Of course, Worms is about to close. Um, Q went live and changed his mind. Okay, fair enough. Um, who else have we got? He's not reading are you, it! Are you continuing, Garlips? Yes! Or is your stream coming to an end now? No! Is I'm continuing! To an end? Um, I'm continuing! <laughs> I'm continuing! <laughs> me! Me! Raid me! <laughs> I don't know what's going on in my OBS. But it's it's not showing me the right accounts anymore, so uh, I'm having to flick between different windows and figure stuff out. You're continuing, okay? We'll raid over into Garlips then. Yay! Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the wheel spin. Oh, this uh, is about to become uh, like a one of those tunnels, this like uh, that disappears into yeah. nowhere. Thanks everyone, and uh, like Magnifico. Pop them up in the Discord. Otherwise. Uh, everything should be as clear as mud. Welcome in, raiders. Funny that you're here. Has the raid even happened yet? Yeah, I'm just behind. Like my 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 uh, signal was crappy. Is it is it actually going to end? <laughs> Welcome in, raiders. Here? I'm confused. Yeah, I'm just I can hear me inside me, and it, it, it what's what's happening? I didn't even see the raid happen. By the way, it's I can still see fish. Can everyone else still see fish? Welcome in, everyone. By the way, um, that was a delightful stream. Uh, we caught the wheel spin there. That was fantastic. Um, right. Um, hi, my name is Garlips. You know me. You put up with my bullshit on a weekly basis. Um, I'm a horror streamer. I'm a speedrunner. I am also a struggler on the Wheel of Struggle. I joined halfway through Season 4. It's now halfway, not quite halfway through Season 5. And um, I'm having a well of time with the Wheel. We just got two spins for the price of one. And we're going to be playing, um, whatchamacallit? Uh, Earthworm Jim. So that's good. I like Earthworm Jim. I think Earthworm Jim is a good game. Right, give me a moment here. I'm just going to get the, uh, the game back up here. Huh? So, studio mode, source, put that back on. Boom. And there we go. I'm playing Alan Wake 2 today. Typical. Q went live as soon as I raided. Yep. Uh, it's a shame. Oh, oh well. Oh, well. <laughs> I've got you now. You can't escape. Um... <laughs> That's the raid that you promised me like last time when 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 the raid got fucked up. Um, right, okay. Let me just get my chat back up here. I'm going to be going until Mr. Matt starts his stream. So, oh yeah, that's what quote eighty two is. Por arkele, por arkele. And for anyone who doesn't know, uh, there's a thing in this game where like there's a lot of finish in this game, like lots of swomi. And um, there's a knife called Porkele. Por porkele. And I said it sounds like a, Rus uh, a Scottish person saying poor R. Kelly. And then Mr. Matt quoted me on it because I said it. It was said. But yes, I'm going to be going until Mr. Matt starts his stream. And there's the creamy jumbo. Fantastic. We're ready to begin. Okay, so back to Alan Wake. Alan Wake 2 is very good. It's a very good game. Um, although I am kind of getting my ass kicked, like, getting through lots of resources here. Although they did just give me a resource infusion. See? Shadow people everywhere. It's not on. I've got a torch and everything. How dare they? Right, so I went to room 101, right? Um, and I did that. So what is my goal now? Follow the devil's trail. Um, that's not helpful. Let's check the old map. Right, so we've got... Oh, you're getting a, a d duplicate of the uh, the game. There we go, I fixed that now. 
You can't tell me what to do. No, I can't. You're your own person with your own ideals and, and goals. And, you know, I, I, I cherish your autonomy. And I think, you know, everyone should be free, free to do what they want to do, providing it doesn't hurt other people. However, that said, you can't leave. You, you won't leave. <laughs> anyway, it's not Halloween anymore, is it? Can't get away with that. It's like this one night of the year where my creepy behavior is, is fine. <laughs> Thank you. Um, right, fuck. Um, what have we got here? That's an echo. Room 666. Uh, 665. That's right, the neighbor of the beast. Um, what's this over here? A trauma pad? Oh, nice. Oh, that's right. I had to make space in my inventory. That's right. Now we can pick this up. Uh, where was it? Where was it? It's in here somewhere. Is it in the bathroom? It is in the bathroom. What? Hey. Right. Okay. You're going to play RuneScape. So no more terrible puns and lazy defiance from me for a bit. That's okay. You go ahead. Uh, you've earned it after a day of uh, queries being eaten. That's not fair, is it? Get your own back in, in RuneScape, I guess. Or get your own back by going on um, Dave Benson Phillips' Get Your Own Back and, and gunging your best friend. Why not? Oh, no worries, Ads. No worries. Oh, I need some fucking drinking chocolate. I need to go buy, like, the cheapest, lowest calorie drinking chocolate. Because there are times where you just... You need a hot chocolate, don't you? It's just times where you just need one. My best mate would hate me if I gunged him. Well called get your own back for a reason there are epi full episodes of get your own back on youtube i was watching them maybe two weeks ago because i had to explain to mrs gollips the concept of get your own back um and also who dave benson phillip was because we saw i think it was like master chef celebrity master chef and dave benson phillips was on it and he looked really good he, he looked great and i was very happy for him he's still laughing still you know like chuckly customer uh is that a word fuck it i don't know anyway um, so I was like, oh yeah, he was on a kids show in the 90s where you like you would have to play a game show and then you'd gunge this person who you wanted to like get your own back on. And she was like, what the fuck? And I was like, yeah, it was real. Here's some video evidence. Wait, where am I going? So I've gone back upstairs now, haven't I? Yes, I have. Why did I go back upstairs? Um, we've got a container in there. These doors are locked. Did I get a key? Did I get, like, a key recently? Oh, these are all used keys, so I don't have any keys with me at the moment. And then he beat me up in RuneScape. So many kids gunged their math. Yeah, the one, the episode that I pulled up was like, oh, I hate my dinner lady. She never gives us nice food. And they'd, like, filmed, like, a VT, you know, just, like, an intro VT of, like, the kids at the school and the, the, the dinner lady and stuff. And, like, she, like, puts, like, three pieces of carrot on his plate. And he's like, can I have some more? And she's like, no. And he's like, we want to get our own back on our dinner lady because she's such a cunt. Uh, <laughs> and then and then they play a game show. Like, it, obviously, it was all just played up it's so that they could be on the telly. But, um, yeah, it was weird. Dinner lady. I mean, the dinner lady doesn't get to choose what to feed you. And the dinner lady has to feed everyone. Like, maybe cut the dinner lady some slack. But no, in the gun she went. Right, let's check out this container. Oh, that's right. Is this the room where we need to change something? Uh, it indeed is, but we should be able to see the container now. Yeah, I just missed it last time. What is that? Batteries. Oh, wait, what? I've got no room. Again. Um, I'm going to have to offload some ammunition. Do I got a save room around here? There it is.
I need to offload some of this uh, flare gun ammo. It takes up too much space. Um, what else? Yeah, another box. Why not? Another box. Because I actually quite need batteries right now. So it'd be handy to have some. Right, and then I had to change the room around in here, didn't I? So I can go through this hole. Right, so. Oops, wrong button. Right. Wait, am I not near a plot right now? I thought I was near a plot. Is it in here? Fucking hell. Where's the plot then? got final scene, rehearsal room, entrance hall, ballroom. So none of these rooms. The nearest one would probably be the ballroom, right? I wonder if changing that would help. Some of this game definitely is trial and error. Now oh, fuck off, I fought everyone in here already. Fuck off. The scene changed with the story. This is not my writing. This is Scratch mocking me. In his room, he will hurt her. Uh-oh. That does not sound kosher. That does not sound ideal. Hot chocolate and stolen bites. Oh. I want some too. I need to get me some, some cheap, low-sugar hot chocolate yeah stolen's great we're, we're in the we're in the uh, season now I didn't have the key tis the season for stolen bites right so what room is this I've already been in here obviously nothing new in here But this is totally gnarly. Someone got murked pretty bad. Let's see if this thing's moved. No! There's still, there's still something here. What is it? Oh, fuck off. Is this the room where he killed her? Get it. I guess I've got to change the other parts of the hotel up.
I'm gonna put that back. That's right, now there's a door. This is the meeting room. Let's change this one to the devil. Nice. Very cool. Very cool. This was, was not the ritual murder site I was looking for. This had just been an appetizer before the main course. I see. Is this your way of telling me, game, that I'm just in the wrong place? <laughs> is that way? Is that what you're trying to tell me right now? Right. So that shuts that doorway. So, okay. Follow the blood, I guess. Oh, but we're doing laps. I've already been here. Yeah, I can't access this, obviously. Um, let's go back down the floor. Wait, how do I go back down again? I'm gonna go through 225. I thought it just came through 225. Now I'm confused. 225. Here we go. Is there anything else in here to look at? Don't think so. Right. So now we're on the first floor. Wait. We need to find a place to change the plot. Let's go back out to the entrance hall. Which is actually this way. Right, here we go. We're back in the entrance hall now. Let's change the plot. path up the staircase was draped in blood. Holy shit! Whoa! Don't mind if I do. Right, we've now unlocked the staircase. Has anything changed in here? No. Okay. They clearly want me to go up the stairs, which I, I can do. I can do that. Fucking hell, mate. Love it. Love what you've done with the place. And all of these cultists wearing these, like, um, deer masks also reminds me of, uh, Bioshock. Bioshock 1. I know they had, like, rabbit masks and, and instead, but, like, yeah, it gives me those vibes. I think it's the fact that this, this hotel is also kind of, like, architecturally made to look like, like, Art Deco a bit. Do you know what I mean? 
it's hard to put my finger on, but that's the vibe I get. Jeez Louise. I feel the presence of a new idea here. Oh. Mr. Scratch, if that's who the actor playing the devil was, had stayed in the hotel. Asking around at reception got me a room number. Hmm. 666. He had requested that room specifically. The devil had a sense of humor. Or he really didn't. It was funny either way. According to the director, the actor hadn't mingled with the rest of the cast. He had only come out for the play. And always in character. Yeah, Mr. Scratch. Every time I hear Mr. Scratch, I think of Mr. Black from The Simpsons. I hope you extend the same courtesy to Mr. Black. Okay, now it's starting to look a bit more Silent Hill. Also, still strong Evil Within 2 vibes as well. Right, the room is 666. That's the one we're looking for. I'm guessing we'll probably re realize. We'll know it when we see it. Yeah! Yeah! I'm, I'm pretty sure we'll, we'll know it when we see it. Jesus Christ. Cool. All right then. Yeah, this this looks safe. Scratch had been here. I could sense his presence lingering in the room. I was about to have another killer idea. Oh. Okay. okay. Let's talk about the murder victim. The lady who was killed in the climax of the play. The leading lady. Oh, it was an honor to get to work with her. A grand dame for sure. She went back a long time kept insisting she had seen the long-lost original script of the play. She'd been with this mysterious writer, his muse. That was her role in the play. The muse. She was staying in room 108, where the murder happened. The set of the final scene, right. The devil comes, an unstoppable force crashing through the hotel through each scene, executed with devastating mastery. And all leading up to him, meeting his muse. Turns out he knew her. He had only joined the play to get to her. To murder her. Uh oh. It's the dark presence. Is the dark presence here in the room with us now? I do believe it is. Right, I think I probably should have taken one or two of those left or right turns. Yeah, scary, scary stuff indeed. Not you again. Jesus Christ. Come on, Alan, it's a door frame. Work it out, mate. I'm guessing I need to get to the staircase, but like... Oh, right, okay. It, it appears from that side, so now I need to run the other way. Woo. 
Woo! We're alive. <laughs> The dark presence had come for me. Drawn to the story I was writing as it grew darker. Um, I need to leave some room just in case I find some goodies. Oh, I ain't going that way. in room 108 108 Oh wait, Climax, right? It should be Climax. Or maybe not. Oh wow, it's flooded. I say I needed but to where find the the murder victim room 108 something lady oh dear it's beginning to look a lot like that hotel from Silent Hill 2 now that it's flooded <laughs> it's gonna say that sounds like parts of the fall to me Oh, that's rad. Um, lost on the shore between the forest and the ocean, the owl and the deer reflected... Oh, hang on. Reflected in motion. In his room, he will hurt her. In hers, he is caught. His story ends. Her story does not. This is the ritual to lead you on. Your friends will meet him when you are gone. Oops. This was the murder site. There was a record at the bottom of the bathtub. Beneath the body. Somehow, it was important. Jeez, who's that? R.I.P. Oh, we, we can have a shining situation on our hands here. Another step. Somehow I was closer to home. Closer than ever before. It's you again. The FBI agent. Saga Anderson. I'm closer now. I can feel it. You this is what we saw earlier with Saga. She's gonna get angry because of her family. We can feel I destroyed the dark presence with it last time. You can help. You can find it. You must find it. I can get it to you. I have to understand. Did you write the story? Alice is in danger. I have to stop Scratch. I have to find Return. I need to get back to my apartment. I'm writing a story to get through. Initiation. It's the only way. It's a story. It lasted only for a moment, like two planets passing in orbit. Saga Anderson was helping me, helping me go deeper, closer to escape. I don't think she's too happy with you, though. Parliament Tower. I had to get back to my apartment, my study. I had to find the manuscript of return. And that's the end of the part for Alan.
and skipped. <laughs> Ooh, fancy hotel. Right, okay. Nice. So we can just leave now. I wonder if I'll be able to get into those other rooms now. to go through 104 to get to the second floor again. Right, now what room was it that has got the thing in it? 224, actually. is on the other side. Here it is. What the fuck is the deal with this? How do I get in there? If I know. It will be good to run through the game afterwards once I play through it once and be able to pick up everything. Know all the secrets. I guess I'm gonna leave for now. Maybe I change this to climax. Maybe that will work. Story was affecting the scene. Asking too many freaking Christians. Not letting us proper police take care of it. This is our chance to make the powers that be happy. We'll be set for life. Part of the inner circle. Well, amen to that, partner. I like it. And so will the fraternity, the club, the word. Our dear friends with many names. The way I see it, it was a lone nut job. A junkie out of his mind on some fancy new design. Back here. Open and shut case. All we gotta do now is dump the evidence from room 108 in the usual place in the alley. Naughty, naughty. Thank goodness our cops aren't corrupt in real life. It's just a fiction in a video game. Where else have I got the ability to change here? Ballroom, rehearsal room, final scene. Right, where was the rehearsal room? 
ballroom was upstairs. Definitely upstairs. The rehearsal room was 20 something. 204. Something like that. But again, I think changing it to climax isn't going to get me the answers that I want for what, how to get to those question marks on the map. Let's go to the ballroom anyway, switch it back to Climax. Oh, this is the rehearsal space. Right, okay. Which way's the ballroom? The other way. Once I know where I'm going and what I'm doing, I would imagine there'll be less confusion in general. back to their diabolical oh, masters hiding in the dark. Climax in here, it's completely closed off. It can't be Climax. Oh yeah, that voice. Where's that coming from? I couldn't get in. I was missing something. 209. Where's the key for 209? change with the story. Hmm. I think I'm going to have to leave it for now. I keep getting drawn back in thinking I've got what I need now to do it and I just, I can't find a way through. So... Rather than prolong everyone's misery, constantly running around in a, in a lap trying to work out where it is I'm supposed to go. I think I will just respectfully leave. Tower 
was here, again. Zane said the manuscript of return was the key to escaping. I had to get it before Scratch did. There it is. Yep, don't forget to use the Janet's bucket. I know, I know. I actually want to do Saka's next bit, but I'm just going to run up in Param Parliament Tower first. It's also the kind of game that's very difficult to stop playing. And that's a compliment, believe me, it's a massive compliment. Uh oh. had turned the bathroom into a dark room. Dark Place, opening soon. A photography and videography exhibition by Alice Wake. Oh, here he is. It's Barry. Hey, Alice. I'm more of a fish out of water in Hollywood than I ever was in the Pacific Northwest wilderness. These yuppies with their glow-in-the-dark teeth could be more fake if they had six fingers. And everything's so fucking great all the time, even when it's in fact the opposite. More than once, I threw it up in my mouth during meetings with these movie exec jerks. But I gotta be here to look after Al's legacy. Everyone wants to gobble up the film rights for their Casey books, and they have moronic ideas of what to do with them. It's my duty to herd this horde of tan zombies into the general direction of something resembling good taste. I'm painfully aware how deeply Al would have hated adaptations if they didn't do justice to his vision. He was a master of hating things deeply, for good reasons. I mean, that's why we loved him so much, right? Anyway, gotta hop on another video call now to talk about casting your pal Barry. Oh, Jesus. Hey, Alice. You're gonna think I've been replaced by an evil double, but I've joined a cult, and I love it. Joking about it being a cult, kind of blessed wellness retreat. Working with Al or the Aldises was tough sometimes, but these movie biz types are insane. My stress levels were through the roof, but then I was tipped off about the retreat. The best decision I ever made. I've never felt this good and, well, healthy. The guy who runs this place, Chester, is a goddamn miracle worker. Not a wacko in any way. I know you think I'm full of shit, but I've lost a lot of weight. You wouldn't recognize me. Chester says I'm lucky to have landed up here. That and something bad would have happened to me if I stayed in New York. I believe him. I wasn't feeling great after everything that happened, especially after those FC, FBC creepos wanted to chat with me, enough to turn anyone into a conspiracy nut. I hope you are good over there. Some come visit any time. West Coast not as bad as I made it sound in my earlier mails. Your pal Barry. Um, it's a very confused accent. Hey Alice, checking in because I haven't heard from you. Everything good back there? I've been trapped in non-stop meetings with no breaks. Open kimono. I've considered peeing in a mug and lunches be damned. How these people ever get a movie made with all they do is sit in meetings is beyond me. Your pal Barry. I'll handle it. Hey, Alice. Shark circling. circling. They now want to turn what happened to Al into a movie and or a TV show and, uh, and or, get this, a fucking video game. I told them to fuck off. Also, in case you hear about this from someone else, a true crime writer named Tammy Booker is working on a book about Al. I hunted down a publisher and told them we'll sue. Don't worry, I got you covered. Your pal, Barry. Oh, fuck. Uh, yeah, I hate fireworks and I hate... Yep. No worries, Hobby Tan. You, you go keep Porthos company. I, I, as a keeper of rabbits, I get in, incredibly annoyed every time uh, around this time of year uh, when people put off their own fireworks. 
Like, I get it. People, like, want to be able to do their own thing and stuff, but they don't think about the impact it has on other people and their animals. Um, it's fucking annoying. So you have my sympathy, and, and please do, yeah. Uh, I'll catch up with you, um... Well, I'm going to be streaming tomorrow, so presumably tomorrow. Poor Porthos. Yeah, they'll be sliding around our end soon as well. Hey, Alice. Everything good with you back home? Just checking in. Tried to call but couldn't reach you. You're probably just deep in your creative process. I know how you artists get when you're in the middle of your projects. Everything else disappears. If you call back and can't reach me, I'm doing whatever it is an ex executive producer is supposed to do. Still a mystery to me. Oh, and if you want me to help with anything business related to your exhibition, just say the word. So Barry was trying to keep in touch with Alice, and Alice seems to be just fucking ignoring him. I wonder if we'll get to see Barry. For months, after Alan died, I didn't leave the apartment. I was flattened. By the confusion. The shock. The, the guilt. Fear. I could barely get out of bed. Barry Wheeler started visiting. He even cooked me meals. I couldn't stand the guy when I first met him, but he's a better friend than I gave him credit for. And he still checks in. Even after he moved out west. Interesting. Alice's this, work had consumed this whole, apartment. like her whole life. Alan's side of the game feels very Evil Within 2 to me. I feel like the Evil Within 2 is a massive inf influence and inspiration to the team. And that's great. Uh, because it's a great game and because Remedy have made a great game by being influenced or, or being, you know, kind of like... I can't help but feel the influence there. I don't think I'm wrong. Even down to watching videos in an apartment One morning, I saw a deer soar past my bedroom window. It was a, a balloon of some cartoon animal. And I looked out at the street below, and I saw a little girl crying. Yeah, it's awful, isn't it? It's, I, like I hate people who love their fireworks like that. They don't world. think about other people's animals. Thankfully, our rabbits are inside now. Um, they used to be in a shed, so, you know, they'd hear them loudly. Hopefully now they're indoors, it'll be not as loud. And I picked up my camera. They haven't started around our end yet. And hopefully they won't, but I know they will, because they always love to. I photographed and filmed, the more I felt like I was on the verge of a breakthrough. Oh. I submerged myself in it. I only went out at night. He was very cute on, on um, the lower-res recording on Monday. I thought it was awesome we could hear her on the microphone. I still had no idea what I was looking for. Came through loud and clear. It's like, <laughs> Oh, jeez. There's a world hidden behind ours. A dark tide ebbing and flowing against reality. Faces in the shadows. Fear of the dark is really just fear of what could be that... that vast, paralyzing ocean. But photography can freeze reality in a snapshot. Put a cage around the infinite and capture it. I need 
to prove those faces are really there. Oh. He found it. Is that the, the whole manuscript of a novel? Return. A horror story about the dark presence escaping from the dark place, taking over Bright Falls. I couldn't remember writing it. I had not written it. I would never write this. I knew who had. Scratch. A monster with my face. If this story came true, Scratch would get out. People would die. Destroying the manuscript. It wouldn't stop it from happening. I would have to fix it, edit it. I could not change the genre of the story. I'd have to work within the constraints set by Scratch. I needed someone in the story to fight the darkness. Saga Anderson. I kept seeing her in my visions. She was already in Bright Falls, already involved, but she was not in return. Not yet. I'd write her in, try to stop Scratch within the limits of the horror story. It was almost impossible. It was taking too long. I had not reached the end. Poor Mr. Allen. Well, 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 well. Bye, Alan. Scratch stopped me before I could finish my edits to the manuscript. The memory of my edits was already fading. Terrible things would happen if the manuscript Is there a bucket in here? Scratch was there, at Parliament Tower, undoing my work. He could use the story to escape. No. He could go after Alice. So we've got to get, we've got to get out. Zane and then we can um, on return together. That was a lie. We could switch to Saga. Return. I would pay Zane another visit. He had guided me to two murder sites. I needed a new one to get back to Parliament Tower. A new draft of initiation. We have got a janitor's room. We are going to switch back to Saga. I love that this is a feature. This is incredible. Like just pick up the bit of the story that you want to carry on with. Really cool. What was I doing? Oh, that's right. I was going back to Casey and Alan, wasn't I? Yes. Right, so what I'm going to do... Where the fuck was I, though? Oh, we're in the finish. We're in the finish town hall place. Nice. All right, we've got to go this way. Feels like I've suddenly gone deaf. Those old folks sure can get loud, huh? I don't mind it. 
And what happened to uh, grab life's gifts while you can? Oh, this place won't be flooded now. Well, maybe it wasn't flooded well, before. I can't remember. At least the flooding's gone down. <laughs> yeah, but the fish aren't biting any better. No, nothing new that I can see. Although, wait, what about by the, um, the sauna? Can't go that way. Anyway, I need the bathroom. I needed the bathroom kind of before we even did Fish's wheel spin. But I just have been hooked and I can't stop. But I do need to go to the bathroom, so I will go to the bathroom in a sec. Let's just have a quick poke around here first. Yep. It's a manuscript page. Here's, here's a sauna, man. Hello. You've done all your lunchboxes and stuff in watery, so you're clearing up Cauldron Lake now. Nice. I'm probably going to do my clear up on, on playthrough 2, because I think I've probably already missed stuff. That maybe I can't even get back to. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It might be that I get to the point of no return at the end, and it says you've now you can now go and find all of the things before you finish the game. Um, in which case, yeah, I'll do that. Um, okay. We're going to go back to Bright Falls. But I'm going to pop to the bathroom first. I'll be right back.
not sad at all. <laughs> I actually, I'm in the same boat. I want to do all of the stuff that I can before the, uh, the, the finishing of the story. It's cool that you can have three save files as well. So you can um, just pop a save file at the end there and make like a spare save so that if you do miss anything, you can always go back and then finish the game. Also, welcome in, Devon Lass. How are you? Hope you're well. Good evening. I'm just going to light a little Jossie here, and then we're going to get underway. Um, this is something that my family did for years and years and years and years, and I've not really been doing. Um, but recently, I thought to myself, you know what would be nice? Get a few Joss sticks. Get a lighter. And start burning Joss sticks, because it just, you know, it leaves a nice fragrance in the air. It's calming. So... And I got the most awesome light, by the way. So, um, where is it? Here we go. Let's uh, let's do this. Very cool. Very cool. Right. I do have a joystick holder around here, but I can't find it. So at the moment, we're getting the state of the art joystick holder. Which is a tub with some blue tack in it. Lovely and instantly. Smell of lavender smoke fills the air. And everything is right with the world. I'm going to have a twirl. You know? I'm, I, everything is good today. I feel good today. Jesus Christ, that's warm. Oh my god. Should have kept him in the fridge. Oh, It's nice, but it's... Oh my god. It's very warm. <laughs> right. Let's do a bit more of Saga's story. I'm probably going to be running until Mr. Matt has his stream at half past eight. Very quiet part of the game. Here we go. Alan. Oh, thank you. <laughs> My name comes up. Your books come up. You come up. I've read them. There are echoes of my life in there that makes me feel like someone's been watching me. Uh oh. What happened to Alan Wake? The unanswered mystery. Never expected to find you alive. Oh, my head's killing me. Silly Mr. Alan. I think you like using people, Wake taking their lives and twisting them into your stories. And when someone gets hurt, it's kick-ass material for the next one. Shit! Spilled my coffee. <clears throat> Take it you're not a fan then, Agent Casey. This is not your playground, and I'm not your fucking creation. It doesn't work that way. You can't make something out of nothing, even in a dark place where the rules hardly apply. It's very complicated to make fiction come true. I saw visions of what's happening. What will happen? Dreams. I tried to use them in my writing. I understand how dangerous it is now. Even with a paralyzing amount of planning. I think I stopped writing. I think I gave up. But there's a manuscript. Maybe I forgot not to write. The dark place makes you forget. I just want to fix this.
find a version of the story that fixes everything. Shut up! Get down! Shit, son. FBI! We want the rider! No one else needs to get hurt! Fuck! <laughs> I do like Alex Casey. He's grown on me. <laughs> no chance. Playing as Alan. Wait, that can't be right. I'm in Sarka's story. I had escaped the dark place. So had the dark presence. Scratch. He was here, in Bright Falls. I could feel him as a growing pressure in my head. Stronger by the minute. Why didn't he kill me with the rest? What did he want? Interesting. I gotta get out of here. I needed to find Casey. We were on the same side in this fight. Strength in numbers. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. People don't realize how disruptive fireworks are to other people and their animals. It's just, they either don't think about it or they don't care. And it's really frustrating. We've got some next door neighbors that we, we get on fine with. But um, occasionally they let off their fireworks and they do like two or three of them a year, like around this, this kind of time. And um, they used to give our rabbits, they set off our rabbits so bad out in the shed, we had to go out and check them. Constantly give them treats and things just to, to make sure that they stayed eating. Because rabbits, when they're scared, they just stop eating. And rabbits stopping eating is like, basically, it's like a, a self-fulfilling prophecy. I need like, to basically, myself. they don't eat because they feel bad. And then they feel bad because they don't eat, and then they die. <laughs> Pretty much. Um... Welcome back, Blackbird Twitch. What is heavier? One kilogram of steel or one kilogram of feathers? The feathers, because you have to carry the weight of what you did to those birds. Oh, it's a good job Ads isn't here right now. <laughs> um, we've had some some fairly some some fairly disturbing low res banth about um well, ironically, about bantams, about chickens and birds. Um, apparently, Adrian's revenge can't stand them. You think you know someone and then they turn out to be a bird racist. It's not cool. Uh, the really strange thing is this entire area is pet owners. Everyone has dogs, cats, or both. Yeah, that's... Ugh. So why would you do it? Why would you do it? Why would you flashlight. set off some fucking fireworks? We'll have them around our end soon enough as well. 
Um, is it this weekend? When when is the fifth? It's next Monday, right? Hang on, let me check that. No, it's Sunday. Jesus. Yeah, they 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 are gorgeous and adorable, and I don't regret us ever having them. But we have learned so much about what makes rabbits tick and how to keep them alive. <laughs> it turns out, like a whole number of things can just kind of make them stop. Like, just stop. Um, and you've got to keep that train going. You've got to keep it moving. Um, I can't tell you that uh, I lost count of the number of times that we've had to syringe feed our rabbits when they've been unwell. Because uh, they won't eat. So you've got to put food in their stomach. And then they're like, oh, I feel better now. And it's like, yeah, no shit. You've got to eat to live, you fucking idiot. I love you. you sweet, adorable ball of fucking stupid. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, to be fair, humans do that too sometimes. Just forget to eat, and they're like, oh, why do I feel unwell? That's Casey. He was still alive. <laughs> what speeds you? Oh, God. Um, fireworks don't need to be noisy. It pisses me off because it has a horrible impact on birds and squirrels too. Yeah, and feral animals. Animals hate them. I'm all about only organized displays and not people's back gardens. I agree completely. I think... Look, if you're going to go to a display somewhere out in the middle of the country where, yeah, there are going to be animals that are scared, but they are going to be animals that are going to be scared everywhere. Um, and uh, live animals might just fly away or something. Like, so they, they don't get bothered by it. But, like, pets are, like, locked in place, if you know what I mean. It's hard to explain, but basically. So, like, if you want to go see some impressive fireworks, whatever the fuck you buy in Tesco for 100 quid or whatever... Is never going to look as good as a proper big fireworks display. So just go watch the big one. Out in the fucking middle of nowhere somewhere. Not not on my street. Thank you very much. Above my head. Thank you very much. Do you know what I mean? I think you all know what I mean. Uh, Blackbird, this is your one and only warning. You make jokes like that again, I will ban you. Okay, cool. That's your one and only warning. Um, I cannot describe the nightmare of having five bunnies stopping eating all at the same time because of fireworks scanning, scaring them. I agree completely. Yep. I'm, I've given him one warning. That's, that's your warning. To please don't make jokes about eating rabbits again. I will, um, I'll ban you. I don't care. <laughs> I've already had to ban one cunt this week. Not saying that you're a cunt, but if you continue to uh, perform that kind of behavior, uh, right, okay, you're banned. Ban. I was waiting for a reason to ban him, honestly. There it is. We're cleaning shop. Right, let me just go and ban him on everything else. One second. I really only have him on Twitter, uh, Twitch, I think, so I just need to take him off the regulars list. Not that I think that matters once someone's banned, but... Um... Do-do-do-do-do. I'm going to take him off it anyway, just to make sure. You know what I mean? I warned him, and he continued. So, ban. Um, let's look for Blackbird. Blackbird isn't on the regulars list. He never even made it to the regulars list. What a tragedy. Oh, well. Bye bye, Blackbird. Honestly, at least all the cunts are coming out of the woodwork this week so I can deal with them. Do you know what I mean? Fuck's sake. I'm pretty sure I've told him about that before. It's not the first time. He calls you a pillock and then gives you pasta. <laughs> Close enough. people think they can say whatever they like because it's the internet because they do and 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 some of sometimes i think honestly they think are you gonna ban me then like let me see it and the answer is yeah Pfft, bye 
Um, we actually did a little fireworks display for the 4th of July for our American friend once. We got uh, silent fireworks and we let all of our neighbours know ahead of time what we were doing in case they would rather we didn't. That's exactly, that's the way to do it. Just at least give us like a heads up. Like, it's like, if I know it's coming, I can do something about it. I can maybe go out there early, make sure the lights are on, you know, when we had a shed for the rabbits, you know, make sure the lights are on, make sure, you know, we give them a treat beforehand. You know, all of this stuff that can just help the situation. And you've got silent fireworks as well. Exactly. So they're not going to make a big noise. Ex yeah, exactly. That's all we want is just the courtesy, you know, the courtesy to be uh, thought of. Oh, of course, Hobby Tan is right about a lot of things. <laughs> discussing more music music uh choices today that uh that vibe with me so much so that i've put oingo boingo on the list because if hobby town says they're good, they're good easy. i just it's haven't got to them yet I just clip that is strong <laughs> Right, I know this last one is going to give me chips, so is there anything else I can do beforehand? Yeah, I knew you were coming! Bye! Safe haven. Ah, uh, yeah, you can absolutely These do that. These are the cultists the FBI were after. Were they letting themselves be taken? Or did the dark presence not discriminate? I've only got a shotgun. This is the chapter where they kind of, like, give you minimal resources and you've just got to kind of go do it on the run. I like these kinds of uh, sections of games. Whoa! Dude, I'm in a safe space right now. Stronger than ever. Alright, run to the next one. Casey! Look out! It's him! Now I've just re I've just realized and I I want to say something about this okay I realized that it looks like I just banned a guy for no reason um or it might look that way to some people and I don't want to be misconstrued so I just want to explain everything before I move on from it um explaining everything will actually help me move on from it so I had to ban a regular at the start of this week. Um, on Monday, um, in my uh, stream, there was uh, a guy, you all know him, called Phoenix Drive. And um, before the stream had begun, um, I had been on Twitter and I'd found one of his posts that was very Islamophobic and very, very xenophobic, uh, very bigoted. He was calling for the murder of um, uh, Muslims in his country and in others and he was being really really horrifically horrible about it so i called him up on it i replied to his um his tweet reply um which he probably didn't even expect me to see um and i called him out on it i said i'm really disappointed in this um phoenix and um he replied with gallops you're the you people are the problem you're the people who let these people in and they come in and they take over and and they're awful and they're scum Blah, 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 all this stuff. I've got screenshots of all of the comments, by the way, so I can't be, like, misquoted. And so I replied, hey, guess what, dipshit? Um, <laughs> I know lots of Muslims. They are part of my family. They are members of my family. Hey, guess what? Doesn't mean that all Muslims are bad, you know, because those people would never harm a single person. 
ever, and they never have, right? But he was he wouldn't stand it. I called him alt right because he was being an alt right dipshit, and he said, "Oh, funny how people always call me alt right," and I was like, "It isn't, mate, because people can see that that's exactly what you are." Um, but I said I'm not interested in a discussion, and I banned him everywhere. Yeah, it's almost like it's true. It's it's, it's almost like it's a fact. How dare you come to me with facts? Um, but anyway, regardless, so I banned him on everything. Um, it's really disappointing, and it upset uh, Mrs. Gallops because Phoenix has been a regular for a while, um, even on our Discord, the Pizza Discord, and um, Mrs. Gallops helped him out like a few months ago, like he was going through some shit, and uh, Mrs. Gallops talked with him in private message and was was incredibly kind and nice to him and gave him time, gave him some of her time and her energy. And this is how he repays people, uh, people that he sees as subhuman. So um, I decided at that point that, yeah, we're breaking all ties. Thank you. Um, it's It was a little bit stressful, not going to lie. But I also won't allow dickheads to take any of my time or energy at this point because they don't deserve it. So banned him, whatever, right? But I've noticed the exact same talking point. All right, maybe I should also say I have noticed Phoenix Drive say things here and there that implied to me that he was very right-leaning, right? But I don't want to ban someone outright just because they're right-leaning. Because I know plenty of people who are conservative. We get on fine. At the end of the day, we're going to have these disagreements. But if you can have them respectfully, then it's fine, right? At the end of the day. I'm not one of these people who's like, they're all dead to me. Because that's how you lose people. You need to be able to try and change their minds. You need to be able to talk to them kindly and with, with patience and hope that you can turn them around okay there are some people who just need turning around right there are people who are far gone fuck those people um yeah it, it was a case of innocent until proven guilty and also innocent until i saw a i saw a discre uh, uh what are they called fuck not a discretion what's it called um yeah for context uh, pumpkin blazes is, is fine with you knowing that she's muslim so yeah, he he was single. He was out there going. Muslims are awful. I hate them. They're not good. Um, they're subhuman. Kill them. And then, um, but that the same person who helped him months ago through some some shit he was going through is Pumpkin Blades, who's a Muslim. So, what the fuck? Anyway, um, so I thought I'll leave it until he makes some kind of like big fuck up. Um. And another person in the chat has been giving me those same vibes. And I've gone, I will give them until they do a big fuck up. And that person was Blackbird Twitch, who I just banned. Right? So, what you've got is, I had someone who was on my naughty list, radar, whatever you want to call it. Like, I'm expecting you to turn around someday and be shitty. Um, and I just said to him there, look, I'll give you a warning. I don't want you to talk about this. I'll give you a warning. And he was like, what? Talking about this? And I'm like, yeah, bye. <laughs> <laughs> and if if Phoenix Drive or if Blackbird Twitch are watching this VOD, just because you've been here a while doesn't mean you can say horrendous shit or break the rules. Rule number one of this stream is don't be a dick. It's incredibly easy to not be a dick. It's incredibly easy. Everyone else manages it. You did not. I had to ban you from my own peace of mind. Okay. Right, cool. I feel like I've explained myself now, and I can move on from it. <laughs> Fucking hell. It's, it's no secret that I'm left-leaning. Well, I'm not left-leaning. I'm probably radical left at this point. Um... <laughs> <laughs> but I entertained a lot of Blackbird's discussions. I've had discussions with him on this stream where we've talked about issues of race, issues of um, identity politics, gender, etc. And um, I, I could tell that he was right-leaning. And I was like, look, I can't just ban someone because they're right-leaning. They have to do something wrong. They did something wrong. They're gone. End of story. Thank you. Fucking hell, though. Oh, Pumpkin Blade said you can't delete the comments. I can, and they're gone. Don't worry, they're gone. When I ban someone, it deletes all their comments from the uh, 
from the comment box. It might not be on the stream, uh, but it, it definitely does in the comment box. Uh, you being left-leaning is a big part of why I keep coming back and feel safe here. Well, that's what I want for people. And at the end of the day, I want I want people who are slightly right-leaning to be also feel that safeness of going, well, I don't think that, Gollips. I disagree with you. Because that therein lies where I can potentially change their mind. Where I can talk to them and maybe reach them. Um, but some people prove themselves unreachable. End of story. Pressure eased off. Scratch was further away. I could think again. But thank you, I appreciate that. And, like, I am not... I do not hide my politics in any way, shape, or form on this stream. I tried once. It's just, it's Casey, not me. I've got to be, I've got to be me. I probably have twice, twice, 200 times the viewers I have if I just, like, was not as outspoken, but I just don't care. I'd rather have the people I hear, uh, the people here, know me and want to be here because of me rather than have a million people who don't like me or, or like a version of me that isn't real. Also, here comes Saga. Elmo? Saga, you don't understand. Oh, it's Elmo! Tickle me, Elmo. What the fuck is going on? The shit has hit the fan. Case. Yeah. This is no longer an FBI investigation. The case I was ex this is not what I was expecting. Plot wise. This is bullshit. Noted. Removing the evidence and paperwork from your That looks like the lady from operation at the sheriff station. The Resident you know, Evil Netflix show. With you, anything relevant? She was the head of Umbrella and she was also in um Fall of the House of Usher. She was Nothing comes to mind. the scientist okay. girlfriend of then the other scientists. Hey. That's who she looks like. I don't well. think it's actually her. Though. Wait, my partner, Agent Casey's MIA. We'll look for She's him. my partner, damn it. Agent, be... go home. Careful, moving weight. They think he's a para utilitarian. No, fuck this. Hell yeah. I'm so close to getting the clicker to wake. I'm not done here. Not until I find Casey. Not until my family is safe from this horror story. Holy shit. So the shit really hit the fan there. But yeah, this is this is why I'm so glad to be a part of the stream team I am as well, because most people on that stream team... Well, no, scratch that. All of the people on that stream team are supportive and kind, and, you know, they accept that people are the way they are, and they don't fucking call them on it. Try to I'm off the case, but I can still visit family. Anyway, I'm going I'm to try and move on from this now, but it's just annoyed me because it's the second one in a week. I've I've only ever banned completely obvious trolls before. Um, this is two regulars in a week. Like, I don't know, maybe it's just the situation in the Middle East brings them out recently. I don't know. Or maybe I'm just... Maybe I've gone mad with power. <laughs> maybe I've picked up the ban hammer and I'm like, fuck yeah, let's clean house. But... Those are the two people that I could think of cleaning house of. I can't think of anyone else. No one else has presented them to me. It started... It, it, it started with the Zumbini win. Ever since then, it's gone to my head. <laughs> the worst part of that is there's no video evidence. <laughs> it never happened. That's the worst part. Um, it's Halloween, it brings all the crazies to the surface. Yeah, I mean, that's another very good excuse. Timely one as well. Um, on the Oingo Boingo thing, I feel the need to let you know I love them, but there are problematic, they are a problematic fave now. Elfman is revealed to have done some bad things. Um, I went for a good few months completely unable to listen to any Boingo because I was so angry about it. But we can like things while acknowledging that their creators are cunts. Yeah, very true. And thank you for the heads up. I mean, ultimately, I think there are very few people on this planet who create art who have not got some kind of issue. Um, there are people who like, even they might be 100% on the, on the face of it, like super squeaky clean, but you never know what they might have done or might not have done. Excuse me. So um, I think everyone's got their own lines, right? Like I don't listen to lost profits anymore. 
I don't think many people do listen to Lost Prophets anymore. Occasionally, I found myself drawn, like I'm just, I'm like, I'm just gonna go listen to Shinobi versus Dragon Ninja just once. I'm just gonna go listen to Shinobi versus Dragon Ninja just once. I, I can count on one hand the amount of times I've done that since the news came out about um, Ian Watkins. So that's a hard line for me that I have occasionally dipped a toe over the other side because it's a fucking good song and fuck that cunt forever being able to ruin it for everyone else and all of the other horrible shit that he did i'm not forgetting that obviously so it's like how much can you let fly how much can you how much can you deal with and everyone's tolerance is going to be different um for instance there might be people um based on the situation in the middle east right now that kind of they see that someone's name has been connected with a side and they're like fuck them i've i've found myself in that situation i'm like you know what this person i I just i don't want to ever hear from them again um but there are other people who probably go yeah and they'll they'll continue in engaging with that person or their art so at the end of the day it's not for anyone to judge i don't think anyone's gonna hate me if i listen to shinobi versus dragon ninja every now and again but um, there are other people, you know, who would say, no, you can't listen to that. How dare you listen to that? And it's uh, it's just complicated, isn't it? It's all complicated. It's all shades of gray. And that's what makes it so difficult. And that's why you just got to be authentic to yourself. There are other people like I would never listen to a Gary Glitter song, but but I never had a connection with those songs to begin with. So that's very easy for me to do. Um, it's... <sighs> Shinobi vs. Dragon Ninja is a song. They should just release it without him singing on it. Like, just release a studio version with no singing on it. Do you know what I mean? Ugh. Anyway, I'm rambling again. I'm kind of in a weird mood now because of all of that happening. Or oh, get a new singer. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I guess the, the argument that I hear against it, right, is that... um he wrote some of the songs or worked on some of the songs and therefore he would get residuals from their playing their reissue even if like you know he's not on the record at all like if it was a new recording or something and so in that regard i can understand it but i also don't go to spotify to listen to lost profits um if i was i've got the cds from from way back i haven't chucked them out so i it doesn't cost anyone anything for me to listen to it and i don't listen to it often it's just occasionally you get that urge for like the early late 90s early 2000s yar har fiddle dd exactly i mean being a pirate is all right with me do what you want because a pirate is free you are a pirate <laughs> you are a pirate um we've got us a map it's full of precious booty um anyway <laughs> Yeah, I dressed up as a pirate. So did you. We had a good time on Monday, didn't we? Um, which I'm not allowed to talk about until the episode is out. But we had a good time. Um, yeah, so uh, putting a capstone on it. Um, I will give you chances if you're a viewer in this channel. I will warn you if you're being dickish. If you continue to be dickish, I'll ban you. And I, I don't want to do that. I never want to do that. It's not the path I ever want to take. Not because it will cost me a viewer... Um, because it will cost me someone who I like, who who shows up for me. I don't want to do that. I don't want to throw that away. But for my own sanity, my own well-being, I will if you become toxic. Um. Oh, by the way, um, yeah, you totally expected, I'm sure, but uh, you, Porthos has yet another... Um, admirer. Uh, Mrs. Garlips watched Low Res episode 5 last night. And, uh, is now in love with Porthos. I'm sorry. <laughs> I hate to break it to you. Yet another one of us is in love with him. He's gorgeous. <laughs> well, I've been in your streams. I know that's Bob Kiss, but... Um, I, I also understand where you're coming from with it. Wait, am I am I the Twitch star or is it, or are the animals? Oh no! 
Wait, where am I? Am I in Watery or Bright Falls? I'm in Bright Falls right now. Okay. Can I get... Can I... Excuse me? You're telling me I can't walk... You, I can't walk down there. I, I can't... It's, yeah, it's just too high. It's just, it's just way too high. Too scary. You're right. I have to go this way. Jesus, where am I going? Stick to the path. Stick to the path. Oh, they always do to the end. Like, even our bunnies, they are still, like, baby bunnies. And they are... Whoa. One of them is 11 now. Not bad for a bunny. Can I unlock this gate? Not that I don't think I'm going to need it in the future, but could I unlock it? No. Is there a person there? <laughs> Hello! <laughs> this lady's fun. Hello, how are you? Uh, boop. <laughs> there she goes. What what remedy I found your little Easter egg? <laughs> um Wow, she's interesting. Right, now that we're saga, let's see if there's any like uh collectibles or things to pick up in here. Oh, well, it's been tidied up in here a little bit. Hello? Hello. This, is this the booker's room? Yeah. Just wondering if any more of these doors have been unlocked. It's not opening. Nope. That person ain't coming out either. You say you didn't get a good look at you saying <clears throat> No. I mean, yes. Uh, I didn't get any kind of look. So the Absolutely. FBC have taken over this investigation. <gasps> Into the skies. I needed to Into the darkness. All this brohaha's <laughs> we do, we do. Oh, I still need to find a uh, bolt cutters. Well, now where am I supposed to go? What of my investigation? Now that Mr. Alan Wake's been taken off me, maybe I can go complain to the police. I need to find my friends again. And that flooding hasn't been fixed. Maybe we'll go to the Odeer Diner as well. Maybe maybe Rose is at the diner. Hello. Doesn't want to talk to me. You should. I'm jealous of your pixel art skills. Your box is still out of order. Dang it. That's where I'm at. I just have too many things to do and not enough time to schedule them in. And I've just taken on a new thing that um, begins... We, we record the first episode of it tomorrow. Soon I'll be able to actually reveal what it is. It's 90% guesswork and 10% flailing. Hey! Yeah, but it's that 10%. It's, um... Uh, well, I, I think I can say... It refers to those letters we were talking about earlier on. Uh, the letter D. And then followed by another letter.
letter D. That's all I can say. I don't even know why we're keeping your secret. <laughs> but just just a little longer. Just a little longer, I believe. Right, there's nothing in here new to do. <laughs> Hello there, grab a seat if you like. I'm a beer. Is this open as well? Can I go in here? Yeah, no, I don't think I've ever been in there. It's not open. Right, what's my goal? Go to the Valhalla nursing home, but I need bolt cutters to do that. It's The door is bolted. Let me check my map real quick. Oh, no, they want me to go this way. By this, this path. Nuts. So that's where I actually need to go. Alright. We'll turn around. The only problem is I need to decide on my character's voice. Um, and I can't... All of my voices tend to be in the, uh, the American register, as it were. Uh, that's where I feel comfortable and natural. All natural. Uh, like a baby bell all peeled in the middle. But I don't know where exactly my character has come from, except that D&D oh, &D does not lend itself to an American accent <laughs> at all. Like, at all. So, uh, I guess I need to work on my accent. Maybe my character is smart, fast, intelligent. Um, very much got his own sense of justice. Welcome back, Ads. Don't worry, don't worry. I hope your mama is well. You had an awakened dog who taught like Scooby-Doo once. Ruh -ruh. Ruh -ruh. I rolled a run. <laughs> Scoob, like, you can't attack the mage, Scoob. He'll, like, kill you! <laughs> ruh -ruh. And so on. Those are my two... <coughs> Fuck. Those are my two voices. Scooby-Doo and Shaggy. He was a bard. His vicious mockery consists of farting on the enemy. Nice! Uh, that'll do it. That is very insulting, actually. Um... Hey, it's Mr. My Internet. He heard this Scooby-Doo impression. He came running. He'll give, he'll like give you bum rooms or something. Bum rum, oh, bum rooms. <laughs> yeah, we have a whole um, rum worms uh, thing that Mr. My Internet has has crafted into the Scooby-Doo oeuvre, as it were, the Scooby-Doo lore. Uh, yeah, my parents are all good. Good. Uh, my sister finally got the keys to her first house last week. Is still living at theirs. So they're a bit fed up. <laughs> I would imagine the second you get the keys, you're like, yeah, let's get over there. Let's let's do it. But, I don't know. <laughs> oh, something's beeping. It's my phone. Hello? Saga, it's Tor, your grandfather. About time you were coming to visit, kiddo. How did you know I was coming to see you? Never mind that. We have bigger problems. We're losing. Oh, fuck. Fuck you, you fucking hag. Fuck. Shit. Beep beep. Something is off at that nursing home. Yeah, and we're about to find out. Um, that's the sentence you never think you'd hear. We have a thing about bumworms. I know, it's like um I can't even begin to explain it. So it's just it is the way it is. Um that's what I'd be like, but she's thirty eight and I don't think she really wants to go. I mean, it can be difficult making those first steps out, even, you know, no matter what stage you are in your life. Like, for me, I was at university in my third year, and I moved out for, like, six to eight months. Um, and that was great, until um, it wasn't. <laughs> and I had arguments with the people I lived with, and then, hey, guess what? I moved back home. 
And you want to know something really fucking weird? Really, really fucking strange. Right now, I live in the same house that I always lived in my entire life. But it's now mine and my wife's house. And my dad and my mum live in my grand's house. My grand's... My my grand has passed. Grand's house. So, that's a bit weird. I live here now, and it's my house now. (laughs) It's so weird. Um, my watermelon has died while I was calming Porthos down. Stupid fireworks upsetting my dog and ruining my skilling in RuneScape. No! Also, RIP watermelons. I, I, uh, Mrs. Gallops will tell you, we we have the opposite of what a green thumb is. A red thumb? We, we kill plants without even meaning to. Just trying our best to keep them alive, they die. I can't explain it. I wish that I had a skill when, when, it, came to, when it comes to growing stuff. I just don't. I just don't at all. A brown thumb. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. That's the opposite. You went up to my mom, pa, and went, my house now. Well, it wasn't quite like that, but um, it's sort of. <laughs> uh, no, it was, it was partially their idea, actually. We got the house for a pittance uh, to help us out, which I appreciate. My mom and dad are amazing parents. Um, I'm better at keeping plants alive IRL than I am in RuneScape. <laughs> oh, are they are they watermelons in RuneScape? In which case, well, it's still RIP, but um, they might be, it might be slightly less serious. Or well, I don't know. I don't know about RuneScape. Maybe RuneScape is very serious business. Uh, yeah, all our little house plants, we've given them away. We've given our house plants away in the hopes that they might actually live. We've we've we we drove a bunch of them to my my in-laws' house. One time in the back of the car is crazy. Are oh, you ru- yeah? They, they are RuneScape melons. Okay, good, good. Well, still not good, but good. Um, yeah, I suck at gardening as well. I um. Well, I can do gardening like I can do the cutting of things better than I can do the growing of things. The growing of things I just completely suck at. But I can at least, like, hack some, some plants down or something. I sound like a vicious plant murderer. I guess I kind of am. Ooh. Right, we can switch reality here if we want to, but I don't want to. Got another manuscript page. Any more goodies? No. Ooh, lovely. That's exciting. Yeah, because I imagine if you can actually grow a tree and keep it alive and it it grows fruit and shit, like that's a great way of like saving money, right? I mean, I don't I don't know how much upkeep like plants and trees and st- growing stuff like that is, but I, I would imagine it's got to be cheaper and it's a lot fresher as a result. Oh no, doggy! Doggy, please don't do that. I want to be friends. Please don't do that. Oh, I ended up firing it. Whoa, there's more than one! There's more than one! Crap! And I'm dead. <laughs> Wowzers. Nice. I am sure glad that I quick saved in this house. Before I got mauled to death by wolves. Cherries, apples, plums, and pears. Oh, yeah. I love all of those things. I'm actually quite lucky. Mrs. Gollips has um, some allergies to certain fruits, and, and raw fruits especially, and salad. So, 
I, I consider myself actually incredibly lucky that I can eat as much stuff as I can. I don't really have allergies. Not yet, not really. Nothing nothing that I know of that I'm allergic to, so I'm quite lucky, to be honest with you. Oh, here he comes. Come on then, fella. Sorry. I missed. Oh, why do I keep missing? Come on then. Finish me off, why don't you? I'm gonna let it kill me. Where are you, wolf? Turn and face me! There he goes! Stealthy. Um, yeah, ginger. I mean, I don't, I don't eat lots of ginger. I do like ginger ale. Which is like the most least ginger tasting ginger thing that you can drink or eat um and i like that but yeah i, I mean i i guess i've eaten curries and stuff with ginger in but i don't like it as an overpowering flavor love ginger ale and ginger loaf and curry oh i'm sorry to hear that but there are other curries well i mean you can make your own curries without ginger but i mean there are there are loads of curries so but yeah it's still it it sucks you've got to be like, the one thing that Mrs. Gallup struggles with is that you've got to, you know, it means every time you eat something, you've got to check the ingredients. Every time you order something, you need to work out if the spice that you, the spice or the thing that you can't eat is in it. And quite often menus don't have that information, so you've got to ask someone. Um, it's just, yeah, it's just so, it's not just tedious, it's, it's upsetting, because you can't just be spontaneous. Um, yeah, so I, I totally feel you on that one. And yeah, it's a shame that you like the taste of ginger. We can't have it. Um, yeah, for me, like ginger beer is too strong. I only like ginger ale. For some reason. Where's the wolfie? Where's the wolfie? Oh, right between the eyes. I felt very bad about that. Now I'm pretty sure there was more than one. Unless I was just getting completely assassinated by this one wolf. Yep. Ah! He's so quick! You can't actually hip fire in this game, by the way. Like, in quite a lot of these kinds of games, you can, you can hit fire. Whoa! Did you see that? I got a trophy. Dodge at the last minute to avoid an enemy attack. That was so close. Like, holy shit. <laughs> that was crazy. Just went sailing past me. I feel very bad about shooting wolves, though. Hi! You're right! Sorry! <laughs> he got a bit confused. Bless him. Um, Valhalla nursing home is that way. So I guess we're gonna we're gonna check our old map here. Oh, we've got a container. Great. Let's go find the container. Aha! Ooh, it's one with a lock. What's this say? 
There are 200 total vehicles in a factory consisting of bicycles and cars. Each car has four wheels and each bicycle has two wheels. There are a total of 754 wheels in the factory. How many cars are there in the factory? Hang on. Oh, fuck. Maths! I wasn't expecting maths! But it's okay, we can, we can do this, we can do this. You know what, let's do it with a fucking piece of pen and paper. I have some paper here. Right, here we go. Where did my sharpie go? There it is. Right. Let's do this old fashioned like. So we have 200 total vehicles. Um, in the factory, consisting of bicycles and cars. Um, cars have four wheels, bikes have two wheels. There are 754. Right, okay, here we go. There are 754 wheels in, in, the, uh, in the factory. So, let's work this out. To end in four, 54 specifically, well, let's, let's work backwards. We know that there are 200 vehicles. Bikes have two wheels and cars have four wheels. So what is four times 50? That's 200. We need way more wheels than that. We need 754 wheels. So it's going to be like 100, at least 150. Wait, 150 cars. 150 times four is 600. So it's it's more than 150 cars. Um, 150 cars would equal 600 wheels. Um, how many is 175 times four? Um, 75, 150, 75, 150, 300 plus the 100s. One, two, three, four, four, seven hundred. But how do you get to fifty-four? How many twos in fifty-four? Um, almost twenty. No, almost, almost thirty, because ten times two is twenty. Twenty, forty, sixty. Um. So. A hundred and seventy-five. That would leave 25, and you need you need more than 25 times 2 to get to 54. Um, I promise I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I like doing maths. I play countdown. Um, 25 times 2 would equal 50, which means that we're 4 short. So it has to be 176. To make 704. And then 24 times 2 equals 48. 48. No, that's too short. That's too short. Um, So it needs to be more than that. Is it like 177 times? Hang on. 708. And then that would leave... 23 times 2 is uh, 46 plus 8. 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Ha-ha! Ha-ha! So, here's my working. There's probably a much more advanced way of working this out, but if you take the number of vehicles and you just start putting cars into it, so I put 150 cars, right, comes out at 600 wheels. 175 cars comes out at 700 wheels. And then I kept going up by adding, like, working out. First of all, I had 175 is 700. So then 25 times 2 would be the remaining vehicles in the factory. 
and that does not give you enough wheels to get high enough. So you need to put more cars in. So I just started putting more cars in <laughs> until I got to um, 177. I'm pretty sure the answer is 177. Let's see if I'm right. Fucking yes! <laughs> I'm good at maths! It only took me a pen and ten minutes. For fuck's sake. <laughs> we need to go bigger. More stick symbols. More graffiti. I want people pissing their pants when they think about going in the woods. Spread the word. Give me the goods. Give me the goods. Give me the goods. Thank you. Are any of them trucks because they have double wheels? Well, no, we were given we were given that they're either bicycles or cars. So, if Johnny is on a train traveling at a hundred miles an hour, um, and he is in Leicester, how many minutes will it take for him to get to I don't know, bumfuck nowhere? No, so you're working. Dooby dooby, dooby dooby dooby. Right. Well, that's that container done. Let's go and get the other container, shall we? Also, I feel like there might be more secret shit now. So, let's see if we can have a look. We need to go up to get to the nursing home anyway, so let's have a poke around down here first. I'm also expecting to meet more wildlife as well, so. An hour, maybe an hour and a half if the road to Ibstock is congested. Ibstock? Do you mean bumfuck nowhere? <laughs> Whatever it was I said. <laughs> but yeah, bumfuck nowhere. I should talk. I live in the sticks. Honestly, I'm in a very fairly small village. Well, probably bigger than most villages, but a very, very, very small town. Um... Ibstock is bumfuck nowhere for Leicester. Right, got it. See, I wish I could remember name places. Like, I have a rough idea of geography, but like, as like most people like me, I, like I'm a learn. The way I learn is by doing things, not by reading things. So I learn about the geography of the UK by physically driving there. That teaches me, and then I'm like, oh right, okay, I know where that is in relation to other things. But, like, I can't look at a map and just memorize it. It's just, it's not going to happen for me. I'm a practical learner. But if I drive somewhere, like, once or twice with the sat-nav, after that, I don't need it. I don't need the sat-nav. I can just drive there, which is nice. Because sometimes you don't have signal. Like, I'm pretty, draw I'm pretty sure I could drive most of the way to Mr. Matt's house. Uh, I'd only need a bit of help at the end. Um, and same for going to Birmingham as well. Uh, mainly because that's quite a lot like going to Nottingham, which I'm very familiar with. Because um, I've got in-laws in Nottingham. You can't do geography. I'd, honestly, the only way I can do it is by actually going there myself. Um, I'm fairly good at, like... um. I, you know where I live now. I do. And we're just making up an excuse so we can come visit and buy that square fucking pizza. Mate, that pizza is good. I've had pizza several times since then. None were as good as that one. Maybe it tasted all the sweeter because we were stuck in that fucking traffic for an hour, not moving. <laughs> it's a pretty good pizza. It was beef on beef as well. Who knew beef on beef would be so delicious? Well, I kind of had my thoughts about it. We will get it again one day. Staff meeting. Band meeting. Brit. Yep. Here. Jermaine. I don't understand why we have to do the... Why we have to do the register. Jermaine. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was pretty funny. But now, if I came down that street now, I know exactly where to turn. I wouldn't even need a map. I'd need the map to get me from the main road to that crossroads and then once i was at that crossroads there was like i'm not trying to dox mr matt but there was a pebble dash building just over the side 
Then you turn left, and as you come down, you see McDonald's on the right. Um, and then further past that is TGI Fridays. Mr. Matt is between the two. It's a left turn. It looks like it's you're going to turn into a building, but it's not. You go through the little uh, alleyway, and then the car park's at the back. Mr. Matt's space is actually at the car park's far end. So there you go. And now I've officially doxed him. Sorry, Mr. Matt. Uh, that's where Rara based, yes. At uh, Twycross, right? I want to say Twycross is where Rara based. Is that right? I'm going to find out now. Yes. Twycross Leicestershire. There you go. I remembered that. <laughs> Why? Because it was attached to video games, I guess. That's the reason. Oh, can't go that way. I'm imagining we'll probably recede the flooding here and then have a bit more we can walk around it as a result. Did I just see a fucking fish or something? Jump out of the water. That was pretty cool. Let's check the map again. Uh, fun fact. They named the shop seller after the traveler camp down the road from their offices. They did? The shop seller. In which game? Which games have got shop sellers in them? In Viva Piñata. Ah. They also have a very, like, um, poorly, slightly racially insensitive uh, Indian elephant in Diddy Kong Racing, which is delightful. And um, I will not be doing the voice. <laughs> Funnily enough, I will not be doing the voice. Um, but I am going to put um, DKR on the um, Season 6 submissions. Do part. it! Just do it! Yes, yes you, you can. can! No. No, Sinith. Like, there are cer certain amounts of um, casual racism that are, meh, like, maybe okay in certain situations with people who are okay with it or are even of that uh, particular race of people. But, like, me doing an Indian accent is not it. It's not it. <laughs> so, no. Um, but, yes, DK uh, Diddy Kong Racing is delightful. It's a great game. So, I'm going to put it on the wheel for Season 6 and hopefully it'll get picked. Um, should I just carry on those kids going through boxes. the woods? I guess. I was going to leave you some cookies, but I was worried an animal would get into them, so I didn't. But it's a thought that counts, right? You bet. I haven't had a gun upgrade in ages. Ooh, maybe I've got enough now. I think I might. Uh, this way. Yeah, weapon upgrade. Right, so what do we got? Fire two shots before reloading. That would be quite useful. Um, or increase reload speed deals increased damage to enemies that are stunned, blinded, or knocked down. Eh, I mean, more damage is better, but I'm very rarely shooting people who are stunned. Um, I feel like I'll wait and I'll get the two shots from the crossbow. I think that will suit me better. Right. Is there stuff I can be doing while I'm here? Got some manuscript pages. When did Alan turn into a girl? What's a girl doing here? Where's Alan? Um, in Alan Wake 2, Sinith, uh, you play as two characters. Um, their stories are kind of like intertwined, but also separate. And you can move between them. Once you've done the kind of the openings of both of their stories, uh, you can switch between them at any time. So there you go. It's Alan Wake. Oh boy. It's Alan, it's Alan Wake. I don't know what else to tell you. It's Alan Wake. Odin might we've got a new investigation here. With Wake out of reach, this is my best lead. Fantastico. 
What did Thor and Odin know about the clicker? Thor was about to tell me something. Okay. What you're saying is the game title isn't the sequel, it's saying there are two Allens. Oh, there are definitely two Allens. But um with 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 a female Allen that would make three. Because there are already Mr. Mr. Alan Wake and Mr. Scratch, his doppelganger. Who I'm sure we're gonna meet over the course of the game again. He was in American Alan Wake's American Nightmare. I need to get the clicker to wake and close this damn case before my family gets dragged any further. Into eight it. Allens, yeah. I think we're up. I think we're up to eight Allens now on the old count. Yeah. Oh, and little Al Wake, yeah, yeah, Al Wake. He's like Scrappy Doo. Mister Scratch sounds like he needs to see. A yeah, he does. He's uh, he's evil, uh, but deliciously evil, like in that kind of like lovable bastard kind of way if you play america uh, alan wake's american nightmare he's on the tvs and he's just being a complete dickhead the whole time uh but you love to see it he's he's one of those uh lovable uh dickheads right we've got some more evidence the cult tried to kill alan wake i think that goes there why do they want to kill wake what is their motive? Are they acting on Mr. Scratch's orders? Possibly. Oh, I've got another piece of evidence. Ilmo Koskela attacked Wake while wearing a deer mask. Thanks, Saga. All right, all right. Maybe this goes in the cult goal thing. No? Oh, it's going to go under... It's going to go under Ilmo's thing over here. Hmm. There it is. <laughs> it's just wakes all the way down. One wake standing on top of another wake, standing on top of another wake all the way down. Um, story. Here we go. I entered the watery overlap by completing the parade float. I sure did. Um, overlap? Oh, yeah. How to enter the overlap. Okay. These are for later. Nursery rhymes. I did a nursery rhyme, didn't I? Coffee world. Wait, isn't that coffee world? No. Watery. Never there. Why does it say the story if I can't put them in? Oh, because I have to see that they're for later then. And we've got an Alex uh, Casey lunchbox. Lunchbox found in the woods near Bright Falls. Bright Falls. Boom. Uh, you know, a wake is also the thing you go to in order to pay respects to the deceased before going to the funeral. Yes, that's very true. That is what a wake is. I mean, Remedy knocked it out of the park when they came up with Alan Wake because it's it shortened. It means a wake, um, and it's also a thing that you go to before a funeral or after a funeral. Um, and that's it. <laughs> they knocked it out of the park, like I said. Right. Why do you keep directing me to this if I can't put them anywhere? Stop doing it. Right. No profiling to do. Let's go back. Um, I think have I been down there? Maybe not actually. Oops. Stuck on the path there. Oh, this is flooded. Right, this stops me going. Cross. Okay. Right. So let's go. By the way, we're coming up on about ten minutes left of the stream. Um, the second that Mr. Matt goes live, um, I will raid into him. So uh, you can all enjoy Mr. Matt for the evening, like I'm going to. I don't know what Mr. Matt's playing. Presumably, it's his Worms Armageddon submission for the of Struggle. But I don't like to presume too much. It might be something else entirely. Right, yeah, let's 
go this way. Scallops that. Mrs. Gollops is taking full advantage of the fact that when she comes in through this door, you can't see her anymore. You used to be able to see her, but you can't now. So Mrs. Gollops is sometimes in various states of undress, and um, it's very distracting. But I'll do my best, because I'm a professional, to keep my eyes on the prize, and uh, keep playing Alan Wake 2. Thank you. Oh boy. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, after I've watched the Mr. Matt Internet Sofa stream, uh, Mrs. Gollips knows nothing happens before that. Okay, that sets the mood. That's the ambiance. Now is a season of evil. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody. <laughs> Oh, nice. That's good to hear, Sinith. Tor and Odin claim to be my family. You are doing all of the learning. I know Logan Congrats and I never that. lived here, but I don't know enough about I've done it with happy feet on. Not my Interesting choice, no, but yeah, again, sets the mood. Years. You know, I've got them happy I feet. About him, the better. I've got them happy feet. Who needs the quickie mark? Now here's the tricky part. Oh, won't you sing with me? Um, so this is the Valhalla nursing home. Wait, was there a container I missed? I missed the fucking container. Hang on. Oh boy. Um, I have two classes left after spring, which means I can walk a graduation in spring if I register my last two in summer. And I officially get my degree. Nice! Here, here at the Gollops headquarters, we are big fans of... Uh, Self-enrichment and uh, knowledge. It's great. The pursuit of knowledge and skills is, uh, is a noble one. I wonder what I would do if I went back to university now. Um, if it was to learn something for a job, I wouldn't go. Because I would just try and learn it on the job. But if it was like... Gollips, you have a, a hundred million pounds and you can do whatever you want if you want to go do a degree. I don't know why I would have Maybe something, something history based. Still one of them throwing things. Uh, safe haven. Sanctuary. Oh uh, yeah, that's definitely the case here. But I mean like um how do I put it? I'm um How do I put it? I already went to university and did a degree in something that is like an applicable office-based skill. So if I went back to university, um, if I went back to university to learn something to get another job, I just wouldn't bother. I would try to take a job that was vocational, like that had some kind of like um, entry period where they taught you what you needed to do on the job. Um, because I tend to to learn better that way anyway and also um it would probably be a job that was more practical like physical than than a than a degree office based job like i had before but it's all a moot point because i'm not going back to uni you can't fucking pay me to do it <laughs> i'm done i'm out uh despite the nightmares that i sometimes still have about needing to complete my coursework um, and my workplace thought I knew SAP and I learned it in a day because I moved from e-com to wholesale department. Yeah, it, you can learn on the job. What's the matter? Yes. There you go. 
so yeah um i'm i'm 4 going to college i'm i'm 4 i'm 40 i'm 4 either way well done going to college it's never too old to go to college whether you are 4 or 40 you're 40 all right okay cool yeah nothing wrong with that great good on you um when i was doing my uni um i was about 20 21 to 23 and there was a guy on our course who was 30 something doing the same course as us and he was all right he was tony i i still wonder how tony's doing i, I didn't maintain uh contact at all i wonder if tony's all right i'm sure tony's all right Tony at the time was very excited about his PC that he just bought like a big PC with his student loan that he was going to play Skyrim on. <laughs> that dates when I was at university. Definitely. Um, I think it's dangerous to be out here, but I'm going to have to be because I need this. Uh, I want this uh, this chest thing. Exactly, and that's why. Like, honestly, university is not necessary. Uh, I'm talking about the first time round with Skyrim. I'm talking about the release of Skyrim. In some ways, I wish I... Well, I'd, I'd, I think the, going to university was a good experience for me. I met people that I still talk to. Um, I learned things that I still use. Um, but, big caveat there, but, um, I don't think university is vital in any way, and, um, especially since they tripled the fees after I went, There's like, a rhyme it was bad here. enough when I was paying the, what I paid, but then it went up, like, three times the amount, so, yeah, I, it's very hard to recommend at this point in time, because you can learn on the job, honestly, and you'll probably do better. There you go. That would have put me off completely. Yeah, that would have put me off completely as well. I um, they went up. Uh, they went up the year after I left, I think. Uh, mother, may I go outside? May I run and play? I say to you, my daughter, dear, go outside and play. Um, how can you learn on the job though when the job you want won't hire you without the degree? Well, then in that case, you do need the degree. But there are people like we just said. Like, ads um, didn't have any IT qualifications, zero IT qualifications, didn't go to uni, uh, but is working in IT. You start in one place, you learn some stuff, you, you get another job, you move to another place, you learn some more stuff. And eventually, you've got a list as long as your arm of, of things that you have learned that you've got like, um, what do you call it? Yeah, so you start in a small position, and then you, you kind of work your way up and you get the experience. And then, you know eventually that uh, you it's if you're changing degree that's a, a changing profession that's where it's very difficult because if you want to go do something completely different you don't have any experience like you need like experience like you could work in an office and do data management if you've done that previously even if it was a completely different field do you know what i mean like uh, there are like skills that transfer transferable skills you know what i mean um, actually, I'm going to leave this riddle alone, and I'm going to return to the save point, because I've just noticed it's almost half past eight. It's almost half past eight, and Mr. Matt is going to be doing the sofa stream very shortly. So I'm going to retreat to this little shack. This shack, baby, this shack. I'm going to save there, and then we will raid Mr. Matt. It says he's live. Oh, God. What's he doing in my chat, then? Mr. Matt, you're live, haven't you noticed? Um. Yeah. See? Plenty of stories. I guess it's not like that in the US. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. He's having a pre stream food. Absolutely. Uh, bye bye for now, then. Gonna give the kid a bath. Yeah. Go. Go right ahead. Have a wonderful evening. Enjoy. Enjoy giving the kid a bath. That can sometimes be fun. That can sometimes be an ordeal. Um, but yes, thank you everyone for a wonderful stream. Um, I had to ban someone again. <laughs> but
<laughs> it's okay. Um, right, let me get this raid all sorted out, and then we'll we'll go say hello to Mr. Matthew Internet, shall we? Yes, Mr. Matthew Internet. Do 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 do. Right, okay. Um, let me see. Raid. Mr. Matt Internet is going to be playing Super Monkey Ball 2. When did you do your Worms Armageddon stream? Did I miss that? Mr. Matt? Hang on, quick, while I've got you. Another ban, where was I? <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's, um, it was uh, Blackbird. Blackbird's gone. Um, but he's been, he's been towing a line for a while. Um, I d I missed Mr. Matthew Internet's uh, Worms submission entirely. Unless he's going to submit it for Forgotten Week. That's possible. We'll ask him, shall we? All right. <laughs> no, that's okay. Uh, the more the mods, the merrier. To be honest, Hobby. Hobby, can I make you a mod as well? Would you mind? There's no pressure whatsoever. It's just, you know, if you're around and someone's being a complete dickhead, um, you will have the power to go, Ping. That's that's pretty much it. Um, but I also understand if you don't want the responsibility. You like swords? I'm gonna give you a sword. I knight the hobby tan. Moderator privileges have been granted. Right. Okay. I will start this raid. So. Thank you all, everybody, for a wonderful stream. Take care. Have a wonderful evening. I will catch up with you tomorrow for more Alan Wake. Um, if I don't see you, have a wonderful weekend as well. I am going to hand you over to Mr. Matthew Internet now. Bye-bye.